Yeah? It's a great one. This is the, the, the section where we do jokes. <laughs> do you want do you want to read one? Just read it into that camera for the folks. Well, don't no, no, read out it. loud. You yeah. have to read it out no, loud. No, he didn't. Oh, here, you read one. All right. No. You don't like that no, one? No, I mean, oh, I like it. I just... Do you understand that we're on the air? Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> uh, we all know that the uh, Swiss are officially neutral. Who wrote Unofficial. this? Who wrote this? Who wrote this? Well, I screwed up my time. Who wrote this? <laughs> <laughs> we don't have a name on it. Do you have writers? It's anonymous. It's I, like think, an old, I didn't I write it. I, well, I, I didn't write that one. Uh, we all know the Swiss are uh, officially neutral. Uh, unofficially, however, they're filthy sons of bitches. No, the Swiss think I hate them. It's great. Thanks. This one says, remember the old days when tweeting meant stabbing a hooker? <laughs> Bob like that one. Nope. Super Dave, why is there an app for everything except how to rape a baby? <laughs> Jesus. Some gold-plated chains would make a nice retirement gift for a very, very good slave. <laughs> well, this Are was, you serious? Well, this was written... Are you serious? This was written years Did ago. Did you just write that? I didn't write Did it. Did you just say that? No, I read it, yes. You read that? <laughs> it was an old. It was written, oh obviously. my God Almighty! I'm not part of this. No, it was written. No, before. I'm not part of this. No, you can't read that. Well, what about this? Go ahead. Read this one. Uh, I can prove God exists if I can just find that damn receipt from our brunch in heaven. <laughs> that is so funny. That is so fucking funny. <laughs> oh, this one's actually topical. We could knit. Mar we could nip March Madness in the bud if we watch for the warning signs of brooding antisocial February fever. Who is writing this? You're doing this. This is your life. You're putting your life on. You dress like horseshit tonight. No, that was that no, was Adam. No, that was Adam. That was Adam. I told you to bring some a wardrobe. kind of a hose coat. But that was Adam. You got a, a thing with a hood. But that was Adam. But then you're reading these. I think this I think is you. Was well, this Lindsay Lohan can't swim a stroke, but she sure knows every dive in town. That one I like. <laughs> <laughs> that was my favorite. I'm keeping this. That is a favorite. Oh. Did you write? This? I didn't write that one. No, Read that one. Uh, call me an old softy, but I'd prefer it if you called me a distinguished gentleman with a flagging erection. Oh. I don't like that one. I'll read that one. Hey, why are you going to make me read all this? Alfred the Great may well be the greatest monarch in the history. Can you do me a favor? Uh, can you find out what the uh, traffic is like on the Santa Monica? <laughs> going to the desert. Do you know the Harlem, sh the Harlem Shake? Yeah, I've seen it on okay. every single You've commercial. You've seen it. Then you'll appreciate this joke. I remember back when the Harlem Shake was just a back black fella holding me upside down off a fire escape trying to collect his money. Can you find out what the quickest way is to the Santa Monica Freeway, please? And don't call me again. Super Dave. I don't care about anything. You don't call me again. There's no last minute fill in. There's nothing. Okay? Thank God we're only reaching 50 people. Wait, That's Super all Dave. I can tell you. Sure, junkyard dogs are mean, but the meanest dogs are generally found guarding concentration camps. And it says here, there's a note, <laughs> early versions of the Jim Croce's 1973 smash hit, Big Bad Leroy Brown. Do you remember that song? Tell the people what, tell the people the better. No, do you know that. what you just said? It included... Do you have any idea what you just this read? This says... It no, did you have any idea what you just read? That It was a junkyard dogs. semitic joke about the concentration camp. No, 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 no. Oh, Not anti-Semitic no, no, at all. No, 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 it's semitic? No. Well, you know, I know what the problem they is. Used, you just, did you write it? I didn't write that. Who wrote it? They I used the meanest dogs. I, I don't know who wrote it, but I think the problem is, is that some people, people might not know what the concentration camps oh, are. So concentration camps were found in, the, in, the, in oh, Poland. Oh, my God. God, oh, what? fucking what? mighty. Oh, my Christ Concentration almighty. camps. Please We're get my nurse. I swear to God, get her in here right now. And no, I'm trying to away. explain to the did folks you who are... Did you have some more salt? You know what? This is your first show, and these are the... Well, I don't want to bring up the systemic, you know, extermination attempt against no, the no, Jewry no. of Europe, but <laughs> this says on this piece of paper... That bad, bad Leroy Brown uh, initially included the line meaner than a concentration camp dog, but Croce decided it was unpleasant to the ear. <laughs> and it was also offensive to Jews, gypsies, and homosexuals. Little did it matter, Croce would be dead within the You know the what year. I'm going to do tomorrow? I'm going to watch the fucking view. 
The view? That's what I'm going to do. How dare you? How dare That's you? That's where I'm going to get my humor from. You told me you didn't like okay, the view. But I'm watching it tomorrow. <laughs> you told me you didn't like it. I never told you that. Oh, you like I it? I told you they're my favorite of all time. Oh. <laughs> and Barbara Walters is never leaving. She's 83 and she had chicken pox. Can you believe that? <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't you love to see her chicken pox? No. No? Mm -hmm. At 83 at night in the laundry <laughs> line, the negligee coming out of the bathroom. Wouldn't she get shingles then? No, no. If you get chicken pox, you can get shingles. Yeah. But she hasn't gotten them yet. Yeah. What a group that is. Oh, my God. Yeah. I heard she got cut. How about Kathy Lee and Latoya Hoya, whatever her name is? Oh, uh, what is her name? Ooh, Latoya Jackson. And they Jackson. drink every day on the show. Yeah. Proudly. They, they actually went off drinking for a few months, and then they had a big... Uh, here, read this. That's what I'm going to do right after this. You'll show. like this one, Super Dave. <laughs> Deep hey, throat. Can I tell you something? This is a bad segment. Oh, yeah, it is. You I, know it is. You know it is. When you come to good night, he says good night. I really enjoyed doing this show. I had a great time, and I'll see you next week. That's a good idea. These yeah, jokes that's not are a bad so idea. they're not. They're not even. They're so beyond insulting the awful that it's not a segment. Can we start this segment over without well, the joke? No, it's live. Yeah, it is live. We're live on podcast. This yeah. is live. Holy cow. Listen to this joke. Because well, yeah, I, I just wanted to say, this no, this is right is up a, his alley. Yeah, this uh, this is just in the. He uh, might not deep, remember this guy though. Well, you'll probably remember. Deep throat porn legend Harry Reid. Yeah, 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 he yeah, died. Yeah. But how you are they going to close that, that casket? I mean, because you know, probably because of his erection, I would think. How are they going to close that casket? Yeah, that that isn't very good, is it? I, I didn't write that one. Plus, a man died. Yeah, a guy died. died. I mean, how are they going to do it? He was a real pioneer. I mean, when I was on Saturday Night Live, they used to do jokes about guys died, you know, like the, the crossword guy died, and he's going to be buried four down, three across, oh, and I was God, like, that yeah. seems like, the guy died. You he know? died. Yeah. His family might you be watching. you got to wait a little bit before yeah. you do that. Yeah. Harry Reeves just died. He has no family, Harry Reeves. How can he have family? He's very, he What, are his mother and father proud of him, do you think? He's got He was in show business. Yeah. <laughs> He put his cock in the sidewalk of Hollywood. Look at this. Look at this hole. That's Harry. Oh, what does that, that say? Last joke. All right. So, uh, oh, yeah, here. That's the last joke. Alfred the Great may well. That's the one you wouldn't you do. Serious? I tried to read. Could you off. read these before he did them? You're the producer of the show. All right, read the, do you have one more joke? I didn't read any of these. They're his. Wait, I didn't I didn't write or, well, I read the ones you told me to, but I didn't write any of these. I okay, I, I, I did I not write any of these jokes. I yeah, here you go. This is the last one we didn't read. Joke. No, but I'll let you read this. I'll let you read it. <sighs> Call, oh, let me read it. Alfred the Great. Make Super Dave laugh. Super Dave, I just wanted to tell you, Alfred the Great may well be the greatest monarch in the history of England. The worst? Richard the Goat Fucker. I think he's going to laugh. It's like watching... Yeah, I think that. he's close. Hold on. I think he's close. It's like watching that golf ball on the, on the edge I of I don't it. understand. I don't understand any of these. I, I don't yeah. even understand it there. How you could take a segment to end your first show when these ratings are so important... <laughs> And you've, and you've, I mean, people at home, that guy who wanted to know how to become a comic? Who, JP? No, the, the guy, guy who wanted to Oh, from the writer, yeah, 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 right. How can you tell? And we're going to do some jokes. You like jokes? Yeah, sure. All right. We're just going to do them here. This Easter Sunday, here, you want to read this one time? Yeah. This seems like more of a your kind of joke. You can glue it in the camera if you want, whatever you want to do. This Easter Sunday, Snoop Dogg gets to stay... Christ is resisten. <laughs> <laughs> you want to do it, Jeff? Uh, sure. This is going to the camera. Uh, we wear new clothes on Easter to represent Christ's triumphant appearance to the stunned apostles in his sharp two-button blazer by Hugo Boss. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> I don't know about that one. Uh, the guy who did the voice of Charlie Brown, he was arrested for stalking his girlfriend this week. He also said the next time Lucy grabs away the football, he's going to cut that bitch. President Obama continues to shamelessly wage class warfare. Today he announced a steep new tax on shiny top hats. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Here you go. Oh, you read that one. No, go. Uh, it's looking at the camera, man. Some folks say. Uh, <laughs> some folks say, what this country needs is a good five cent cigar. I'm guessing they're opposing uh, Obamacare. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the shitty fucking show. <laughs> okay.
I'm going to I'm going to butcher one. him anyway. You might as well. I don't know if this counts as an NCAA Cinderella story, but one of the Marquette players said he had help making his uniform from a bunch of singing mice and birds. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think I think this is perfect for Tom Green. Tom Green just reading ahead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I read a story. A 17-year-old kid who stole a plane, crashed it, and survived. Why don't we make the whole plane out of that kid? <laughs> <laughs> that seems logical. That right? makes sense, yeah. right? Here you go. Adam Egan. <laughs> Warning to the Easter Bunny, don't put all your eggs in one basket, fella. <laughs> you hand pick these. I do feel like I'm getting the good ones here. Yeah, so. They say the world's a smaller place than it used to be, but I think that's an optical illusion based on me becoming a big fat guy. <laughs> <laughs> here's, one, here's one that's good for you. Right Growing up... <laughs> I never would have believed that one day I'd need a computer just to masturbate. <laughs> it is strange it is when you think about it. Though. Unbelievable. Right? Yeah, Remember, you used to need nothing like yeah. that. The like Sears catalog. Sears catalog, <laughs> maybe. National Geographic. Exactly. A van in the woods. Yeah. And sometimes you go, I, why am I looking at the bra section of Sears catalog? I'm not in the market for a bra. <laughs> but, you know. <laughs> Here you go. Try a joke. I'm sure my biggest. parents wondered why those were always piled up in my room, the brassiere yes. section. Yes. <laughs> you know, rolled up into balls under the bed. Um. Soggy balls of paper. <laughs> Soggy balls of new newsprint. Hey, speaking of balls, uh, John John Ham has a big dick. <laughs> oh no, wait. John Ham has a big dick. I could have told you that, but I don't suck and tell. <laughs> okay. Ugh. A Swedish Bond girl, Britt Eklund, told Piers Morgan this week that she was seduced by Warren Beatty after the legendary Lothario took her to an X-rated movie for their first date. This is what I have to say about that. Hey, Warren, stop stealing my moves. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite this week. Unbelievable. Oh, I think you'll like this one. I'm giving Tom the best ones. That is your move, by the way. Thank you. Thomas Edison invented the light bulb, but I invented the light bulb up my ass. <laughs> I was ahead of his time. Oh, come on, man. No, come on, it's man. Fun it's, come on, it's fun doing jokes. Yeah. It's the delivery. Just, yeah. You're getting better. Uh, Octomom is facing jail time for committing welfare fraud. Who didn't see that one coming? I mean, seriously, a single mother of eight. Is that even a joke? <laughs> They're your joke, fucker. <laughs> I am not a big fan of video games where you cannot kill a prostitute. I like the ones where... <laughs> oh, like Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was the hook for that game. That's really what people it was. Really got was. excited about. Yeah. Throw the girl over about that. Inevitably, somebody would always say, you know, the great thing is you can drive down this alley and you can... And kill a prostitute. That was the thing people talked about most of that game. That's why that game took off. I agree. Isn't that strange? Yeah. What a We world. are a messed up Oh, this society. is perfect for you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if my mom would let... <laughs> no, 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 that's not what it means. You're just thinking of Cana the Canadian translation of... What is the Canadian of translation? That, of, the, of, the, of, of that. That's not a mother. No, what's your old lady? In your, your old lady? No, in America, your old lady is like your. Well, I definitely girlfriend. can't read it now. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Here, you can read it. <laughs> uh, the thing I miss most about the '70s is rolling a number and giving my old lady some head. <laughs> you fucking hate out your mother? No, 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 no not my old lady. <laughs> Shit, I guess it does kind of. Yeah. That's what I thought. That's why I passed the card to you. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Celebrating April 1st birthdays. This is a sort of news thing. Russian pianist Sergei Rachmaninoff, who was born on this day in 1872. Yeah, I know that dude. Rapper Method Man is 41. Debbie Reynolds turns 80 today. Rachel Maddow is 39. And former German Chancellor Helmut Schmidt would have been 
95 today. April Fools, former German Chancellor Helmut Schmidt is alive and well. <laughs> we got to do an April Fools, right? <laughs> oh my God, Tom. <laughs> what about this one, Tom? Yeah. I love Lou Gehrig. But I'm not going to stand up in front of a million people and brag that I'm the luckiest man in the world because some doctors named a disease after me. Confidence is one thing, but arrogance is the worst disease of them all. I agree with that. I also agree with that. It's funny and true. <laughs> um, one day in the hopefully not too distant future, North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un is going to hear a loud popping sound. The sound of his head coming out of his own ass. <laughs> a Miami, Florida pimp is in custody after forcing a 13-year-old prostitute to have his name tattooed on her eyelids when she threatened to run away from him. Roman Thomas III faces charges of human trafficking, false imprisonment, lewd and lascivious exhibition, and delivery of a controlled substance to a child. You know, I know... The scriptures say, judge not lest ye be judged. But, you know, I'm just going to come out and say it. This Roman Thomas the Third guy, this guy's a real jerk. <laughs> it's fun doing jokes. Yeah, for you. <laughs> I used to think revenge was a dish best served cold, but then I realized it meant getting back at somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Not like that one. Here you go. Let's um, do it. Let's do it funny. This one's like two, pa two pages long and cut off at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Do your best. Give it your it's, best. It's not even complete. Give it your All best right. shot, man. Troubled starlet Lindsay Lohan had a cameo on Anger Management last week and uh, managed to shock the cast and crew by showing up on time and even early. Later in the week, the Mean Girls actress was looking decidedly chipper as she posed on the red carpet at a clothing store launch in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Perhaps Lindsay is getting a jump start on her upcoming mandatory 90-day rehab, or maybe bartenders are just asking her to land someplace else knowing the way liquor... Cuts off. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Okay. It cuts off, really? <laughs> I'm trying to help, huh? I forgot how the end went. Hey! <laughs> it cut off. Hey. Hey's the most important part, of usually. Course. Tell the guy to put it That's on the fucking card. Hey, news media, leave Kim Kardashian alone, will you? She's pregnant. Of course she's going she's gonna to gain weight. And if anyone knows about rapid ga weight gain, it's me. You know, I went to see the doctor about it, and he told me to open my mouth and say, Oink! <laughs> I thought that was a little, a little out of line, Tom. There's a historical one for Tom Green. I think enough time has passed since 1947 where I can safely admit it. I wish I was the guy who finally wiped that annoying smirk off the black Dahlia's face. <laughs> oh, here's the rest of that joke. Ah. Adam Egan, finishing off the joke. Makes her fly. Note, you know I can understand why someone in show business would want to drink liquor to soothe, soothe and steady your nerves. Why some people I know I drink liquor and get so steady they can't even move. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Let's get back to Tom. He wrote all these norm or? <laughs> do you write, do you sit up and write all these or? Music is the universal language, but one day soon it will be replaced by Chinese. Yeah, that's right. I feel the same way about slaves as I do about shirts with flame patterns on them. I don't want to be friends with anyone who owns either of them. <laughs> Another funny and true one. <laughs> there is. A good one. Okay. Mickey Mantle knew two things. Drinking and playing drunk baseball. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is the one that you said you specifically liked. Uh, why doesn't Applebee's call their appetizers appetizers? And why doesn't that waitress I met at TGI Fridays ever call me back? 
He said he liked it. I kind of did like that one. <laughs> this, this administration is cutting back drastically on military spending, but doesn't think our defense capabilities will be compromised? How so? I'll tell you how so. Groupons. <laughs> Remember Groupons? Yeah, absolutely. Remember Groupons. <laughs> Here's one you'll like. I think you'll like this one. A worldwide scientific study confirms a long-held <laughs> suspicion. No one anywhere likes drum circles. <laughs> uh, that is some wild stuff. That was pretty good. That was really that was good. good. Uh, that was wild. <laughs> that was a pretty good impression. Oh, here you go. <clears throat> I realize now I should have been reading them all with that voice. <laughs> <laughs> fucking asshole. Adam uh, Eager with a joke. Justin Bieber's monkey has been quarantined, which uh, reminds us how far we've come since headlines about Pearl Harbor and D-Day. You literally uh, handed me every yeah. joke I ate. That is more of a comment. Yeah. Really. In the coffee shop line today, I hear the guy behind me say, I like to start by biting the ears off, and I had to pray, please, God, let him be talking about a chocolate Easter bunny. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> Well, this one you said you loved, too, so you can't say you didn't say you loved All these right, jokes. This one I did. I think you should, I think you should do this one. No, 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 you I'm loved it. I'm going to butcher it. This is a, no, this come one on, man, your... you love these jokes. You do these. Right. I'm going to give you three, the three last oh, no, jokes. No, 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 I'm not doing three. Come on, man. All right, all right. Uh, <laughs> earlier this week, Aaron Jackson of Topeka, Kansas, painted his house the colors of the gay pride rainbow flag in direct protest of the Westboro Baptist Church. When that didn't seem to work, Jackson fucked three of his best buds on his front uh, lawn. Homophobic. Yeah. Well, I, no, I think it shows I mean, solidarity. Earlier he was racist, and now he's yeah. homophobic. Well, I, think it is, yeah. I think it shows solidarity. All right, this next one. Uh, what funny. are you afraid of? <laughs> yeah. Almost like it's a test. Like if you laugh, then yeah. you're an asshole or something like that. Right, exactly. Yeah, if you laugh at him? Yeah, at that joke, at that oh, particular yeah, yeah. joke. It's okay, like a test. You... You're testing me. It's always a test with this fucker. <laughs> but what's the next one? Uh, this next one here, it says, uh, Chipotle has canceled its planned sponsorship of the Utah Boy Scout event due to the BSA's ban on gay leaders and scouts. Ironic how an all male anti gay organization would want to put hot, thick loads of beef and sour cream. Okay, in their mouth. okay, okay, okay. We get the idea. You hate gay guys. Let's just do the last one. Jesus Christ. Um, this one, it's a uh, former Tennessee Titans cheerleader Elizabeth Lee Garner, 42, is accused of pulling a 12 year old boy's pants off and offering immoral sex. The boy refused her advances, not because he was 12, but because he was a diehard Colts fan. This is what I have to work with, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, we're going to get in trouble for this kind of stuff. Yeah, I mean, you know. I mean, I thought they were... <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean? Gay yeah. people, uh, this is the... Uh, it's funny, when I see, uh, like, on TV, a guy, I just go, how out of touch are you? Not him, but him too. But I mean, you know what I mean? Like some g governor go, I'm against gays. You go, what? Like, yeah. just pretend you're not against them. Like, don't you understand? Yeah. What do you think about this whole controversy with uh, Jim Carrey and his uh, cold, dead hand Charlton Heston video that he did for Funny or Die and his railing against Fox News and the national gun debate? No, we don't have to talk about that. Well, oh. I mean, I, I think that Jim Carrey, I don't know, I, I you know... I think he's the funniest guy ever. Yeah, yeah. Jim Carrey. But um, um, well, I don't really know the story, but I know they came after him real hard. Yeah, they're right? coming after him hard right now, and it's weird watching them go after Jim Carrey because it's like sort of seems like what he said sort of makes some certain amount of sense, right? Yeah. Well, kind what of. Did you I don't know. I didn't see the video. Yeah, he's, just, he's just railing on Fox News right mm -hmm. now, and Greg Gutfeld went online today and uh, was railing back at Jim Carrey, and there's this whole war between Greg Gutfeld and. Jim Carrey, and it's just a... Uh, See, Tom uh, knows all the It's upsetting to me. It's upsetting to me. You know, well, these, things can, these things can spiral, though, these, these little video moments, right. these clips. I should have... You know, it's uh, on the Internet now. Well, everything you say here is on the Internet. On Tom's the absolutely record. right. I really should have, I should have considered that before choosing some of these jokes. Gay people are just like me and you. I know. How many times do I have to tell you that? Well, you keep, you tell me that all day. How how I'm just like all the, the you know gay people. Gay people are the same as, as everybody. No, you mean no. you always tell me specifically how I'm. I, you're just maybe you're just. I think you're just calling me gay. 
It's one of the. It's two. not an insult. He no, it's an insult. No, no, I didn't mean it. Why would being gay be an insult? Yeah, I love gay people. Yeah, I know. We don't have much time left, so it's yeah. time for jokes. Um, Here you go, Fred. You I, read a joke. I think this, this way, guy. this way, but don't read ahead. Nothing's going to be bad. Okay. But I'm saying we had Tom Green last week, so he said because this is also an audio podcast on iTunes, and we said, "Here, Tom, read a joke." And then he read it. Uh, I listen to both pause. your podcasts. Oh, you yeah? have. And I, you've been very nice, but the, I, the, I'm not the first person. I'm the first guy that you're not in awe with. That's not a pioneer. He was getting a lot of praise. I, I, I did tell you how much I enjoyed okay. your. No, you're, he's yeah, a good guy, absolutely. real good guy. I really appreciate. But this that, is right? you, this is you know you get we get you get jokes. You get to read yeah. jokes. So you don't have to prepare. Okay, so don't read ahead. Don't read ahead. Just read right okay. out. <clears throat> <clears throat> Former porn star Jenna Jameson was arrested this weekend after allegedly assaulting someone. This may be the most damaging thing that happened to her image since her 16-year career in pornography. <laughs> 16, not 6. Why did the moron throw the clock out the window? Why? Because it reminded him of Richard Clock, the man convicted of knife-raping his wife. Good God, oh you my know, God. Jesus. It used to be some... All right. I'm sorry. I didn't know that one was coming. Uh, veterinarians in Colorado have reported that marijuana use is on the rise amongst dogs. They say you'll know if your dog is too high if it starts making a really tall sandwich. <laughs> they like sweets better What's when they're mean? high. Yes. I don't know. Huh. My doctor told me I should start juicing, you know? <laughs> I mean... But the problem is I don't think he meant ham juicing. <laughs> Yeah, I squeezed a ham and I got some juice out of it. Oh, I thought you died. I, I thought you were going to, you so know. Stupid. Really? Well, I'm fast. I'm so fat when I get my shoe shine, I, I have to take the boot black's word for it. You haven't seen your penis in three weeks. I'm keeping it clean. Jesus Christ. Well, is that how, what fat people say? My penis? I'm trying to not. Well, what be, about this? Porn, I, porn actor Ron I, Jeremy mm -hmm. is back at work after having open heart surgery. I think this is interesting. The name of his next feature is going to be called "I'm going to have to sit down for most of this." <laughs> 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 this is one. This is a good one for Fred. But don't read ahead. Okay, I, I saw the punchline though. Oh, you did? Okay, I'll read it. Dance like no one is watching, sing like no one is listening, love like you've never been hurt, and fuck like a goddamn retard. <laughs> I saw the word retard. There you go. Uh, how many Polish guys does it take to screw in a light bulb? The question cannot be answered because Polish people are so fucking stupid that no matter how many of them are available, none of them would ever be able to complete that simple task. This is a meta joke. Have you, you know, are you aware of these meta jokes? I, 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 how many comedians does it take to screw in a light bulb? How many? Two. Want to do it and the other guy to go, how long has he been up there? <laughs> I like that. Oh, on stage. Yeah, because yeah, 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 yeah. they was going, how long? Like, how long? Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. My brother-in-law is so stupid. My sister's brother? Right. Sister's husband. Sister's husband, rather? My sister's brother would be my brother. Okay, whatever. My brother-in-law, but I was saying it's my sister's brother and not my... What else would it be? I don't know, but I know your brother's very smart. He does, like, journalism. Yeah. But this is my brother-in-law. Okay, this is my brother-in-law. Mm -hmm. So stupid, right? Uh-huh. He came up with a bucket list. You know a bucket list? Oh, sure. You know, what, you know his first thing on the bucket list was? Committing suicide. <laughs> <laughs> You're retarded. Uh, huh? That's just stupid. It's... You heard about the four the four NFL players that are that are coming out of the closet? No, it's about time. I think I, th I think it's high time. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because <laughs> isn't it strange that there's no nobody come out of the closet in an entire sport of football where there's two thousand players and you know there's gay people right. playing football? Because in the locker room they'll be saying you're looking at me naked. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a anyway there's a great deal of speculation on who the four openly gay and well the, the four. NFL football players that are going to be openly gay are, and nobody knows. It's whatever. My guess is it's those four that are all sucking each other's cocks. <laughs> I laughed before the show. I knew it's going to be a sucking cock joke. Uh. Right here, man. You want to read a joke? You sure. are. You read them so good, but do you like his meta jokes? He's, he's a deep guy. You know, he's a young guy that's still finding themselves, so he's meta. Yeah. 
Mark Jacobs is making sure he takes full advantage of his well-deserved vacation with gay porn star boyfriend Harry Lewis. The couple is seen showing off their chiseled physiques and skimpy swim shorts as they kissed, held hands, and frolicked in the ocean together on Ipanema Beach on Sunday in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Mark, 49, wore a tiny black swimsuit while Harry, 25, donned heart-patterned shorts that left little to the imagination. Both men sported incredible muscular physiques as they shared a lingering kiss on the sand before taking a dip together in the ocean. The pair clearly couldn't keep their hands off each other, holding hands and kissing as they enjoyed their day in the sun. At one point, the affection even appeared to get too much for Mark as he seemed to gently be pushing his lover away when he tried to kiss his neck. But there were no hard feelings as Mark, clearly impressed by his boyfriend's impeccable <laughs> body, Snap photos of the hunk as he stood in a series of different poses. Harry is clearly smitten with his famous boyfriend, tweeting a series of messages and pictures of Mark in quick succession on Sunday. In one tweet, which shows Mark in a pool, Harry wrote, Hot, beautiful, and just too sexy for one single pic. I love my baby. In another tweet, he wrote, Sunny and hot, with my baby next to me even hotter. So this raises two questions. First... Does Entertainment Weekly have a must-not list? <laughs> and we'll be the end of next week. Are you one of those self sabotaging This is the post-punk comedy. Now, this see. might be too... He's not one of those sabotaging guys that's it's, afraid it's, of success. It, no, no, no. No, this is a new right. type of comedy that may be a little advanced for the likes of you and me, to tell you the truth. I, I, try to take I think chance. that's what it is. But I think this will get a big laugh. Take a chance. Oh, I forgot I need these. Because of... Droughts all over Europe, scientists are predicting a global shortage of olive oil. Soon the world will know how Popeye felt after the death of his wife. <laughs> olive oil. <laughs> Remember how fucking skinny and ugly she is and they'd uh, always want to fuck her? Uh, bi <laughs> and how Big yeah, big Ethel would chase Jughead. <laughs> oh, let's not get a Jughead. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I went too far. One last joke, Daniel thinks. Yeah, unless it doesn't work. How about this? It takes forever to get a pilot's license. Think about this. It takes forever, not forever, but it takes years of training to get a pilot's license. But it only takes a couple of minutes to steal a pilot's jacket and hat. And then create, and then do some, you know, terrorist act, I guess. Yeah, I, I guess I was not living because I was thinking it was going to be a terrorist. You joke. were worried about a terrorist act. I was a little nervous. Did you see Olympus has fallen? No. Wow. <laughs> it's in, very intense. Is it like Star 69, or what was that movie? with? It's the very Trump unrealistic version? to me. First of all, the president's white, which I don't think will ever happen again. <laughs> right. And, uh, and then Morgan Freeman... Becomes the president because they want to make it somewhat realistic. Right. <laughs> He's the Secretary of Defense. Oh, so the president dies and. Yeah. And uh, then the Koreans, you know. Uh, Very enlightened. A Renaissance man. Absolutely. So, anyways, we, that means we have to do the jokes. We do the jokes, as the folks at home know, usually with the, the, when the guest is here. Right. But Russell Brand had to run. Who knows He's why? A no, I'm sure. I didn't really want to. <laughs> oh, yeah. didn't want to ask. Yeah, I don't want to. Straight out ask, yeah. because I had my suspicions. <laughs> oh, yeah. Why a Threesome guy like with that? some uh, the Sports Illustrated swimsuit uh, models on a mountaintop somewhere. Yes, yeah. exactly. So, anyways, what we decided to do instead. This, this, this week, there's a couple of, you know, jokes are jokes, yeah. but we're, a, kind of, we're kind of becoming a comedy team. <laughs> right? So this time we're going to do a joke sure, let's go where we, we both do, uh, it's not a joke as much as a, a routine. Right. Uh, well, I'm just going to, I'll read some okay. news here and you can, yeah. all right. So um, troubled starlet Lindsay Lohan isn't letting a little thing like rehab stop her from living it up at Coachella Music Festival in Indio, California on Friday night. Yes, yes. Now, Adam, you were there, am I correct? I was watching the Masters, of course, but I probably wouldn't have gone anyway. I'm not, I'm not much for that acid rock. Yeah, well, the copper-haired starlet looked ready to party in her mid Drift bearing short crop white striped top and sexy black ankle boots. Uh, she added a gray jumper around her waist and had a heavier black jacket slung over her forearms in case she got she, in case she got a little cold later. Oh well, it's good to see the tight clothes don't stop her circulation. Seems the tighter the outfit, the more she circulates. 
Anyway, uh, I don't know if you heard about this, but the UFC suspended fighter Matt uh, Mitrioni last week after he called a fighter who underwent male-to-female gender assignment surgery a lying, sick, sociopath, uh, sociopathic, disgusting freak. Hmm. Yeah. You know who the real freak here is, right? The person with a closed mind. Yes. I say a mind works uh, like a parachute when it's open. <laughs> That's when it works best. Anyway, one more. Let's, yeah, do, let's one do one more. more. Let's do one more. Uh, pop star Justin Bieber has caused outrage after leaving a tasteless comment in the guest book at the Anne Frank House in Amsterdam. I Justin Bieber that. went to the Anne Frank House yeah. where she was, okay. Yeah, yeah, over in Amsterdam. You can leave little comments in the book there. And uh, anyway, the 19-year-old singer visited the famous home where Jewish wartime diarist Frank and her family hid from Nazi persecution for two years during the Holocaust. After spending an hour touring the home on Saturday, Bieber wrote a message in the guest book. Now listen to this. He wrote, truly inspiring to be able to come here. Anne was a great girl. Hopefully, she would have been a believer. Yeah, yeah. Now, see, I knew about this story. And, and I know a lot of folks on the social media are upset with his, his hypothetical statement and his, his atrocious grammar. And, uh, and they wish that Justin Bieber would, uh, would be the one to die of typhus at the notorious Bergen-Belsen death camp. What do you think, folks? Tell us next week on Norm MacDonald Live. Good night, everybody. Thanks, Adam. You Good night, Norm. Oh, Dr. Doug oh. is. Hey, this is where we do the jokes. Nice. So we just hand out jokes. This way, you don't even think of anything funny. You just read it. Exactly. This will be a great one for you. Nice. You can just read it in the camera. Where should you read it? Which one? That one? I think there's nothing cooler than being a lone wolf, except at wolf picnics when you don't have a partner for the wolf wheelbarrow races. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, the Octomom has reportedly been evicted from her California home. The mother of 14 children packed up and left their property in Palmdale after being asked to leave for not paying her rent for the month of April. The single parent, whose real name is Nadia Sulman, exited leaving a huge mess and the stench of urine inside the pad. <laughs> Wait, it says here the urine has been traced back to... Adam Egit. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, call me crazy. Call me crazy. But I take orders from Martians who send secret messages beamed out from the antenna at the top of the Empire State Building. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this will be good for Billy Bob. Oh, okay. A Georgia high school is planning to merge their formerly all-black and all-white proms into a single event. The theme of this June's dance, an evening of unbridled race war. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Hey, can we do a little song or something? Uh, a Florida man was arrested for stealing a truck filled with $75,000 worth, $75, worth of Campbell's soup. I, for one, hope this guy goes away for mm-mm good. <laughs> wow, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. my, girl, my girlfriend... My girlfriend and I have a deal. What are they called there where you where you get to have sex with a certain list of people? I should have mm. put that on there. But you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. So my girlfriend and I have a deal where we have one celebrity that we can sleep with, and it's not considered cheating. Mine is that woman who plays Medea. <laughs> I don't know that. It's Tyler Perry. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. So, no. uh. Oh, here's another one. This is, these are themes. Oh, okay. In Kansas, a gay rights activist named Aaron Jackson paid $83,000 to buy a house across from the homophobic Westboro Baptist Church and had it painted rainbow colors. Mr. Jackson plans to recoup his investment by, well, actually, there's no plan. Have fun living in a hideous house in Kansas across from some vicious bigots. <laughs> That's pretty good. It's Earth Day, <clears throat> the one day of the year where you can jerk off outside and nothing bad can happen. I don't know what Earth Day is. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. I'm sure what Earth Day is. All right. <laughs> uh, so, so much of these are gay. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Hey, wait a second, wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a new study shows that most men can identify a gay man by his face alone. It's the face that's <laughs> buried in another man's asshole. <laughs> All right, Billy Bob Thornton's been right. our guest. Thanks a lot, Billy Good Bob. You're you. the best. So nice to meet you. Peace. We'll see you next week. <laughs> 
first. Like Josh Billings. I'm, who? Who's Josh Billings? Yeah. So you don't know Josh Billings? No. <laughs> but I make fun of things. I make fun of myself. And when I, did you start? Um, would you, you ever do a joke anywhere? like this? These are pre-vetted, so they're not Apparently, filthy. someone in Germany stole five metric tons of Nutella. Police haven't arrested anyone yet, but they are questioning Gunther Hogsbargen, the 700-pound man that smells like chocolate and hazelnuts, who guards the Nutella storage. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Well, yeah, what about this? this is what you were talking about earlier, 42. I love the movie 42. It's Chadwick Boseman, like you've never seen him before. <laughs> Because you've never seen him before. I get that. Yeah, man. <laughs> Here, you want to do a joke? Yeah, sure. Let's do a joke. Don't make it, don't be dirty, because Larry King's there. All right. Um, There's no wrong way to eat a Reese's, says the guy who didn't shove a bunch of Reese's up his ass. I didn't ask you. <laughs> Larry, you like this it one. wasn't too bad. Amanda Bynes is a lush blonde who's quickly turning into a blonde lush. <laughs> <laughs> See, I tend to laugh at my own. And when no. I me to joke, it's funny. I love jokes. That's good to laugh at. I, you know what my dad would do? Kenny Youngman was a great friend of mine. He was. Oh, he was. He Kenny, was the best. The best. It, it, nothing made... No, Take not, my wife, please, he, right? Yeah, but nothing would lead into things. You know, as he'd get up and just... A stream of consciousness. Woody Allen's favorite comedian was Kenny Youngman. Mm. You know, as he'd tell you a joke like this and go like this and go like this. You know what I mean? you go from this. Go, you, I go to the doctor. And the doctor said to me, you look great. You're going to live till you're 60. I said, I am 60. What did I tell you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's... That's funny. Classic. That's funny. What do you think of this? Hey, how about this? Take my wife, please. You think of that joke? Three word setup, one word punchline, four Correct. word joke. Four word That's joke. impressive. I'll get better I than that. I thought about that. If you're looking for your porn star name, have you ever heard of this? Where people make up porn star yeah. names? Like they, they take their childhood pet's name and then they combine it with the street name. So, anyways, mine would be Dick Fuckington. <laughs> <laughs> I lived. I lived. <laughs> I lived on Fuckington Crescent. <laughs> but this, none of this would be on the Hulu show we're doing. Man. No. Oh, how about this? College freshman Scott Damaro, Larry, set a new world record by using his head to bust 142 eggs, and he now officially holds a place in the Guinness Book of Fucking Retards. <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. Why are these dirty? <laughs> this is a great one for you, Larry. It's I got a funny joke. It's news. If you were a Russian prostitute on a date with serial killer Andre Chikatilo, a.k.a. the Rostov Ripper, and he couldn't achieve an erection, that was not your lucky day. <laughs> no. All right, this guy's going to go to prison. Yeah. And he's really scared. He's worried. He's scared. He's got to go to prison. A friend says, go, go talk to that guy. Just got out of San Quentin. He goes, he says, you just got out of San Quentin. I'm scared to death. Goes, Come on. It's a piece of cake. I want to ask you something. Monday, you like music? Monday's music day at San Quentin. All popular new music is played for you, and major composers come and talk to you. They'll talk to all the convicts. You're going to love Monday. Tuesday, you like food? Tuesday's food day at San Quentin. Chefs come and cook meals all day long. Famous chef Wolfgang Puck comes and talks to the prisoners about how to cook. Wow. You're going to love Tuesday. Wednesday. Wednesday is exercise day. All the new physical equipment comes in, and the major physical guys in America come in and teach you're going to love Wednesday. Now, Thursday. Are you gay? <laughs> you're not going to like Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> That's a funny joke. That's a great joke. You tell a joke now to Larry. Maybe he'll, he'll use it in his act. Um, all right. So uh, there's two uh, there's two gay guys talking. No, it doesn't uh, have to be gay guys again, does it? No, it's really not that bad. On it's a not. Day that it's the not insulting. The no, no. Uh, there's two day, two gay guys. They're playing hide and seek. And oh and, no, and no, one... we're not gonna do that. No, right. We're not gonna do that joke. <laughs> we're not gonna do that joke. But I think this is a great joke for Larry King. Because Irish. it's news. It's Irish news. walked out of a bar. Could right. happen. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the Al Qaeda online <laughs> magazine Inspire has a recipe for a homemade bomb. They also have a recipe for a pretty darn good peach cobbler. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're not all bad. You know? not all. I crack up when I see a funny joke and I hear it. You know, so. you know, I'll tell you this, Larry. Say what you want about um, how huge and fat my head has gotten, but you'll who'll offer you that? <laughs> Try iron. <laughs> you know, my clothes, Larry, make me look slimmer, but uh, they did not fool that flight of stairs that collapsed under my astonishing new girth. 
Who get, who writes these? Uh, I'm no, fat where did, now. Where do they come from? Have you ever been fat? It doesn't yeah, seem like you. Fat. You were. When I had my heart attack. I weighed 195. When you had your heart attack, yeah. you weighed 195. Now you. <laughs> you want to read a joke? Yeah, man. Who wrote these jokes? We don't. We can't say. I'd like to do something about a film or something. Oh, good. <laughs> How do you know that fast? How do you know that fast? I was what just. Are you? I'm a good cheater. Now you, you can change. You know, you can change that joke because I think it should be changed a little. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Where's the camera? Where is your camera? Fast and Furious 6 opens next week. The cast is getting a little older. It's less Fast and Furious and more like brisk and peeved. <laughs> Here, Adam, do a joke. Yeah, all right. Uh, a good name for a dog is Syndrome. That uh, then, when he tries to attack someone, you can tell you can yell Down Syndrome. Uh, <laughs> don't laugh. Uh, it's not. I, I mean, it's yeah. That's like it a was dog. a little insensitive, I guess. Guess so. I've never gotten a decent explanation as to how Popeye the Sailor Man lost his eye. <laughs> Yeah, this seems like a good one. No, no, this doesn't seem like a good. This one seems like, to me, a good Kevin Neal. This is. Joke. This reminds me of going through jokes for a weekend update. Yeah, right. Before you know, it's you fun. get all the facts and send them to you. <laughs> in my opinion, if we're going to fight the war on terror, a good place to start would be our country's haunted houses. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that could be in your act, almost. Any of these could be in my act, <laughs> and they will be. You know, one time this was as a kid. That joke reminds me of that. When I was a kid, I went to the haunted house at the state fair, and my dad did not want to pay the 50 cents to get in <laughs> to the haunted house. And it was like this trailer with ghosts and stuff. And my dad goes, that's no goddamn haunted house. So I'm like, sure it is. He goes, no, it's not. It's got wheels on it. It drives around. The ghosts should come right out. <laughs> <laughs> it was like ruined it for me. <laughs> then... Whose turn it is? Whose turn is it? Yeah, North. Yours? I just read one. I like your jokes, though. <laughs> like my jokes. ZZ Top saying that every girl's crazy about a sharp-dressed man, but you know what they're not crazy about? Gross long beards. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny and true. These are, that one was written for yours. No, that was no, more no, your no. cadence right there. No, no, no. But no. you know what they're not crazy about? Gross long beards. <laughs> <laughs> How about this one? Movie star and award-winning director Ben Affleck has vowed to live for one day on a dollar fifty, or as Adam Eget calls it, a raise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did the joke, and you were the punchline. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm broke. Uh, in England, a woman was arrested for throwing a birthday party for her 16-year-old son that included marijuana, alcohol, and strippers. Now she's got even bigger problems. What to do for his 17th birthday? <sighs> Whatever. Oh, horses must love that they're the go-to animals when saying a guy has a huge cock. <laughs> I bet giraffes have huge cocks, I'm sure of it. <laughs> but let's face it, Kevin, no one's ever going to say, that guy is hung like a giraffe, unless his cock is yellow and has brown spots on it. <laughs> In which case, who cares how big his fucking cock is? <laughs> he has weeks to live. <laughs> <clears throat> Can you take these jokes and put them in your egg? What? This Can you seems... take these and put these in your egg? Sure, but I'm not going to. But here, <laughs> here is a. I think this is a perfect Kevin Nealon joke. <laughs> Tomorrow is National Secretary's Day. Which is true. Is that right? I plan on getting my secretary the same thing I always do: a big fat goosing. <laughs> <laughs> you can, but you can imagine Kevin having a secretary and goosing her, right? No. Kind of, right? He's a great no, no, but like he's an old Maybe in the 50s. Oh, That's yeah, what sure, I mean. Sure. I don't even know what goosing means. Oh, yeah. Is, no, it, like is a goose going, is like... I think it's like... Oh, you don't know what goosing know. means? Is it like grabbing them? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. like... Thumbing them. Yeah. Everything that they do to women's asses didn't... <clears throat> It didn't seem like it would uh, make the girl like you, like pinching her yeah, ass. Yeah. Like, why would you like that? Remember the good old days back when MILF stood for mentally ill ladies I'd like to fuck? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway. Do you have a writing staff? <laughs> oh, yeah. You do? We have Steve O'Donnell. Dude, these are really good. Um... There's going to be a Broadway musical based on the movie Rocky. I don't know if you guys heard about this. And in the Broadway musical version of the show, after Rocky climbs the steps uh, of the art museum, he goes inside and spends two hours looking at. Yeah, I know. <laughs> God damn. Goes inside and looks at what? 
Paintings? He looks at paintings. I like that. That's hours. a good one. You know what he always says? Long-windedness is the huh? shortest way to your heart. What is it? The soul of wit. Oh, here's a good one. Yeah, the joke is a bit wordy. Do you have any other color jokes? I mean, he's just blue and yellow. Did you just say, do I have any other colored jokes? <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. Fucking Jimmy the Greek over here. <clears throat> I don't want to... Wanna... <laughs> Jimmy the Greek. <laughs> How about Jimmy the Greek gets kicked out for being a racist? Meanwhile, they call him the Greek. <laughs> <laughs> TV. Uh. Tim, Tebow's, Tim Tebow's time in New York wasn't a total loss. He had a monument built to him in Central Park, a bench. <laughs> This, to me, is the quintessential uh, Kevin Neal To me. Oh, I'd like to see what you think is my quintessentialness. Captain Zeta Jones has been diagnosed with bipolar disorder. Half the time she's Zeta, the other half she's Jones. <laughs> oh, we keep doing jokes. A new tabloid rumor, 205-pound Kim Kardashian. How much? 200. Is that an estimate, or did they really pounds. get her on a scale? Somebody got her on a scale. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. She, she gained a lot of weight, for sure. But she might be getting paid to gain weight. This huh. is amazing. By some weight loss program or reality show that will then get her to lose weight. Hmm. Anyways. You think, I like, a, the biggest loser? Somewhere like that, yeah. I have a similar deal. I have a, a, only I pay them. And by them, I mean Zanku chicken. <laughs> and in exchange, they give me some Zanku chicken. But you know what? I was on Roseanne, right? And Roseanne, <coughs> I was on, uh, writing on the Roseanne show. So Roseanne, they came to one of these people. <laughs> one of these Nutrisystem or whatever they yeah. call it. And they said, you got to lose weight and we'll give you all this money. So Roseanne did the, did the thing. For like two days, and then she's like, fuck this, I want to eat two days. <laughs> so then she's like, I'm not giving the money back. And then they said, no, you got to give the money back. But then Roseanne said, I'm not giving the money back, and uh, if I do give the money back, I'll tell everybody that I did your thing and it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> so she got to keep the money. That's oh, brilliant. I was on her she talk show once. Cookie. Oh, God. Probably when you were writing on it. On the talk show? <laughs> So I go, beat me up, Scotty. Go, oh. <laughs> beat me up, Scotty, you motherfucker. This joke, I couldn't help looking at it while you were telling yeah, me that read story. It. Read that joke. This is such, this is so your style right here. What? They, the writers, whoever they are, they're writing, they know how to, you, to write for you. Re, yeah. Just read this one. This Cats so and paraplegics have a lot in common. For starters, neither be, neither appreciates going into your pool. No, no, you didn't read it right. <laughs> Neither appreciates being tossed in your neighbor's pool. Yeah, they deserve a raise. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds like a joke you would do. <clears throat> they say there's no people like show people. But now scientists have found uh, scientists have found show people are genetically linked to the Laplanders and the Finns. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. That's I give that an A. More jokes, man. Under. Let's just talk. I know. What's going on? Goddamn bunch of fucking jokes. There's <laughs> <laughs> not professional jokes like that. You're funny that shit up. <clears throat> mm. You want me to read this? Yeah, man. Oh, oh. This is where we read jokes. I had a feeling. Okay. Uh... Despite all the advances in veterinary medicine and racing technology, the Kentucky Derby record set by Secretariat 40 years ago still stands. The reason? Still stands? Yeah. What is the reason? Today's horses are total pussies. Pussies. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what about this one? Um, ja Rule's taxes are just like his music. No one can remember the last time he released anything. Hmm. No, mm. that's not. A, no, that's just that's just a sad observation. Yeah. <laughs> huh. But I. Well, oh, listen. This Catherine Zeta Jones admitted she is bipolar half the time. She's deliriously happy, and the other time she has to suck an old man's cock. <laughs> <laughs> that's dirty. Come on, man. Let's be. <laughs> this is this is neither dirty nor clean. It's more like a. Oh. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> if tampons are called sanitary napkins, how unsanitary must regular napkins be? <laughs> Can you see, like, George Carlin doing that or something? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look at this one. Um, scientists have found a submerged mass of granite off the coast of South America <clears throat> that they're calling the Brazilian Atlantis. Damn it! I want to be called the Brazilian Atlantis. Mm. Once again, just a sad <laughs> observation. 
Why would I even want to be called the Bristol? Hey, what about this? Michigan man Curtis Peterson received a 15-year prison sentence. I don't want to do that. <laughs> <coughs> oh, this is a kind of an odd one. As opposed but to I, the straight ahead. I have more faith in you than in that. Really? Okay. <laughs> well, no, that makes sense. I mean, crews in Ohio dismantled a tavern wall in search of Jimmy Hoffa's body, and sure enough, they found the inside of a tavern wall. Yeah. So mm, there was. Mm. <laughs> I felt bad for you. Yeah. You have to put in the extra. <laughs> <My back>. mm. <laughs> Um, I, uh, I, it's a true story, actually. I once missed a day of cosmetology school, and later I had to make a, a makeup class. Wow. Did you ad-lib that? I, it's I, a true story. To, no, yeah. I, <laughs> and it said, help save it. It's funny I that it's, the expression came about, it's a true story, because it's always a not. Right, it's yeah. It's not a true story. Yeah, right. It, it's, it is. You're protesting. Like nobody ever goes, hey... I got a hooker last night, and I paid money for in exchange for sex. True story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how about this? The Dalai Lama said that killing in the name of religion is unthinkable. Hey, thanks, Dalai Lama. I'm sure everybody will fucking listen to you. No one listens to the Dalai no, Lama. No, no one. He doesn't have a wide <laughs> Like the reach. head of another church is going right. to listen to the Dalai Lama. <laughs> oh, whatever. Everybody's good. Oh, what about this one? You'll like this one, Sammy. <clears throat> Yesterday was Bring Your Daughter to Work Day, which was awkward for Adam Egit. Do you know how hard it is to fuck a whore with her kid on the edge of the bed playing Nintendo? I mean, that is a hard job. I mean, whatever. <laughs> no, I'm serious. No, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> you set yourself up for it. You live that kind of fucking lifestyle, man. There you go. <laughs> Uh, I like hotels. They make your bed, make your dinner, send housekeepers up to watch you masturbate. It's a dream. Yeah, come on. <laughs> uh, the parents of Honey Boo Boo are getting married this week. I don't know what any of that means, but it sounds fucking retarded. <laughs> what? Oh, this is a kind of a this is a kind of a cool one. I think this is kind of a cool <clears throat> joke. Yeah. With Simon Helberg. Cool. Mm. Recent studies show fish can communicate with each other using subtle physical gestures. One of their most common messages, let's leave this party early. I don't know, what is that? Yeah. <laughs> is that what does that mean? Uh, well, it's a, it's a subtle, it's fucking his joke. Let's leave this party. Do fish? <laughs> no, like a subtle message, so it's like, you know. Oh. Is right. that what it is? Like, yeah, let's. Oh, let's. Mm -hmm. oh yeah, yeah, it's, it's not speaking. So Should I not like, have spoke that? Part you then? had to speak it. Though. I had to speak it for the joke, but, but you wanted more of like party a, early. You, did it perfect. you wanted this little thing. <laughs> what about this? I one, can't believe man. I'm really trying to get into that. Um, I assume anyone smiling is on meth. Period. That's it. I don't know that. But do you watch just... Breaking Bad? Yeah. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> That's pretty good. Oh, you seen it all the way through? I haven't. I'm a little oh, you behind. Haven't. I'm a little behind. It's interesting that people are at different uh, levels of everything now. Yeah, just, you can't. You can only do that today. You couldn't do that five years ago. What's that? Netflix, you know, to be behind it. It's like you you missed the show. Guess what? You're not you're not watching it. Until yeah, right. It comes right. Out night in a few years. Yeah, the old cards. And yeah. All. Before that, they didn't even have TVs. Before sure. TVs, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. You're saying before TVs? Yeah, nobody talked about no Brian TVs. Cranston. <laughs> I don't know. That's debatable. I think. According to a new survey, Robin <laughs> Roberts is America's most trusted news anchor. America's <laughs> yeah. This is a super funny joke. Okay, I'm excited. <laughs> According to a new survey, Robin Roberts, you know who she is? She had myodysplasia. Ah, uh, yeah, myo. Um, <laughs> According to a new survey, Robin Roberts is America's most trusted news anchor. And America's least trusted news anchor? Matt Lyer. <laughs> wow. That's... It's a very Dickensian <laughs> joke. I like that. <laughs> that liar. It's like a Sesame Street joke. It's either Sesame Street or, or Dickensian. I don't know which one. But you know there's a Matt Lauer. I, oh. Yes. There we are. I, 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 it's very funny. I did very, put very that funny. together. <clears throat> a man who jumped off the 86th floor of the Empire State Building survived oh, for seven seconds. Oh. 
I fucked that all up. That's okay. I fucked it. We're not used to. Yeah, that's not a very good but joke. It, it was, Sounds like said, an Adam Egan joke. Yeah, it does actually say by Adam Egan. <laughs> Copyright, Sam. <laughs> I, Sorry for that. This is I'm a good one. my best. Um, Ariel Castro. This yeah. is fresh from the. No, this from is very good. Yeah, this is yeah. Yeah. fresh, ripped from the headlines. No, <laughs> Top from that it's paper, a topical joke. Uh, ripped from the headlines of the newspaper. Oh, oh Jesus! You almost oh. ripped me in half, no, but you didn't it's because perfect. that's, you, that's uh, like it was planned that way. Ariel Castro, the Cleveland kidnapper and rapist, must have had a very difficult upbringing. His last name's the same as a ruthless dictator, and his first name's the same as an adorable little red-haired mermaid. Yeah, <laughs> Red mermaid. Hair. It's mermaid. Uh, there was a lot of error <laughs> along the way to yeah. oh, A lot of stumbles down the road. Sorry, um, oh yeah. But I get it though. I mean, I yeah. Right. I think yeah, it's a little mermaid. That... Yeah. So it's just. It is time for the last joke. Oh good. Oh, Ready? Thank God. A new study found that men with beards are more attractive. This this is a study that took place at the University of. <laughs> Yeah, I'll do it another week. It's such a funny joke. Another week? Well, know. it's such a funny All right, joke. I don't, yeah. No, I'll say it. Right. A new study found that men with beards are more attractive than men without beards. More great work from the University of Bob Seger. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I never laugh if I only that. But so, uh, I wrecked it all this week. <laughs> it's because Simon has eyes. His eyes are very, his eyes are very seductive. My, I've noticed that, yes. Somebody, I did something today where the interviewers told me that I had really uh, pretty eyeballs, which takes Jesus. away from the... Eyeballs? It takes away from any sort of yeah. seductive, you know, there's It's like nothing. saying a nice head. Yeah. yeah right. Well... <laughs> it's like a compliment by... by nice Macy. head is... It's, it can go both ways. But eyeballs, it doesn't have the same ring. As no saying you, have, you have really no. beautiful bedroom eyeballs. Yeah. <laughs> Time to read jokes. Yes. We read jokes on this show, Nick. All right. It's easy. Then you don't have to think of them yourself. I love it. I hate yeah. thinking. To read that thing. I read it now? Yeah. A Florida University student was caught streaking on campus and apparently told police he was on acid and asked them to cut his dick off. Boy, these kids today are crazy. In my day, we didn't need drugs. We would just cut our own dicks off. <laughs> yeah, you didn't need no fucking acid and shit. What about this? There's a new 3D version of The Great Gatsby you know, coming. I saw it. I just saw it, too. Did you? Yeah. It, 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 did you see it in 3D? No. Oh, in 3D. I don't like was, wearing glasses. It was almost like the sober examination of the unrestrained materialism and absolute moral center of the Roaring Twenties jumped right out at you. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what about this, Nick? Read this one. <laughs> That's a good I one. Think, <laughs> I think my doctor might be retarded. Why? His name is Dr. Retardo. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's a good chance. <laughs> what about this? 42-year-old Richard S Swanson set out to dribble a soccer ball from Seattle to Brazil, but got hit by a car in Oregon and died. Well, at least he, he got to die loving what he... do. At least he got to die doing what he loved, Nick. Dribbling a soccer ball in traffic. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not nice. But here, that's look. Okay. You like it. One of the most that's popular okay. documentaries on Netflix. One of the most popular documentaries on Netflix is Jiro. Jiro Dreams of Sushi? Jiro Dreams of Sushi. I've seen that. It's very good. Yeah, it's you a have? Fantastic yeah. documentary. One of the least popular documentaries, Jiro Night. <laughs> Zero nightmares of asteroids. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That. Um, unwatchable. I actually did. I liked it. The DVD commentary. Pain and Gain, the new movie directed by Michael Bay. Reviewers are calling it everything from shit to fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't that look like the worst thing ever? Yeah. Oh, well, whatever. Hey, listen, have you noticed my enormous weight gain? I've gained no. 45 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, my manager, my no, my landlord rather, he managed to get rid of 230 pounds of ugly fat. He evicted me. What? Here, here read oh, this. I thought you. No, read this. I want to read that one again. Here, read that. Sure, we all know about Norm's astonishing weight gain, but I think it's become a bit wearisome. So let's agree to stop having fun at his expanse. <laughs> <laughs> Here, let Adam Eager read one. Yeah, Adam, what the fuck? I give you three good ones. Uh, Dick. Four of the top five picks in the NFL draft were offensive tackles, which is a great thing to tell your wife as the love drains from her eyes. <laughs> this one's more like a factoid. 
Danny DeVito looks like one of those guys with a short but thick penis. <laughs> Right, he has to have the biggest fucking cock. Uh, it's true. <laughs> you know, dogs and humans love to run because it, it apparently gives them a natural high similar to that of marijuana, according to the University of Arizona. Wow. After running what are called cannabinoids, the chemical found in marijuana that gives you a feeling of euphoria, are higher in humans and dogs, and this occur encourages them to run again. To 7-Eleven for a Slurpee. <laughs> <laughs> they got the munchies. You want to you want to check it? Let me fact check this. <laughs> oh, this is your kind of joke, man. Out. This, is, this reminds me of your kind of joke. All right. Just from hearing you read jokes. Oh, I like this. I like the theme that we're that this one has. A man in Taiwan reportedly cut off his own penis to win an argument with his wife. That reminds me of that episode of Everybody Loves Raymond. Or Raymond forgot Deborah's birthday and had to cut his own cock off. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! I can read, just read any one. You, oh, you, you get to read them out of here. Right. It's like <laughs> Game of Thrones. The guy's getting his penis cut off. If you guys everybody care. is there? Yeah, this guy got his, got his penis cut off to turn into a vagina, fashion into a vagina. <laughs> I don't think they had medieval sexual. <laughs> oh, that's in the old days. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, it's I like medieval. Oh. But it'd be cool if they did experiment yeah. with general altercations back then. Yeah. But what about, let's say you go to a doctor. <laughs> Isn't it weird that you can go to a doctor and go, you know how I have a cock? <laughs> Where are you going with this? It's not real. I shouldn't have a cock. <laughs> I'm you bored. Mind, you mind cutting it? Because I've always intuitively believed that. <laughs> <laughs> so the best is like if you, when you want to go back after like five yeah. months, you're like, you know, I had a cock and then you gave me a pussy. <laughs> Which didn't work. The pussy was fun. It was, can I get my cock back? You still have it? The guy's like, like, you betcha. They're like, do I have it? <laughs> He's like, do I have it? <laughs> Is a sex change a good gift for a Christmas? A sex change? Yeah, like a, like a gift certificate. <laughs> like, Mom, I know you always wanted a fucking... <laughs> penis. Wait, is your mom still alive? Yeah, she is. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> she have a joke? Tell the joke. Right, right, right. No, well, because it's a 50 50 chance it's not going to go well. No, it's a 50 50 chance that they're, they're It's not going to look like a penis. Yeah. It's like a Star Wars thing. Yeah. I guess you're right. Read a joke. All right, you before, read one uh, joke. before we begin, I have a quick uh, public service announcement. Would somebody, anybody, please fuck Martha Stewart? Oh, I got that one. What? I don't understand that. What? That's weird, right? Too soon. It's meta. Oh, uh, meta. Do you like the meta comedy? Meta world peace comedy. Yeah. <laughs> the comedy I like. <laughs> hey, Barbara Walters is retiring. I can understand why Barbara Walters is retiring. It must be exhausting occasionally appearing on The View. <laughs> right? We're fucking going on the road doing all kinds of shit. Yeah. Doing our shit act. Not you. Your act is good. It's pretty shitty. But she gets to sit there. And just fucking talk. Yeah, just yap. The fuck? You ever been on that show? I've been on it so many times. <laughs> you know, I'm against hate speech, but read that. Engaging in hate speech is wrong and terrible and should never be tolerated. But you have to admit, engaging in a hate stutter would be kind of cute. <laughs> How would that go? Fuck, fuck, suck, queer. Fuck, <laughs> fuck. Chinese boy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, a papa, a papa, a papa, what do you call that? Papa. Papa John's? Oh, okay. A Papa John's delivery man has been arrested for allegedly selling more than 40000 in cocaine hidden in pizza boxes. Jesus. To undercover police officers. This raises an important question. Where is all that pizza that was supposed to go in those boxes? Can I have them to eat? <laughs> I'm a big fat guy. <laughs> Oh, here's a good one. What would you do if you if you got a pizza box filled with cocaine? What would I do? Yeah. Would you be really mad about the pizza not being there? A, uh, oh, a pizza box full of cocaine. Isn't that what they said? Oh, fuck, I forgot. I, yeah, pizza boxes. I forgot and there's cocaine in them. What would you do? You... <laughs> <laughs> Nothing? Uh, deliver it to Busey's? Busey's fire that train. Yeah, no. Hey, Sesame Street introduced its very first Latino character, Armando. But it's not going great. Apparently on the first day, he got into a knife fight and stabbed the letter A. 
It's silly. That's silliness. Yeah, it's, That's cute. They're all fine people. The FDA is investigating health risks posed by Wrigley's new caffeinated gum. Well, where the hell was the FDA when York peppermint patties were making people shiver and having involuntary orgasms? <laughs> what was that? Fuck! How would that go? Like, eat one and then go. All right, Adam, you do that one. Eat it and have it. Uh, eat it. Like, eat it. Eat it. Oh. Ooh, that's, oh, that's how you. Oh, oh, yeah. That's how he comes. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! Yeah, you need to take Mr. <laughs> Furley's Burbank <laughs> hotel class on coming on strangers. I fucking fucking mugged. <laughs> Shitting on poor girls from Nebraska who are here to audition for fucking White Shadow. They're covered in a fucking brown cloud of fucking furly nightmare mist. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, Adam. Hey. Eat my dog shit snowman! Oh, what's that mean? <laughs> what's a dog shit snowman? I don't know, man. Is that a real thing? And I, I hope not. <laughs> furly could build it, if anybody could. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hey, Time Magazine named the top 100 most influential people in the world, Nick. The top 100 include Justin Timberlake, Beyonce, Jimmy Kimmel. In your face, Yuli Moray, president of the Swiss Confederation. No one knows who that is except yeah. Steve O'Donnell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you read them again. Like there's a side note. Let me get another one. You want another one? Here you go, man. Wait a minute. Okay, what's, this, what's that one say? Nowadays, most teenagers don't watch their favorite shows on actual TV sets. Instead, they just blow each other. That's yeah, probably true. That yeah. was more of a comment, really. Yeah, that's actually... That's a website. What are you whispering about? We gotta go? 20 seconds, till we're off 20 seconds man. To read that joke. How many people have to die before we finally do something about dropping pianos? <laughs> <laughs> that Nick was Swartz amazing. <laughs> Look for him in Grown Ups 2. Thanks, Nikki. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> oh, my God. So here now we tell jokes. Now, you think you don't tell jokes, but wait well, till I you... I can read them. You can I read them. Oh, I saw one in the bathroom. I went to use the bathroom. Oh, I threw some, were, I threw some threw in the some garbage. In the don't garbage tell people that. that. You threw all the racist ones away. <laughs> <laughs> and then one other one that was about the view, because it was... Did oh, you go through the bathroom. garbage and, and find the old joke? When there's a joke, it just, and they, it was, it was in the garbage, and there was one. Yeah. I, I just went, it was clean, it was jokes. sitting on top of paper yeah. towels, so I pulled it, pulled it out, I read it, and then there was another one, I'm like, oh, there's another one. <laughs> and another one, there was like about four jokes. The one I remember was the view. Wait, wait, I don't want to do view jokes, Please. because if you, if you, you start a battle with uh, Joy Behar, you're not going to win. No, you'll win easily. But read this one. <laughs> read, read this one. Read this joke. I will, but why did you throw the one about the view away? That was the one I'm like, well, this one's kind of, it made me laugh. And I'm like, well, I wonder why. I didn't know you Because our standards out. are so high that even that one didn't make it. You didn't think it was funny? I thought it was very funny, but not funny enough for Andy <laughs> Dick. It's pretty funny. We're going to save I know. it for next week for Big Fat Bruce Valanche. <laughs> I told you you're before. allowed to say that because you you're fat. That. He's allowed. No, to. I'm a fat guy like him. But he's allowed to. Like Look I'm this. allowed to say the word faggot. Yeah, oh. you fucking faggot. Well, I mean, there's no need for that. Yeah. What was that? Uh, what that comment guy say to you? I can't say that. <laughs> Come on, let's. Okay, well, let's read. Can it. I? You don't want because you're not going to save it for Bruce because you threw it in the garbage. Oh, Do you mm. want me to say the view one? I think I kind of. Remember. No, you see, no, Bruce. Bruce, anger Bruce Valanche, you can get a, give, you, him why why give him any joke. Why doesn't he want to? Bruce Valanche, you can give him any joke. He's so funny, that dude. He's that, that he will just make it funny. He's funny. But um, you probably are afraid of Joy Behar, aren't you? Who wouldn't be? She's a little bit of a firecracker. Terrifying. She's funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She reminds me of, like, uh, like your aunt that tells jokes at the fucking Thanksgiving I'm going to go get that joke. Cause I, I <laughs> oh, to, my God. Because the way they wrote it was pretty funny. <laughs> well, maybe you should tell a joke while Andy Okay, is. folks, we'll tell a joke while Andy is gone. You want, you, here, you tell one. Okay. Um, the latest Adam Archie. Amiga telling a joke. <laughs> The, uh, the latest Archie comic shows gay character Kevin kissing his boyfriend Devin. Another barrier will be broken next month when in a dream sequence, Jughead will be show fisting Betty Crocker. God damn, you're illiterate. It's a show fit. No. Oh, you're right. Really we'll right. be shown. Be shown. Yeah, we'll be they, shown. They forgot to write the end. Okay, now we'll see this <laughs> joke. This you made is me a laugh joke. again out loud. This, just is, reading this, it show, to myself. this show is so high quality that, that we, one... we take jokes from the, from the dustbins. 
Well, you said that this is fun, very funny, but not funny enough. Not funny enough for Andy Dick, I thought. Well, I thought it was fun. Well, I, I am a fan of The View because Sherry Shepard is a good friend of mine. Sure. Um, and I've been on The View a lot, which is weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm on The View. Daphne Aguilera was on The View. Oh, really? really? Did Daphne Aguilera, he didn't rub your cock on my... Okay, come on. Oh, this is what we're trying to get away okay, from. Sorry. <laughs> and by the way, every time I'm on The View, Barbara Walters will not be on The View. Is that right? Yeah, she oh. won't be on it. And they, it has to be the pre-taped one. You know how they're live except for she the... Won't. She won't do it. And they always have to do the pre-taped one. Filthy old bag. Barbara Walters announced that she's retiring from The View. Well, actually, she announced it five years ago, but no one could hear her over those yammering bitches. <laughs> See? <laughs> Amazing that that works after that giant building. Hey, how about this one? They say pimping ain't easy, Andy. <laughs> But what they won't tell you, it is much, much more difficult being a prostitute. <laughs> Pimping is pretty easy. I don't know if you heard a pimp, but... It's hard to believe that the entire cast of Saved by the Bell is now dead. <laughs> it's hard to believe that. <laughs> hey, George, Clooner, George Clooney may be a dapper fellow, dude. Don't forget, he whacks off just like the rest of us. I wonder if he does. I don't even know sure, if that's true. Does. Uh, if there's two things I'm 100% sure are true, it's that... No, no, that... don't read ahead. I don't know One of the is. rules is we're not supposed to read ahead. Oh, okay. Well, hand me other ones. Then. I, I, will, I, I read will. those. I will. Can I do it? Oh, yeah, do Just it. Just do it. Uh, if there's two things I'm 100% sure read, are read, true, read. it's that number one, no means no, and number two, you should never take no for an answer. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a puzzle. That's a little conundrum. There is a new service called Sidecar, where if you need a ride somewhere, you will be picked up by a stranger and driven to your location. However, in a few months, the company plans on going back to its original name, Murder. Yeah, do this one, though. That's crazy. <laughs> Accomplished comedian. What is accomplished? Did you write this one? This is not against Accomplished. <laughs> this is not against anybody. <laughs> All right. Accomplished. <laughs> Okay. Accomplished comedian Sinbad has a <laughs> He's accomplished. Yeah, you're right. He's he is. It's like Byron Allen. Yes. Accomplished comedian Sinbad has announced he's filing for bankruptcy. Bankruptcy for the second time. The second time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, it's so retarded. <laughs> Sounds like things have gone from Sinbad to Sin worse. <laughs> All right, listen, man, a lot of people talk about masturbating to the Sears catalog when they were younger, you know? Uh-huh, yes, I've looked through them. You know, because of nowadays yes. with the porn and everything. Yeah, but I'm a lot older than that. Uh, back in my days, you actually had to go to this, a Sears store and fucking whack off. <laughs> Mannequins. I don't know. I used to love mannequins. That doesn't make sense because Sears you? started as a cattle. It did? Yeah. Sears. Oh, you're right. you're right. You're yeah, right. That, that didn't make sense. Did you write that one? Uh, well, you're right, though. Because you know what? They used it in old outhouses. <laughs> they would use the Sears catalog as a toilet paper. Toilet paper. Mm. The paper was so thin, probably. Organist Ray Manzarek died this week at the age of 74. The curse of the doors. <laughs> Oh, this is about your aunt. Um, My aunt? Is she fucking dead? <laughs> yes. You don't have a living aunt? Maybe. Maybe. I have to read it? Yeah. Well, it's your aunt. Okay, yeah, okay, you're right. I do have one. I got a couple aunts. My aunt turned her house into a bed and breakfast. I guess she woke up and said, not enough strangers are fucking here. It is kind of weird when you think about it, right? Yeah. You make your house a bed and breakfast, Just and then damn dirty hippies are fucking upstairs, <laughs> and you... There are over 10,000 missing person cases in America. I hope I'm not telling tales out of school, but I think the answer to where these missing people is very clear. Your hand vendor sloot. You don't remember that guy? He, he killed a Natalie, uh, Natalie Portman? No, it's, no, 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 it was, it was Natalie Holloway. Natalie Holloway? Did you have anything to do with that case? No, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> No, you know, true story. Yeah, never, sure, uh, never trust a black guy wearing a Dirk Nowitzki jersey. <laughs> you know, I, I came to the one. store. Uh, Which one? Oh, you want me to give him one? Here you go. I came to the store the other day, and uh, Pauly Shore's interviewing an assistant. Yeah. And uh, this guy looks fucking familiar. Yeah. And Pauly's like, yeah, dude, it's... Remember that Johan Vandershoek? No he way. Had a younger brother just looked just like him. Yeah. He didn't hire him, but wow. he wasn't that great of a story. Listen, yeah. whenever someone says, I have a couple irons in the fire, I think, is one of them a job writing blacksmithing metaphor? What? Why is I, don't fucking... I don't know. I don't know. That's funny. But we're going to end. You just screwed 
We're going to end the whole show with a joke for Andy Dick. I'm going to try to find a really funny one. Here's Can one. I do one more? If, I like it. No, you're going to do the last one. Okay, okay. But let me tell you this. If the Miami Heat win the NBA championship this year, I will eat my hat. It's not that I care or think they're going to win. I just want to eat my hat. This is where most of my weight goes. <laughs> Straight to whatever the fuck this is. I'm going to find a really good joke. You guys talk, and I'll find a good joke. <laughs> So, end. Adam, yeah. is it hard to, to not drink? You know, you've gained, t- you know you've gained too much weight, by the way, when uh, your chair guy refuses to work with you anymore. But go ahead. He's fat. Yeah, he's, yeah. He, we need to help him out. Well, get him, let's try to get him on Dancing with the Stars. That is the greatest idea I've ever heard. Yeah. Well, you know, Jeffrey Ross was on the Stars. He didn't make it past, I think, first episode. But it did well for him. It'll help, it'll help this show, and it'll help you. And it'll, it'll help, help you. Yeah. Yeah. Eating strawberries. The world's second, I'm sorry, the world's second oldest man died this week at 113. Good news for the third oldest man in the world who also got bad news this week. He's dying. Second. (laughs) We're going to do math. (laughs) Fuck, man. It's not. Let's let's say this joke. I mean. This is a joke that he gave. He says he's doing it in his act and it's killing. This this one's great. But he closes with this and everyone seems to relate to it. (laughs) Answer machine. Yeah, yeah, right. Michael Douglas claims that oral sex can lead to throat cancer, which might shed some light on why Adam Egit prefers to lick men's assholes. I'll be doing that on Woody Woodbury's show next week. Uh, Hey, as long as it kills, it tastes like cop... Like cotton? Copper. He said it tasted like pennies. <laughs> That's what you told me. Mm. 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 Well, I... Yeah. Nobody kills. That's oh, good. Oh, I mean... kidding aside, I hope you don't die of throat cancer. You're being sincere. Yeah, no, no, that was sweet. Because yeah. I know you lick a lot of men's assholes. <laughs> And I just pray. Are you watching a slow sin- burn? Sincerely. I sincerely pray that the last time you, you look out a guy's asshole, you don't die of throat cancer. I appreciate that. And, and I think everyone <laughs> agrees with me. On. Yeah. If I was on Oprah, the audience would start clapping. <laughs> I'd say, and, yes, ladies and gentlemen, I... I don't know how I can get through this without crying, but I hope next time Adam eats out a man's shit-filled asshole, he doesn't... He doesn't die of throat cancer. What about... Look under your seats, everyone. What's under their seats? It's Adam Egan. Look under your seat. It's Adam Egan licking your asshole out and giving himself throat cancer at the same time. He's multi talented. <laughs> See, earlier he said you could do nothing. Right. Now he's right. saying you I could do two, two things. things. I could eat out a man's asshole and get throat, throat cancer. It's, and I'm a multitasker. It's like too, how Sammy could... Davis could sing and dance and do yeah. impressions. Right. I'm just like Sammy I, Davis Adam Jr. Could, of ass eating and. Eat out a man's asshole. So he's the Sammy and, Davis Jr. Yeah, of ass eating. Um, <laughs> ass eating and, 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 and While he's uh, got his tongue inserted in a man's <laughs> asshole, he's going, Candy Man. <laughs> oh, like. Candy man. Ray Romano. Not hey. tonight. Not, no, not tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I get, I get, yeah, here's you what get I get. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, get this, we have jokes for you. You're gonna... We're the only show that provides the guests with jokes. Now, wait, when you say jokes for me. You read them. For me to, yeah. Oh, to... you mean for me to tell? Yeah. Oh, okay. So you don't have Good. to think about it. I like that. Now, well, well, let me see there's less it's... pressure telling them than having a fake react to them. Exactly. <laughs> and, and you you know, if it doesn't work, it's not your fault. <laughs> All you know right. I mean? I'm saying it to you or no, it's the it's camera? No, it's the camera. Yeah. 
I mean, should I read it for us? Or just yeah, wing it? Just wing scientists it. now say that trout can communicate with each other with subtle physical gestures. Just when you thought trout couldn't get any more, well, I should read oh. it first. I should read it first. Yeah, start again. To give it the yeah, case. Yeah, start again. Yeah, you're yeah. right. You're right. Oh, so this is like a monologue. Yeah. Okay. Scientists now say that trout can communicate with each other with certain physical gestures. Jeez, just when you thought trout couldn't get more fascinating. <laughs> wow. <laughs> he swallowed that whole... Well, that's incredible. I did. Yeah. You shouldn't stop right before the last punchline <laughs> word. You shouldn't go... How did you do that, though? How did you memorize that so quickly? Oh, I don't know. Just good, huh? Here, pray. Yeah. Oh, I'm Adam. Whatever. <laughs> what well, that name's a name. Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> you knew what he meant. Yeah. Uh, Mondays aren't actually worse than any other day, according to a group of researchers who've never read a Garfield comic. Fred? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, you can't win with these. Now you want to read it over first. Like, uh, yeah. right, trash, Fred. I want to make sure I can. I don't want to mispronounce a word because yeah. I'm stupid. Of course. Uh, the Jamestown Comedy Center. Uh, uh, how about this? Uh, I'll, I'll read it to myself. I'll say just enough so you can hear it. <laughs> Archaeologists evacuating a trash pit at the Jamestown Colony site in Virginia have found direct evidence of human cannibalism. It's believed to be the first historical occurrence of someone eating a bag of dicks. <laughs> you don't know that phrase. Me? That's what you told me before. I said I don't know the phrase bag of No, I, oh, I thought you said that. No. It's a Louis C.K. bit, right? Is, oh, yeah. The guy stopped him. <laughs> That's and right. Go eat a bag of dicks. Of dicks. That's, yeah. right. um, That's where it came from. Maybe he made that up, did he? Or is it a real phrase? Did he make up the around for a while? It's possible. I don't even know that it, that is a phrase, bag of dicks. Yeah, eat a bag of dicks. Oh. It's a flawed joke in many of your schools. Yeah. There is a... There is a it's not good there right there. A um, two women accused of using sorcery have been beheaded in a remote village in Papua New Guinea. A team of police rushed to the scene but were forced to stand by and watch the victims being decapitated with axes as locals refused to let them come to their aid. Uh, Norm, if you ever go to a remote village in Papua New Guinea, at all costs, avoid using sorcery. <laughs> Understand any of that. <laughs> Maybe you'll have Everyone back. stopped listening like a, three minutes in. Well, it's a, it's a well, fucking novel. That's, a, that's the problem. The amount of time to the amount of laugh ratio. <laughs> Way off. If that was a one was line, you had the same it laugh. Two, it was two cards. It was two cards. Yeah. It didn't two bode cars. well for yeah. my. I don't know. Right well, this is not a. Is this the first time we're, you're trying this? <laughs> no, it's worked before. <laughs> okay. So. All right, a Las Vegas woman was arrested after hiding a stolen Rolex in her vagina. Well, now Bruce Jenner's just gone too far. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> well, somebody told me he's going to have a sex change operation. That's what I'm somebody just wondering said. if... Uh, I guess, is that the joke? No. These are jokes I'm just reading. I don't, <laughs> yeah. uh, <they're> not... <laughs> uh, Bill Clinton says he uh, wouldn't be surprised if someday we are visited by aliens from outer space. Leading Democratic presidential hopeful Hillary Clinton said, shouldn't you be getting a blowjob somewhere? Yeah. <laughs> Why all is dirty? Why always dirty? But this is, a, this is a joke I think Ray will, Can't lose. will kill with. Can't him. lose? I, don't, I think. Las Vegas is now home to a 550-foot-tall Ferris wheel. Also drawing thousands to Las Vegas? Whores. <laughs> that's, that's you. That's your voice all the way right there. It's the old the Norm one? McDonald lean-in whores. <laughs> no, no, no. But listen to this one, this character. Uh, health officials in Texas raided the home of 60-year-old sisters and found over 100 cats. The cats are named Bootsy, Lola, Tippy, Cornelia... Fluffy, Minerva, Ringo, Jasper, Charlie, Spanky, Snooks, Doodle, Wally, Happy Pants, Zeke, Veronica, Dolly, Clyde, Ajax, uh, Rusty, Puffball, those were two, Snuffy, Sylvia, Mr. Moody, Leonardo, Zeke again, apparently, for some reason, Tawana, Don't comment, Even don't Rude, me. Nimrod, Sylvester, Skee-Ball, Toots, okay, we... We Jupiter, get, we Lady Ag we, still like Oh, this is one of the bits that gets, that, that gets that's funnier. Funny, not funny, yeah. more funny again. Yeah. And then, that theory. Not funny then. Yeah. Murgatroyd, huh. Lola Bell, Newton, <laughs> Felix. Remember Letterman's top Smurfette. ten numbers? No. The top ten. That's right. Top ten 
uh, <laughs> top ten numbers from one to one ten. One to ten. Oh yeah, my and, God, and that's, that's awesome. all it was. Was like number ten. That's eight. great. And then you remember that big applause. Yeah. It was actually an emergency list, and it was and it killed. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, because there was a surprise ending because there was a tie. What a great twist! That's so awesome. He had written a list about an airplane crash. He pilot excuses. And Letterman said, I'm, I, "Maybe this is a bad idea. It's yes. a crash." Yes, yes, yes. And, yes. and so, so uh, we had a minute. I said, "How about numbers from one to ten? Yeah. <laughs> so he was actually reading it cold. Oh, so you oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. I just quoted something that you wrote. Yep. Yeah, yeah. That is great. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's actually, yeah. Cool. All right. This is the last joke. All right. Why don't you do it? No, no. <laughs> I didn't do a joke didn't today. Joke, yeah. Well, I, I think there is. Again, okay. Great, uh, the street different. drug, the street drug Special K, has been found to be an excellent treatment for depression. Hmm. This, according to the New England Journal of Gary Busey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, we'll end it there. Thank you, Ryan. We are back yeah. with the only <laughs> Adam Sandler. <laughs> Yeah, I think they were confused, but I, I didn't say one and only. Why should you? So they, but I figure only. There is, a, you don't need one. You don't need one. All right, Adam Sandler. We're going to do jokes on this show. We See? actually provide the guests with jokes. Oh, good, good, good. So you don't have to think about. Who wrote them? Funny stuff. Oh, <laughs> we don't like to say because uh, <laughs> you cannot. Also, you have the option to pass. Oh, but I can put this in my act. It's if like I want. Jimmy Fallon. Yes. It's a game. Mm -hmm. Okay, ready? I'll do the first joke to show you how they go. Mm -hmm. uh, Michigan, you so say you can do it to the camera or you can do it to me. It doesn't matter either. Michigan man Curtis Peterson received a 15-year prison sentence <laughs> for having sex with his pet pit bull. <laughs> What's that, Lassie? Woof, woof. Grandpa got stuck in a well. <laughs> woof, woof. Oh, you got raped. <laughs> 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 so I didn't want to say, you know, but that's just a. Now this is a. This is to me a perfect Sandler joke. Here, you try that one. Okay. A new study found that men with beards are more attractive. More great work from the University of Bob Seger. That was a good one. That's great. Yeah, we always go on to Ege, you know. Let's go, baby. All right, Ege man. Sometimes uh, he gets nothing. <laughs> uh, Growing up, I never would have believed that one day I'd need a computer just to masturbate. <laughs> that's, not, that's not bad. Did they have computers when you grew up? Uh, yeah, I had a yeah, Apple TRS two GS. Uh, Apple two GS. No, oh, really. So yeah, when I was young, Radio Shack TRS eighty. But we're older than you, huh, buddy. I don't remember that computers. Was a when I was young, the computers were so big they'd fill up a whole room. <laughs> But the good thing is you could ask them a, a specific question, and then it would come out yes or no. <laughs> <laughs> Unless yeah. you ask them an imponderable, and then the smoke would spit out. <laughs> and say, this does not compute. Okay, here, what about this joke? Call me an old softy. But I'd prefer if you call me a distinguished gentleman with a flagging erection. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got the New York things on, so here's a New York joke. All right. All right. New York sports joke. Tim Tebow's time in New York wasn't a total loss. He had a monument built to him in Central Park. A bench. <laughs> <laughs> a bench. A <laughs> bench. In my opinion, if you're going to fight the war on terror, a good place to start would be this nation's haunted houses. <laughs> <laughs> They're terrifying. That's a good one. You know, when I was a boy, my dad, uh -huh. he, he was a, I guess he was a frugal fella. Yes, yes. You know, he was a double generation. He had a big of, family. He had to take have money for, you know. And he was the age, uh, you know, of my grandfather. He, was, he had me when he was 50. That's so right. he had lived right. in the Depression and stuff. Anyways, right. the point right. of the thing is this. Uh -huh. We're at the exhibition, and there's the haunted house. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So me and my brothers all want to go in the haunted house, and my dad says, well, uh, God, Dad, that's no haunted. That can't be a haunted house. Why not? Uh, well, it has wheels. Uh, the, the, the ghosts that come right out of it. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny, man. <laughs> so I wrecked it. Uh, <laughs> Well, Catherine Zeta-Jones has been diagnosed with bipolar disorder. Mm -hmm. Turns out half the time she's Zeta, 
Oh, that's good. <laughs> Here's one for you, Adam. Uh, good luck, Adzi. If, if you were a Russian prostitute on a date with serial killer Andre Chikatili, a.k.a. the Rostov Ripper, and you couldn't achieve an erection, this was not your lucky day. Oh, goodness. <laughs> well, things happen in this world, you know. Here's one. This actually is from my home you country. Want this? Oh, okay. Ken. Yeah. Uh, Subscribed Canadian porn star Luca Rocco Magnetta, heading to court soon for the grisly murder of his Chinese boyfriend. Magnetta allegedly killed Lin Yoon on videotape. He started by cutting Yoon's penis off, leading uh, to his lover bleeding out live on a videotape. Magnetta then went to his kitchen and placed his boyfriend's penis into a skillet, frying it until it was golden brown. While taking his last breath, Yoon witnessed his supposed soulmate feast on his genitals. After Yoon had perished, Magnota began dismembering him, sending packages of his... I mean, this guy was a real jerk. Adam? One day in the hopefully not too distant future, North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un is going to hear a loud popping sound, the sound of his head coming out of his ass. <laughs> That is very kind. Just, that is the kindest guest to you so far. Yeah, by far. Yeah. Just in case he's still book, booking Tempe. <laughs> he's got to get in there. Super Dave Osborne mm -hmm. stared at him for a full 25 oh, yeah. seconds. He's tough. <laughs> he's a strong man, yeah. Where did you find this guy? <laughs> that guy is funny, though, eh? Here's one okay. for Adam. Thanks. That was a little joke. There's no wrong way to eat a Reese's, says the guy who didn't shove a bunch of Reese's up his ass. That's good. <laughs> very good. Very good. This is very... Remember how hard you used to kill on SNL? Oh, very good. Okay, what's done. your joke? Uh, uh, the Octomom has reportedly been evicted from her California home. The mother of 14 children packed up and left her property in Palmdale, uh, Palmdale after being asked to leave for not paying her rent for the month of April. The single parent, whose real name is Nadia Sulman, exited, leaving a huge mess and the stench of urine inside the pad. Wait, it says here the urine has been traced back to Adam Egit, which is me. So me. it's a self-effacing joke. <laughs> Tricked you there. Hey, Adam. here's you. one that for Adam. It reminds me of. Uh, this reminds me of. Uh, a uh, Dangerfield joke, so I'm going to give it to oh, Adam yeah. for All his right, long baby. standing respect and love <laughs> for, the for the great ride. My favorite story. All right, up. baby, okay, give me this. All right, okay. <laughs> All right, my brother in law is so stupid. You're kidding me? The first thing on his bucket list was suicide. All right, baby, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, right? That is a very good ride. Very good. That's fine. <laughs> <baby, all right? laughs> <All right. laughs> We're going to end uh, the uh, entire uh, broadcast now. Yep. So thank you, Adam. It's time, Normie. Let's wonderful. do it again. It's a great being with you. I'm going to give you two jokes to do, though, mm -hmm. to end the show. Okay. And here is the first joke. Now, you can read ahead. There's nothing wrong. There's no shame in reading okay, ahead. Okay, so, uh, so I can deliver it all as far as... Yeah, no, 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 you've been delivering them great. I'm just saying. No shame in reading ahead. I think there's nothing cooler than being a lone wolf. Except at wolf picnics, when you don't have a partner for the wolf wheelbarrow race. Okay. You know what? <laughs> All right, baby. I'm going to give you two, two more jokes. <laughs> you can read ahead, but I think this one is perfect Sandler. Okay. Offstage Sandler. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> We're gonna end. We should end up. Here, I'll tell you what. We'll end with that one. All right. You do that one. You can read ahead. Porn oh, actor Ron Jeremy is back at work after having open heart surgery. The name of his next feature, I'll have to sit down for most of this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is going to end the broadcast, and then we'll say goodnight to perfect Adam Sandler, offstage Adam Sandler. Show. And here it is. Thomas, <clears throat> Thomas Edison invented the light bulb, but I invented the light bulb. Up my ass. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was Sam, everybody. Oh, that's actually my That's fine. Do you want to do some jokes, David? Fuck, something, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's a, a, a very, um, what do you call it, when it's, a joke is just ripped from today's headlines? No, we have to explain around the joke. Topical. Topical. After being 
draft in the seventh round by the Rams. Michael, Sam, kissed his boyfriend. The celebration didn't end there because on ESPN2 there was full insertion. This is a joke. Yeah, yeah. These are jokes on these cards. Oh, okay. Explain them. Uh, it's time for this week's This Week I Learned. Adam? There's a thing we do. This Week I Learned. Uh... This week, I learned that cum tastes like nickels. Uh oh. <laughs> this week? Is that true? <laughs> that cum tastes like nickels? Yeah. That's well, funny. Is that what it says? That's what it says. This here, week, right? I learned how many gallons of sweat my Kmart hat can hold. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> well, you know, people are watching that, that, that envy the heat. You know, yeah. from all across this, this nation. Oh, God. Yeah, it sounds like when I was in Arizona. I hate that. This is interesting. A study has found that the average high school prom goer now spends $1,000, or 2000 if you count the abortion. <laughs> <laughs> have, you ever had a, have you ever been with a girl that had an abortion? Sir. <laughs> Sir. Yeah, this guy goes in and they go, hey, 10th one's free. Hit his card. <laughs> I do have a lot of abortions. <laughs> Under your belt. <laughs> There's one joke for you. A Westchester parking enforcement officer stole $89,000 in quarters. How much laundry does this guy need to do? <laughs> no, this is a good performing joke. <laughs> The man behind uh, the voice of Tony the Tiger, sadly, the man behind the voice of Tony the Tiger died at 64. His last words, I don't feel great. <laughs> I gave it something. Yeah. Are these left over from when you did updates? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, two strangers were arrested for having sex on a plane. How about that, huh? You know who I feel sorry for? The guy in the middle seat. <laughs> <laughs> this saves it. <laughs> Do you like American Idol? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Wait, um, no, I don't like it. I did the one. Oh, here's a here's a good one. Are these in the audience? They write them. <laughs> and they, did you read them? Did you write them in the audience? It's <laughs> right. Oh. Neil Patrick Harris posed posed nude for the cover of Rolling Stone. This is a true story. Neil Patrick Harris posed nude for. Am I giving reading it wrong? No, I'm just <laughs> saying it's a true story. Neil Patrick Harris posed nude for the cover of Rolling Stone, except for a hat hanging off his wiener. And this morning, Adam Egat. Oh, is that your name? <laughs> Fucking change it. Is it. And this morning, Adam woke up and said, Hey, where's my hat? <laughs> Sorry, Leo Leo Pat Leo 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 Leo. It's on his dick. <laughs> Go get it. I bet Neil Patrick Harris fucking shoved his cock deep up his asshole. Huh? <laughs> oh my god. But he probably couldn't even get it hard because look at him. So he had to like cram it in. Like, you ever have to cram it in? Or, no, yeah, he it's, probably. It's a lot of work. Yeah. Sometimes it's not worth the anal sex. We are living in a. <laughs> we are living in a golden age. I go. Can we just tell people we went into the behind and we don't have to really do it? The behind. I'm trying to clean up your fucking show. <laughs> we are living in a golden age of Adam masturbating to interracial granny porn. <laughs> Dude, I told you that one in conference. That's fine. <laughs> you ever see that? He's a good foil. Is that a granny thing? Have you ever gone on porn and then something shows up and you don't want to see it? Yeah. yeah. Gaping. Gaping, exactly. Yeah, you know what I do? You know what's funny? Mother-daughter porn. Oh, yeah? Because the guy is like a hot 18-year-old yeah. and then he got like an older like cougar and then that chick's doing it and the guy's all excited and then she goes, get off, straight and ride that cock. <laughs> and he's like, no, and he's trying to look and he's pulling the other one back by her foot and she's like, can I get my 300 up front? And then he's like, yeah, you like that shit? Not bad for 57. He's like, 50s? You're a fucking cougar, I thought. I mean, let's I gotta talk to the union about putting some parameters on this fucking word cougar. Jesus, you old hag. Get this. He's always darting back to the fake daughter going, she's like, I can't move her. She's too sturdy. She's like, oh, this is how you do it, sissy. That's disgusting. <laughs> True. What was the website called again? I think it's Mo 
<laughs> it's just mother-daughter born. I don't know if there's a particular site. One night I saw there was a porno, and it was funny because it was like a true moment. All of a sudden, the porno, the guy was eating, uh, was behind the girl, and she was like standing up, and he was eating out her ass hole. <laughs> and, and then she says, she's like, yeah, eat, eat out that asshole, eat out that asshole. And she's, then she's like, come on, eat it out. Is that the best you can do? And then they go, <laughs> only people, only, all people call them reality shows. <laughs> They're called shows. <laughs> yeah, this one. Yeah. But the mass, the great big Longest story. 15 minutes. <laughs> I skipped the black mass. Forget that one. I skipped the black mass, that devil. No, no, forget that one. Forget that Am one. Am I reading Forget one? that one. You, you know, George Clooney is engaged. Sure. How about that, huh? He and you were sort of the. The modern day, huh? <laughs> read that one. What? Oh, this one? You like this one? <laughs> He'll like it. He'll like it. He should read it. Uh, Dr. Dre announced that he's the first hip hop billionaire. A regular J. Paul Ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> you think he means Japan? <laughs> well, here's actually a joke about Donald Sterling. Oh, good. All the charities that Donald Sterling donated millions of dollars to are giving the money back to him. Well, that'll show him. It's <laughs> <laughs> not bad. Very good one. <sighs> oh, what happened with this? A pit bull? What is it? To stop a pit bull attacking her daughter, a Texas man bit the dog. Well, that's an interesting story. A man bites a dog. Man it's, bites not a, it's not what I would call news. <laughs> man, man bites dog. Yeah. Used yeah. to be dog bites man, right? Yeah. Is that the joke? Yeah. I don't get this. I don't get it. Do you, do you write these for real? <laughs> these come from the fucking YouTube <laughs> subscribers or whatever. Oh, you know the search for the Malaysian uh, Airlines? Did you hear about the latest? <laughs> I heard it was missing. That's yeah, well, did you hear about the latest? No. Here, sure. it's on this car. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, the search continues in related news. A plane was spotted by some cavemen in the year 365 BC. <laughs> I don't totally get it. Are this back in time? is the final joke in my hand. Thank God. Are we getting a wrap up? <laughs> I hold the final joke. Please, because I have to make some calls. Thank you for being with us, David. And yeah. you look great. I do? Yes, to me, I'm, I mean, I'm quite shocked, actually, by it. I mean, I see David, but... No, because I got time skinnier time that, I ate what was it? vegetables. Yeah, well, that's now I eat pizza every day and fat stuff. And I got pasty but and... By golly, you look young, though. Doesn't he look young? Yeah, that's shocking. I mean, I, I see him a lot, all the time, but it, for some reason it struck me today... Are we the same? How, how age? old... Yeah. You know I think I'm the same age as Russell Crowe. No, I, I, just hit the, uh, I, I just hit the huge number. I don't want... Let's not talk about it. Yeah. No, I'm 50, 50 years old. Um, but here. Nine more years, I'll be there. <laughs> I hold in my hand. He's young. But his cock doesn't work. <laughs> uh, in my hand, I hold. The last. The final joke. Okay. And then we fade to black, David. We'll back up. So thank you for being with us. I like that people have headsets on here, like this is some sort of real show. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Yeah. The last this one. is usually where Do you I think say this is a top ten show? Thank you, David you Spade, and then everyone in the crew sort of applauds. Okay. But read David your last joke. Spade. Read your last joke. No, they they usually should have done it by now. Oh. I like that you can hear the crew. They're interacting. Yeah. yeah. That's good. Okay. Here it is. So thank you for being with us, David. Would you like to have any parting words? Any parting words? Me for, for David? For David. Oh, yeah. Thanks for being here. Okay. Yeah. You want to say it in your regular voice? Uh, you mean my, a more Buffalo Bill? Uh, thanks for being here. Like that? <laughs> <laughs> the final joke. It's growing on me. From uh, David Spade, a man in Chipata. A man in Chipata. Did you help me? Like well, that one? Yeah. A man in Chipata allowed a hyena to eat his penis <laughs> after being told by a witch doctor it would help him become rich. Is it me or does it sound like that hyena and witch doctor were in cahoots? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you say that. David Spade, yeah. You get my things. Guys, thank you. It was a penny earned is point. nothing to brag about. Yeah, a that penny one. earned is nothing to brag about, yeah. right. <laughs> Some people just don't get it while other people get it but just don't want it.
Wow, well, that's that so good. good. Uh, felons will be less likely to commit crimes if our prisons serve worse food. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, well, what about these jokes? They're not going to sound as funny anymore. Well, no, go ahead, go ahead. Well, you want to? Do, you don't want to do a dirty joke. Carl. Absolutely. Oh. There you go, sir. Okay. Police in Tennessee arrested a teenage girl when they found a loaded handgun in her vagina. When questioned, her boyfriend said, I guess that explains why my cop... I can't say that word. I guess that explains why my cock kept getting blown off. <laughs> I don't get it. Oh, God, I, get it. I make believe I don't get it because that means that, that means I, I'm not complicit. I'm not complicit. <laughs> Two months later, we still haven't found Malaysia Airlines Flight 370. This looks like the work of Joran Vandersloot. <laughs> remember that character? Yes. No. You don't remember him? He's one of a uh, alleged. Well, he murdered. A How about this one, girl? Okay. A 28-year-old med student is auctioning off his virginity online. For $300,000, you can have the worst sex of your life. <laughs> That's good. That ain't That's bad. Good. That's that ain't who bad. Who likes these? Oh, well. Uh, how about this one? I know who writes them. You know who writes them? Prison. Men in prison. Yeah, right. that's yeah. right. Yeah. A man in Chipata allowed a hyena to eat his penis after being told by a witch doctor that would help him become rich. Is it me, or does it sound like that hyena and witch doctor were in cahoots? <laughs> I think maybe they were in cahoots. See, who writes these? Huh? We should have this person locked up <laughs> and looked at, or at least looked at. Let's let Adam Eager read one. He uh, likes to read sometimes. All right, George Clooney's engaged. Uh, the rich and handsome 53-year-old told reporters, it's time for me to settle down and start officially cheating on a heart-sick and disillusioned spouse. I don't hear any laughter. Well, I, lo I love George Clooney so much that he can oh, do no wrong. He's yeah, just one of the good. I can do a lot of wrong. He's just one of the good human beings he in is, the world. Isn't he? Well, you he, look, he put you in three movies. But the things that he does, he and his father going to Darfur, through and going through Chad, at right. risk of being to send food and sh shelter to yeah. people who are getting killed. I know they, he's a really a, he's a man of the world. I mean, a man of caring about the world. Now, I know I know I'm, I don't know much about geopolitics, but uh, that is one cool name for a country, Chad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, how about this one? Yeah, okay. This is a terrible story. The Nigerian the kidnapping victim girls. in Nigeria are being forced to marry their captors. I'm glad to hear these kidnappers are old-fashioned. In a way. Yes, yes. In a way. I mean, they're getting yeah, married. Yes. Yeah. This is a, 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 a similar type of joke. Right. Uh, some of the 200 Nigerian schoolgirls kidnapped by extremists in Nigeria have been forced to marry their kidnappers. And uh, worse than that, they've been forced to laugh at their husband's stories even after hearing them for the umpteenth time. Uh, you know something. Yeah, I know. It's but very they're, they're hard to make a joke about those girls who are kidnapped. Know. When I hear about those things, that, it's that is one of the worst. You know, and yet you got a big laugh yeah, out of yours. Yeah, I'm sorry. I got you know. No, I'm just thinking of Liam Neeson yeah. doing that movie called Taken. Remember Taken, that? Oh, yeah. It's one of the best movies ever made. Love Taken. And I love comeuppance movies. When Count of Monte Cristo is my favorite movie because oh. the, the people, the bad people, get comeuppance. And in Taken, Liam Neeson wipes the floor with the worst human beings in the world who have. <laughs> Taken, and when I read about these kids, all I can think is William Neeson send them in and get these people call. out. Yeah. Very, yeah. Also interesting, though, still that you got a big laugh and he got nothing. What? Yeah. I don't know how you're still surprised. I by think this. people are being kind. To you? Yeah. I disagree. No, if there's anybody to be kind to, it's this guy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how about this? If I had a gun in my head and had to pick a vice presidential candidate to have sex with, I would choose Sarah Palin and Spiro Agnew. <laughs> remember Spiro Agnew? Do I remember him? Hot piece of ass. You know what I would like to hear? A poem. Do you have a poem, sir? I uh, I do not have a you poem. You do not have do a poem? Have a, oh, I have a poem. poem. You have a poem? Oh, yes. Okay, so this is where we do jokes. This is the section oh. where we do jokes. Uh -oh. It's kind of comic relief. Okay. <laughs> So would you like to do a joke? I, if I can think of one. Well, you, no, you, I you give them to you. They're, oh, you give them to them. Oh, that's a great thing. The guest doesn't have to think up a funny right. story or a joke. We, we give them to them 
to read. That's great. Now, would be great if, if the whole your whole career could be like that? You're Wouldn't going it be stage? great? Here's a bunch of great exactly. jokes that are going to kill. Well, that's what this show is all okay. about. So this is a topical joke about the flight. But you just read it. You don't read ahead. Oh, no? You can if you want. Malaysian Flight 370 is still missing. You know where they're going to find it? The last place they look. <laughs> now, is that the best that's one? Kind of a, or is this better? There's two relations. We can't that's a joke out. and a joke. Why do you find something? Why is it always the last place you it's look? Because you stop looking. A joke. So that's joke? a joke. That's a comment. That's a very bright joke. It's, a, it's not only a joke, it's a comment. Comment, yes. <laughs> now, this is a different Malaysian uh, Air Force joke. The pilot's last words, I've had it with these motherfucking snakes on a motherfucking plane. <laughs> that could be, yeah, that's, that could be. You're giving me these great jokes. Okay. <laughs> can, can you do an African-American yeah, accent? That's why, yeah. Okay. We'll give you an African American. Well, an African American. Uh, your mom is so fat she developed type two diabetes and congestive heart failure. Snap! <laughs> I don't get that. I get that. So fat she did something. Well, it's kind of an anti-joke. It's, it's a literal, yeah. Oh, okay. You know these new meta jokes? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know that. <laughs> yeah. that, that well, it's, <laughs> she's so fat, you expect a joke, but then she's just so fat. I get it. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen George Wallace in Las Vegas? I love George yes. Wallace. Wonderfully funny. Yeah, with his beret. And he does his your mama jokes. No, I don't. Oh, yes, oh yes, your yes, mama. Yes. And then he let people yell jokes from the audience yeah. and pretend he's upset by it. Right. I thought of one. Tell me about this. Yeah. Uh, my, hey, George, my mother is so fat, when she came to Vegas, they had to build another hotel. <laughs> That's not bad. Was that good enough to send to George yeah, sure, Wallace? Sure. Sure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now, uh, I've performed in front of black audiences, African-American yeah. audiences, I call them. And, uh, boy. Gee. <laughs> You're giving me these great jokes. Okay. <laughs> boy, they're funny. Like, they yell up funny things. Oh, boy. Rather yeah. than just like. Oh, I, oh, do they? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They yell up funny jokes. You know, I, I see a lot of shows that just have black comics, and I tend to go by them. Because I say I can't relate, but if you ever watch, they're hysterically yeah, funny. Yeah, so yeah. Really good. Sometimes good stuff. you can't relate. I saw one time on Def Comedy Jam, and the guy goes, the "Guy goes, you got to do rag." He goes, "You know, I'm fucking my woman, you know, and I don't want to answer the phone. Oh shit, it could be a job, and, you know." And then <laughs> well, and, and, and you know why you after you you take the do rag, you wipe off your dick with the do rag, and <laughs> I'm like, "No, I don't do that." But everyone in the audience is like, "Yeah, we all do that. We all wipe our dicks off." <laughs> We're gonna, is it? we're gonna have Adam Egan do a joke. Oh, good. Uh, and it's Adam, not Andy. No, I know. I'm trying. I'm trying. You don't hear any more about in the camera. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, you don't hear any more about Bob Costas' uh, infected eye. Who is stonewalling this investigation? I'm thinking it. Oh, thinking about a year. I would, I would work on my delivery, but. Uh, it's, it's just not working out. Yeah, I get it. I, I, I don't blame the joke. No, throw no, him a, you throw read him a like banana. A, huh? Throw him a banana. <laughs> Do dirty work. But you read that like there was a thorough punchline. But um, yeah, it's. Yeah. I, I think the the joke you don't is. Don't hear anymore about Bob Costas' uh, um, infected eye. It's... Who's stonewalling this investigation? <laughs> 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 He's a consummate amateur. Yeah. <laughs> a refreshingly, refreshingly. Refreshingly. Well, it's, it's a good, it's a funny joke. But what about this joke? If thinking that women are not funny, emotionally irrational, and less intelligent than men makes me sexist, then yes, I am sexist. <laughs> Another meta joke. Is it? Sort of. <laughs> this would be a good joke for you, I feel, Fred. Okay. Just to the Here's camera. what I've learned. You beat up and toss one 19-year-old Hispanic hooker out of a moving car, and they never let you forget it. Isn't that true? <laughs> that is funny. That, that That's true? both funny and true. Yeah. Yeah. i got to tell you about a, a story in Canada that happened. That's uh, terrible. A guy was gay. It doesn't matter if he was gay or not. But he was a, a porn star. Or he was in porn. I think he was a porn character actor. <laughs> no, I don't know. They always call them porn stars, but there must be porn character <laughs> actors. William H. Macy. They can't all be stars. So get back in the old days, they were the great yeah. faces. <laughs> the great penises, the great faces. Right. What a profile. Yeah, today on this they're one. not. They're just no. all. You, you, no one can do an impression of the modern day porn stars. <laughs> anyway, this guy was a, a porn star, and he was gay, and he had a lover, and he killed the lover and, and ate part of him, and then the rest of me cut up. And he sent uh, pieces of this guy's body to uh, school children and some of the pieces to, I mean, this guy was a real jerk. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Oh, here's a here's a joke. I don't think you should do this joke. I don't no, know. No, no, no. I don't know if anyone yeah, should do this joke. Should I, I, do I this remember joke? a joke you did on. I think it was David Letterman. He said, "David, have you ever seen a, a gay porn? You, 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 you watch adult films." And Dave said, "Yeah." He said, "Have you ever seen the one with all men?" He says, "Yeah, the gay the gay ones." He said, "They're awful." <laughs> <laughs> Made it sound like they couldn't get any women. <laughs> it is they just had not, not that they, were getting, they just couldn't get any women. But we'll do a porn movie. <laughs> it's not going to go. No one's going to put money into this. <laughs> I think that's this you. Was, I don't think I said that. This was a poor rental choice. I think you made that funnier than I was. <laughs> but it is true that straight pornos are the best things ever, and gay pornos are the worst. They're not good. They're not, <laughs> they're not good at all. That's too dirty. Let's do a nice joke to clean it up. Opinions are like assholes. Neil Patrick Harris wants to stub. <laughs> I should easily let me read this ahead. Op opinions are like assholes. Neil Patrick Harris wants to stuff his cock in them. Oh, wait. That's just assholes. <laughs> It didn't get a laugh, but I'm laughing. That's very funny. <laughs> oh, have you ever have you ever heard of the genre of jokes, the Adam Egot jokes? No, they're jokes about Adam Egot. Oh, oh, yeah. no, I have not. Yeah, yeah. Have you met Adam Egot? Hey, Adam. Yeah. So here's an Adam Egot joke, for instance. Oh, they're always. April fifteenth is around the corner, and Adam Egot asked his accountant for his extension. Oh, sorry, that's his penis surgeon. Ah. See, April <laughs> Company's around the corner. An enemy get asked his accountant for his extension. Oh, yeah. sorry, that's his penis surgeon. Yeah. He famously oh, that's his penis surgeon. That wants an extension. He I yeah, famously I got that. I got has that. a small for his accountant. Cock. For his. For his taxes. Yeah. And he asked his accountant <laughs> for his. Tax extension. Oh, I'm sorry. He asked his surgeon for, surgeon for his penis extension. Just to, to reword that. Yeah. Well, the show is, the show is over. <laughs> <laughs> We're done. Well, Thanks to the great Fred Willard. I thought this would yeah. never end. My God, oh, you guys. Thank you. you. See what you do? Don't bring up <laughs> see? <laughs> But see it? <laughs> Here, let, it's time to do jokes. <laughs> This is where we put, in a big, we put in a big thing, jokes. Yeah. So here, you can Does start. Flash? No. That you can start. Just do the joke right into that okay. camera. Who wrote these? Uh, you got me just doing jokes. <laughs> just read it Unsolicited. Joke. Is this from that joke book, that 1942? No, this is a real joke. Two businessmen. This, I didn't write this. This is I don't a know topical what it, joke. For, to topical? Yes, ripped from the pages of two today's headlines. Two businessmen bought the Milwaukee Bucks for $550 million. They are very excited with their purchase. As this is the only legal way to own black people. Now that is here, and I read that. Well, you're not there. You know how businessmen are racist. They are. Yes, yeah, so it's them being racist. They are. You. The two, the, the two businessmen that bought the Milwaukee Bucks for five hundred fifty million dollars yeah. are racist, according oh, no, to this. Oh they're fine, man. They're. Jenny McCarthy recently got engaged to former new kid on the block, Donnie Wahlberg. They plan to marry on Retard Island. <laughs> <laughs> now, why couldn't I have gotten this one? What? You, I, you throw me under the bus on the next one again? No, give give good, me one of your better I'll ones. I'll give you a good one. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Here. Give me one that doesn't offend okay, uh, this, this you know, here, many this people. One. This is not topical. It's just about... It's, 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 <laughs> no, it's, just, it's as if it's about your life. You know? uh, how come none of my friends ever have a dungeon. Instead, they all just have rape dungeons. <laughs> so it's not a regular dungeon, is what a you're saying. Dungeon. Thanks for, again, the, the, the bus. I've oh. never been thrown under an entire trailway's fleet. <laughs> I found the secret to life is there is no problem that a huge... <laughs> no. no, I found the secret to life, Bob, and this is it. There is no problem big enough that a huge... <laughs> <laughs> that, a, that a huge, that a huge what? <laughs> now I found the secret. I found out the secret to life. Yeah. Yes, oh great one. Yes, and it is this: there is no problem big enough that a huge black cock cannot fix. Didn't expect that at all. Didn't expect that with these. Didn't see that. I have here the last <laughs> joke. <laughs> all right, what's that one? The last joke. Yeah, if you want. You are holding in your hand the last joke. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's one. Um, 
I think you'd oh, like this God. one. Um, Michelle no, Obama. No, no, it's a topical this. joke. I, I know, I know, I know. You well, sold the other ones to yeah. me in the same way. Adam Goodwin. Adam, Adam. <clears throat> uh, Michelle Obama has booked a cameo on the AB show, ABC, ABC show, Nashville. Start again. Start again. Right. Kids today. I mean, you can't you can't spell, spell ABC. ABC. <laughs> wow. What? Uh, Michelle Obama has booked a cameo on the ABC show Nashville. With this and her appearance on iCarly, I think Michelle is ready to start appearing in films. May I suggest my favorite film series, Black Ass Fuckers? It's actually. Does this go live to web? Oh my God. Is that an actual. There's no. Why is Black we, Ass Fuckers? Norm, Norm. I just, actually, there is a series. Right, that is true. There is yeah. a series. All right. Yeah, Black, because I saw Black Ass Fuckers number you, five. <laughs> I, I missed number five. <laughs> but let me ask you. That's where it really jumped Let me the ask shot. you a question. What's your favorite out of all those? Okay. Oh, this one's good because you guys can join me at the end of the joke. You'll see why. Remember? Re 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 right. Just get ready. This yeah. is like the worst Passover Seder I've ever been at. You know what that is? I know what a Passover Seder is. But the worst Passover Seder is when you're there and this guy's talking about the smokestacks of Birkenau okay. not being true. Because bring he that doesn't up think it's true. Yeah. There's no it's way true. I would bring that up at Pesach then. Yeah. Was, was this Passover is the closest I've seen to admitting the Holocaust, where he said, I think people have died. He's like, six million, six hundred, what's the difference? I'm like, huh. Well, it's a, it's a lot of difference. There's a Adam. huge difference. You know, Passover, they that say that it was the Last Supper was supposed to be the, uh, the Passover dinner, I think. Oh, is that right? I don't know. I made that up because oh. most of the other facts have been made well, up. Well, isn't Passover where they put the the The, the, the lamb blood the, the on the lamb door. The lamb blood on the That'll door. That'll keep anybody away. Yeah. <laughs> if I put lamb blood on my door, you probably would call yeah. 911. And the Jewish probably. children were spared. Yes, because that's and they wanted to. my them. people. Which uh, is what? What people is that? Yeah, what is it? The, the Semites, though. Were, the Semites, the, not the anti. Semites that weren't Jews, uh, were the children were slaughtered uh, uh, the, the, by God, by the angel of death. Oh, the Egyptian in the in the first Old Testament, yeah. apparently yeah. they were Deuteronomy. the Pharaoh yeah. in the Ten Commandments movie. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know about the animated one that I saw ah, on on I don't know the, the, uh, the I, I read the book. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. Here it is. Ready? What's your favorite religious movie? Um, I loved Passion of the Christ. Did you? Although I will say I thought it was very anti-Semitic because every Jew looked like fucking Lovitz. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? They were all like, yeah, <laughs> hook noses and stuff. So I could see the anti-Semitism. But what I liked was the incredible violence. But you know what's did strange? You, did, did you? Did, did, they, ask, did they ask them? Did you kill Jesus? No. <laughs> <laughs> but when they took Acting. when they tore apart uh, Jesus with that when they flayed him with that thing. I'm sorry, I asked. And then they took him to cavalry. It seemed like almost an anticlimax when they nailed him to the cross because he had been beaten so savagely with that crazy ball with spikes. Have you ever seen the movie? No, uh, that, it's hard for me to watch people suffer like that. Yeah. And like this. <laughs> <laughs> Which is more difficult to watch, this or The Passion of the Christ? <laughs> no, Passion of the Christ was my favorite biblical movie. What was your favorite one? Ben Hur. I actually liked um, um, the 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 uh, Last Temptation of Christ. Oh, Martin Scorsese. Oh, that, that was Although it was a lot of New Yorkers. You are a Jew persecuting Jews. How could you do that, <laughs> Harvey Keitel? And, yeah, yeah. But I, I liked it because it was well, trying to. I heard uh, this is what I heard. He doesn't believe uh, it happened oh, to. Uh, yeah, I know, right? <sighs> is this is this going to be offensive to some people? Yeah, I think it'll family. be offensive my to uh, to the most people. Yeah, the state of Israel. But not your. Fa I I love the state of Israel. It's not a state, you know. It's a country. It's a country, yes, yeah. and I support its uh, its right not to be uh, extinct. Yeah, my mom lived on a kibbutz for two years. Good save. Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, my, kibbutz. my mother likes falafels. <laughs> my mother used to. Thanks for bringing that up. Uh, sorry, Bob. Uh, well, you're a good friend, Norm. No, you're and good. And Adam, man. you're here. To our next topic. Okay, uh, there are jokes. Would you like to read one? I would be. This is a joke, Honored. David Koechner, that is uh, ripped from today's headlines, All yesterday's right. headlines. All right. The World Cup. Yes. World Cup fever. Yes. Get some amoxicillin. Ah, makes sense. The World Cup has arrived, so if you're wondering why your local bar smells, it's because all of the dirty foreigners, <laughs> dirty foreigners, 
Well, let me try that again. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, Norm. Uh, yeah. you, you know, the, the World Cup's going on. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, you, you, you go to the local bar there, don't you? Yeah. The local watering hole? You know? Yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you ever wonder why it, why, why it smells so much? Yeah. Hey, uh, uh, because of those dirty foreigners. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Frank jingoism is alive and well here on yes, NM Live. Here yeah. we go. Next what one. Jingoism means? Uh, yeah, I believe so. What does it mean? Uh, it's hard to put into words, but it's hard it to put into uh, words. It's like um, it's not like nationalism, but it's. Uh, it is very much like nationalism. It's, it's hard it to, is nationalism. Uh, it's prejudice. No, it's against, would you like to read this? Other I thought it was more complicated. Would you like to read that? Yeah. Uh, this week. I learned oh, this week I learned. I'm sorry. Have you ever heard of TYIL, This Week I Learned? I have not. Well, it's sweeping the nation. It's hashtagging faster than... Uh, <laughs> uh, but it's called This Week I Learned. Faster than something that moves quickly. Yeah, yes. like faster than a freight train. This Week I Learned. Uh -huh. It's a TWIL. So check it out sometimes. Hashtag okay. TWIL. And people talk about what they learned that week. Let's see what I learned. So this week I learned by Adam. Invited Eason. back to the comedy table. You know, these are always fun. Uh, this week I learned just because I masturbated to that picture of a guy falling to his death on 9/11 doesn't mean I have to share it. <laughs> well, you know. Now, uh, now this is this, you know, is this is this is this is fine. This is fine for a fella that during 9/11, you know, was in uh, Costa Rica partying with his friends. I was walking through the blood and the bones. Uh, and, uh, so you were put off by that, in Manhattan, a little bit. <laughs> I can't believe you're right. I had to get a new uh, pants because the blood and the bones. Just now or back then? Back then, I was ankle deep in blood and bones. Oh, you went through the war, or Well, it was an attack on our country. A recent report stated that there are over sixty. A recent report stated that there are over sixty-five active serial killers in the United States. What they don't know is. There's actually 66. <laughs> That's just between you and me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Brides Magazine's released a, a list of 11 ways. So, well, do you want to do this, Jake? I'd love list? to be okay. invited back to the comedy roundtable. Brides, uh, 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 Brides Magazine released a list of 11 ways to be a terrible bride. They include don't interfere with the wedding planner, don't lie about how much the wedding costs your family, and coming in at number one, don't fuck your husband's best friends. Oh, that's the worst. <laughs> More than one, I mean. We end the show now, David Koechner. Are you familiar with uh, James Lipton and the Actors Studio? I am familiar with it. And you remember at the end of the show, he will always ask, he will go, these are ten questions by Jean Blablabla, some fucking guy. That are famous questions, I guess, for dinner parties or something like that. I don't know where they came from. Okay. But you, you've seen this. Sure. Uh, so we decided, if it's good enough for James Lipton, Jimmy, who was a pimp, then it's good enough for Pardon? us. Did you know? Sing holy songs. Hey, you want to do some jokes for that? I have Roseanne. I have jokes. Okay. Well, I think we have to take. We have to take a. No, break we're not going to take a break. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Fuck the break. No. We're going to just do jokes. Sounds good. And who better than Roseanne? Well, I can't think of anyone. I can't yeah. remember any of them. Hey, Roseanne, can, you can, how's your cyber eye? It's weird. I, I had to get an eye replacement. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it's like really Which weird. Eye? It's this one. And if you look in, you can see that there's like a fucking uh, oh, six yeah. million dollar man kind of yeah, exactly, yeah. cyborg deal in there. Looks cool. It is. I mean, I can see. But, like, sometimes it, like, starts blinking, and it, like, just goes off on its own, wow. has its own life. What if you put, like, a snow globe in there? It's a joke to read. This is oh. the only show we actually give jokes. Okay, what am I doing? You just read it. You can read it to the camera. You can read, you can read it first and then see and then mix it, or you can... Uh... This is a long fucking it's joke. It's a long joke. I'll do yeah. it, though. I think it will, might work. Harriet Thompson, 91. Yeah. Do you want me to read it to the camera? No, you can tell me. Finished running the Rock and Roll San Diego Marathon in just over seven hours, wow. becoming the oldest person to complete a marathon and setting a world record for the fastest time in her age group. Goodness. Right? The previous record was set by Mildred... Mildred... I Ten, is it Mildred Kenworth? All over. The previous record was set by Mildred Kenilworth, 
who died during mile one. Oh, goodness. Wow. <laughs> so she crushed that record. Is that true? Uh, yeah, it is. Real. Hey, what about this? Kim and Kanye uh, oh. celebrated their baby Northwest's one, his name's Northwest, his one year birthday her. by throwing a big party. What's that? It's a her. Oh, it's a girl. Yeah, yeah. Northwest, of course. I should have known by yeah, the name. North, yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, she had her one year birthday. Uh, and they threw a big party with jugglers, a bouncy house, and a Ferris wheel. The bad news is that Northwest is a baby, so it doesn't know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is all attitude. You have to say this with attitudes. Right. You have to read ahead and use your acting skills. I liked you in She-Devil. Thank you. A study has found that men are just as likely as women to spread gossip. At least that's what I heard Rick tell Brad, who, by the way, has a crush on Patty. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Madonna, your friend, says she's planning to remake the movie Casablanca. Oh, really? Yeah, finally, somebody's going to get it right. <laughs> <laughs> what about this Is she really one? doing that? Yeah, apparently. Here's a really easy way to figure out if you're taking, huh? Talking too many meds. Taking. Here's a really easy way to figure out if you're taking too many meds. You refer to your medication as meds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have two and See, a half meds. See, it does say talking meds. Oh, Christ, I'm sorry. That's all right. You didn't make a mistake. The only things certain in life are death, taxes, and getting caught whacking off in a Target dressing room. <laughs> are these your tips? <laughs> Here's one. Uh, it's about your friend. Hey, you're not going to believe this, but Bill Maher has given away the solution to all our problems <laughs> for free. <Wow>. <laughs> <laughs> he is, doesn't he? Yeah. I like Bill Maher when uh, all his problems are just his problems. So he's like, why are there kids around all the time? And why can't we smoke? What about whores? <laughs> it's all just his stuff he wants. <laughs> you know, cat ladies, they're so crazy, they're always thought to be crazy. You know who's even crazier? Snake ladies. Oh, yeah. yeah they have Absolutely. All the well, hey, let's give one to Adam Eagle. This is awesome. Uh, oh, yeah. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <clears throat> workers at a Harvard University library have discovered a book that's Now, she is the uh, uh, a judge on Last, on last Comic, Comic Standing. Standing. Oh, well, then your best. you're going you're gonna to really get a kick out of this one. Listen, so workers at a Harvard University library have discovered a book that's uh, bound with human skin. Ew. I know. Yeah, it's disgusting. Right. Anyway, they were able to determine that part of the body the skin came from after the book was grabbed by a sexy librarian and immediately expanded to three times its size. You know what I mean? It's like three times. Three times its maybe, size. Maybe, maybe if he didn't start. Does the, that maybe, mean it was made from a penis? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, like yeah. that's the funny part. I get it. But funny, in the, yeah, the premise yeah. brings up all kinds of no, it's worth it. Shadows of the Holocaust and yeah. stuff. Good I don't Lord. really see God. how it. Uh, when Gwyneth Paltrow, what? When Gwyneth Paltrow. Says being a movie star is harder than working a nine to five job. Apparently, she said that. She knows because she spent years clearing heavy debris from demolition sites. <laughs> oh no, wait. This just <laughs> in Gwyneth Paltrow's never done shit. <laughs> Here's a, a nice short joke. Oh, you. great. Uh, <clears throat> I, uh, I'm the Ray Allen of my local Applebee's because I'm always nailing threes. Oh. Uh, because I, I have sex with with um, women who are... You see what he does? You see how he tr does that thing that new comics do where they do a bad joke and then they try to explain it as a way of saving... You understand? It is, that is the funny part, though, the tap dancer. Remember when Carson would start Carson tap dancing? Carson is the greatest at that, yeah. At, do at doing oh, the death God. joke. But I'm not even Carson Palmer <laughs> of joke reading. But you did do the uh, backpedal thing. Yeah, 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 I do a lot of backpedal. But here's the thing. This is what I, I, I'd see comics do this in, in uh, clubs, and they would do it, you know, like Letterman, and Carson was the best at doing the saver. Right. But um, you, you, you don't do that with your act, because this, with Carson, someone would write the jokes for right. him. Right. So he would have to save them. 
But you don't put it in your act and then fucking do a saver every night. Well, <laughs> I couldn't wait to see that when he was saving the oh, joke. Yeah, and, then he, the and then they go, T the for two. And he's oh, like, yeah, two for two. That was hilarious. Yeah. He almost want, I almost wanted him to die so he would do that. It was so funny. Oh. He could die great. Dying great is a real... Oh, I think he meant actually die. No, oh. on stage. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, I mean, you know, that's like skill. Because he did die. I prefer I know that. he died. Yeah. Yeah. I love watching you. Yeah, it's rare, but when you fail on stage, it's infinitely it's hilarious. funnier than me. Who? You. You. Like I said, it's rare. But would you like to good. hear my impression of Johnny Carson phoning 911 when he had his fatal heart attack? I would. Okay. Okay, you be the 911 operator. Okay. What, ding, say ding. hello. Hello, 911. Uh, yeah, yeah, hello? <laughs> Can I help you, sir? Yes, this is, this is Johnny Carson. Johnny Carson from television? Yeah, yes, that's right. Oh, hello, Mr. Carson. Good. What can I help you with? <clears throat> I don't know. I, I feel like there's a yak on my chest. <laughs> 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 jokes, but this is my uh, uh, idea of a very good political joke. And I'm reading it? Yep, it's okay. about President Obama. Oh, what, do you, what do you think of him? It's a little negative on him, this one. President Obama, in a speech this past week, said that we should solve the B problem. The B problem? Mm -hmm. Oh, God, we elected a guy who sympathizes with bees? Jesus Christ, what have we done? <laughs> What's wrong with I don't get that. I don't get that one. At all. I like bees. All right, that's what I'm I, saying. I imagine they're coming. Here's jokes. Here's a good joke for me. I always like to read jokes. Okay. Would you like to read a joke? Sure. Here you go. You want me to just do it to yeah, camera? Yeah, you can do it to camera. You're a good reader. Uh, an 89 year old Washington man fought off a robber with a golf club. Though, to be fair, the only reason the guy was swinging the golf club was because he mistook the robber for the grim specter of death. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Goodness gracious. What kind of joke is that? I don't know. That's Adam Egan's going to read one That's not now. a joke. It's sort of not. Uh, Adam Egan... well, can I have a good joke? With a good I'll give you a good line? one. I'll give you a good one. Does that make sense to you? You're a golf guy. Is that... uh, it makes some sense. <laughs> is, it, what, is that a tag, though? Because the, the, the guy was swinging the club was because he mistook the robber for the grim specter of death. No. It's not a joke. Right. Yeah. We'll get you a joke. Go ahead. Uh, a Pakistani father stoned his daughter to death for marrying a man of her own choosing, which means Pakistan's tourism board is going to have to find a new slogan to replace Come to Pakistan, three whole days without anyone being brutally stoned to death by her own father. You like that one? These are dormant No, here, this is, a, <laughs> this is an actual joke. That's Mark, what I was laughing at. Mark, this is an actual joke. Trust. This is an actual joke. Norm joke. This is an actual joke. It's kind of a weird feeling watching the Flintstones lately. Yeah, it's weird. Uh, watching the Flintstones? Sure. Yeah, now, yeah. How so? With their Stone Age driving movies and yeah. their caveman bowling, it just seems so dated. It does, in a way. Do you know who Ives and Courier, Courier and Ives are? No. I don't either. Really? That's where that's going to end? Do you know Courier and Ives? Uh, is... No. Oh, Courier the font? Ah, the font. <laughs> hey, a cowboy at a rodeo in Georgia used his lasso to apprehend a gunman. At least this is according to a recent segment of America's hottest new game show. Georgia Police Blotter or Episode Synopsis from Walker, Texas Ranger. It's so long. Ah, I know. Too long. It wasn't beaded out properly. <laughs> Where did these come from? Here's one for you. This seems sort of like you. An Orlando police officer's press conference on curbing gun violence was interrupted by gunshots. Witnesses say the shots were incredibly loud, not as loud as the deafening irony. <laughs> but oh. still pretty loud. Hey, All My Children star Matthew Cowles. Have you ever watched All My Children? Sure. Well, uh, <laughs> All My Children star Matthew Cowles has died at the age of 69. Oh. Or has he? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, what is all the children called? A, huh? It's called a soap opera. Soap opera. Yes. Yeah. It's soap opera. Where, where do you get these jokes? Ah, some guy. <laughs> Uh, research, research shows the obesity epidemic is primarily affecting lower income Americans. No lower income Americans could be reached for comment because they were busy waddling around Six Flags, gnawing on a giant turkey leg, and waiting in line to buy an airbrush Yosemite Sam tank top. Classist. 
Classes and also three unsuccessful beats at the end. I know, right? <laughs> well, that's it's him. Not quite. Yeah, that's just me. That's, that's not him. the joke. Yeah, we, gotta, we can't blame the joke on that. Miss Nevada is the new Miss USA. I now must apologize to Miss Delaware. I actually have nothing to do. <laughs> I actually have nothing to do with the final decision, but I will treasure our evening together forever. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, did you hear about John Kerry? This is torn right out of today's. Oh, yeah, it's today's paper. John Kerry says the latest terrorist threats against America are baloney, quote unquote, baloney. Then he went on to shout, Why don't you pussies put your money where your mouth is? He's <laughs> not, in quotes. Not. Here's another of the same. Which do you think is better? Secretary of State Kerry calls the latest terror threats baloney. On his lunch meat danger scale, that's more dangerous than salami, but not as dangerous as turkey loaf. Did you ever, did you ever eat pimento loaf as a boy? No. Oh. I, I mean, I saw it. What about this? I, say, I tasted it. How about head cheese? You ever oh, it? God, yeah. Oh. I never ate it, but you I know saw what it is, it. huh? I'm sure, it's head. Yeah. <laughs> And they call it cheese, but... It's I don't not, know why it's cheese. It's just it's cheese a head all. floating in goop. Yeah. Oh, like gelled goop. And then they say, let's put cheese, because no one will buy a head. Yeah. But some people... I mean, like, this guy will buy a I've head. Had, I was in Montreal at that restaurant. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh. Uh, um, cochon, cochon de whatever. Petit, uh, but something de cochon. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, I do. To, like, pig. Yeah, yeah. The pig de cochon. Yeah. Right. They make their own head cheese. And I'm like, really? Why would anyone? I thought that was garbage meat. But no, they're making it right out oh. of the head. You can order a whole pig's head there. You can? You can eat so, for two. Only for two. It says pig's head pig's for head two. Pig's head for two. Sorry, did I spit on you? No. They, so, so you can order the pig's head and just sit there and nibble Jesus on it. Jesus Christ. But so I ordered the house, the house-made head cheese. Oh. And uh, even then, it was not. It was hard to get through. Yeah. Was I was in Cambodia once. I ate a brain. It was brain. Really? Yeah, mine was stupid. Now, uh, <laughs> what about this joke here? The world's oldest man, a 111-year-old parapsychologist, has passed away. He now knows for sure what all that stuff he believed in was bullshit. Oh, shoot, shoot that's, <laughs> that's depressing. He now knows for sure that like all that stuff he believed in was he's, You yeah. really got to know what a parapsychologist is. I know, that's a weird word, parapsychologist. The world's oldest man, this one says, Alexander Image. Is it the same guy passed oh, away no. at 111? Yeah. Is that what your card says? Same guy, yeah. Same guy. And the world's youngest man, Declan McAllister, was just born. Oh, wait, correction. The world's youngest man, Fan Wu Chang, was just born. Wait. No, it's Gaston Leclerc. No, Javier Gutierrez. No, it's Taki Yamashati. No, there's our ah, God damn it. No wonder they don't keep track of the youngest man. A long way to go. That's what I'm saying in the business. I know. You want to do one last joke? Yeah. Now, it's, it's a little controversial in these days. Okay, let me have it. <laughs> a list of the world's top 25 amusement parks was released this week with Disney's Magic Kingdom coming in at number one, not making the list, Kyle's Rape Dungeon. <laughs> oh, 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 the great Mark Maron proving that rape can be in a joke and get a big laugh. Nothing to do funny. with this. It was handed to me, you saw it. <laughs> No, this guy, this is what this guy did. It's a terrible story. But he was, uh, he was a uh, kind of a porn star or something. And he had oh, a, right about a lover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. French Canadian guy. And so what he did is he, he cut up his, uh, I was talking about the computer. He cut up his lover live on screen on the computer on some sort of webcam. And then he ate the, the person. He ate the person while he was alive. He feasted on this man's viscera while the throes of death, you know, came crying from his mouth. And this seemed to make this fellow hungrier. And, uh, I mean, this guy was a real jerk. Yeah. Did he have anything to drink with the meal? Do you, do you remember? <laughs> well, he drank blood, of course. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. Now, uh, here's, this is a, this is the thing we do. The, this this is a thing. Maybe. He sounds mean. Oh, yeah. He's a bully. Yeah. <laughs> there's, a thing, there's a new thing called This Week I Learned. Oh. And it's, you don't write the computer, but it's on hashtag This Week I Learned. Everybody writes This Week I Learned. You know? Okay. It always seems to be me that learns these things every week. Yeah. Which is so awesome. Adam Ega, This Week I Learned. Oh, let's see what I learned this week. This will be the hoot. Uh, this Week I Learned, you can pay your dentist with blowjobs. <laughs> Who knew that, right? 
what I found out this week. I... <laughs> but you won't feel it because of the Novocaine. Uh -huh. All right, I learned two things this week. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> is that easier? The other thing I learned this week is... Is that easier? Is it easier to give the blow to well, when you're not thing? numb? Uh, I, I mean, mean no, face, is, uh, remember when Cosby... <laughs> Cosby it oh, it puts new meaning when he says, open up. <laughs> <laughs> open, it's give it open. It's easier to give the blow to no, A little wider? No, yeah, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, don't do that. Sorry for me. Rinse. <laughs> Rinse. <laughs> 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 Here's one for uh, for Martin Malda to read. Oh, it's about Malda. the president. Oh, Presidential okay. fact. <laughs> what? No, I want to continue to work in this town. <laughs> <laughs> We're not doing that joke. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Here, here, here's one for Adam Egan. Must have for, for, for Adam Egan uh, for some reason. I do a terrible John Travolta impression, but I find the impression gets a lot better when my male masseuse is jerking me off. Oh, jeez. Oh, that was all a legend, I believe. I don't know about that one. Give massages. Huh? Huh? You know, they had a big black mass uh, devil worship this week, apparently. Huh. But I skipped it because I believe you can be just as close to Satan on a golf course as in some stuffy old satanic church. <laughs> <laughs> it's really what's in your heart. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Well, I don't. You don't want to do anything. That, but I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get one that doesn't hurt people. So here's one. Here's one, Mr. Mull. Okay, Mr. Mull. It sounds weird. Some biblical scholars now believe that Jesus Christ was married. They also believe he had the world's worst bachelor party. Oh, that would not have been a good one. Terrible. Not yeah. a good one. Right, what about this joke? Okay. I love it. A Chinese man spent 10 years developing a suitcase that doubles as a motorized scooter. There's no word on whether he had any particular hopes or dreams. <laughs> Movie well, fans are now well, See, that ready. comes back to, yeah. that's right in there with, uh, I don't know how you feel, we lost our trunk. I don't uh, get it. Yeah. I should get it. God, I wish I got that. Maybe you could write me a letter or something. Explain. Oh. I need a map for that joke. I think it was when I heard it, it was so young and it bothered me for so long. Yeah. But you laughed as soon as I said it. Yeah. Movie fans are now celebrating the 30th anniversary of Ghostbusters and are demanding a Ghostbusters 3, at least according to a homeless dude on my block who looks suspiciously like Ernie Hudson. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Remember Harold Ramis? Yeah, um, a dear friend of mine. I did, was he? Yeah, he lived right next door to me. I love that guy. Yeah, poor dear departed Harold. I went to... Um, because when I was uh, young, those guys yeah. tell that story. <laughs> and you go, I don't, what? It involves his mother or something. Yeah. And I'm like, you, you can't tell yeah, another right. person. Literally tell never. That story. It's like an inch below. Show that scar. <laughs> <laughs> this is where I smashed my... Um, I was wondering about hammer. that. I thought it was like a pendulette thing, like where he paints his little fingernail red. Oh, to, to, to mean what? I don't know. Probably just to distract your viewer or, oh, or you know, oh. sleight of hand, something. He puts you down. And That's he's, black like, as can be, that nail. Yeah, it's not, it's not pleasant. But uh, orange is the new black. But not in my apartment building. Kevin is the new black. <laughs> but uh, he puts you down, you know. Penn Jillette puts you down. It all comes back to that Trump joke. Sure does. Wow. Hey, what about this? Says an Alabama youth ministry group is under fire after putting up a billboard that quotes Adolf Hitler. To wow. be fair, they did pick his most inspirational quote. <laughs> <laughs> I heard he was a mean drunk. <laughs> This guy's a Holocaust denier. Oh, sure. oh my oh, God. Yeah. That's how. We got jokes written on cards. Do you want to read them? How's your reading? You, I read well. You read well? Well, read this well, Why have you got that? Huh? Just to read. Oh, they just to fill in. Whenever we have, no, whenever we have great comedians what on the, the show. What the that joke now? I can't remember that. <laughs> Say the punchline again. On Thursday, he reached the parking lot. But Monday, he left the, the, the... And Monday morning... He left the he, building. He, he, Monday morning. He was uh, he was allowed out of the hospital. He walked out of the... Uh, uh, no. 
What the hell? Is that funny not to remember the joke? Yeah. And Thank Thursday. God that guy that stole it from you remembers it. Gee whiz. <laughs> we be I lost to history. I can't remember the setup. Well, here, it's read. funny when the, you know, the punch and you forget the setup. Yeah, that's... That happens a lot now. That's wrong. Yeah, I got to ask Roxanne. My wife remembers everything. She got a good memory, Roxanne? If I call her now, she'd come up with it. Yeah. Well, I thought she'd be... Monday morning. <laughs> he was... <laughs> I thought you had a stroke for a second. He was in a hospital. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, I, 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 I want to find out... Why did he give you those? No, no. These are just... Whenever we have a great comedian on... Oh. We... we, we Not yet. Oh, of course. One of the greatest that ever walked the planet is sitting right to my immediate right. The planet. Let me see here. What about... Nah, I don't know. Here, oh, well, here's a joke about an old guy. This is actually... The, the premise of this is true. The world's oldest man died yesterday. Yeah. So what do you think of this joke? Man who died. Cause of death, everybody yelled surprise. <laughs> oh, you don't read it to yourself. <laughs> That's also got a Japanese ending where they yell, Supplies! <laughs> what does he do in the army? Supplies! <laughs> he do supplies. <laughs> hey, how about this? This is a joke. Yeah. But you gotta read it out loud without reading ahead. I spent the last two weeks at Disneyland. It was so much fun. The next time, I'm taking my wife and kids. <laughs> Worst thing I've ever read. <laughs> He's a garbage. But the next time, I'll take my wife and kids. And it doesn't really but that's, much that's sense. a rhythm joke. That's yeah. a young man. Yeah, yeah. I had such a good time. I got up this morning at the crack of my back, stuffed up the crack, went back to bed. Take my wife, please. <laughs> That sounds like Henny Youngman, but you didn't like him. Nobody liked him. But you can do an impression. He hated me, too. He yeah. hated everybody. Yeah. I remember sitting at the Friars once. I'm with him and uh, and uh, uh, a lovely table of people. And he says, he says, give up the goddamn jokes. Go back to your impressions. Do your impressions. Jeez. Don't do any jokes. Leave that for the pros. Whoa. I'm wearing one. <laughs> <laughs> do the jokes. Hey, World Cup. You watch the World Cup? Oh, I'm wearing one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm king here. <laughs> In World Cup soccer, Mexico defeated Cameroon one to nothing. Or as it's known in soccer, a blowout. <laughs> yeah, All right? yeah, very low scoring games. You know? <laughs> Who wrote these, the enemy? <laughs> I can't find a joke you like here. Do you know who Jonah Hill is? Huh? Do you know who Jonah Hill is? Yeah, the actor. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Little fat kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about this for a joke? He's a friend of uh, Tatum O'Neill. Good lady. God. You know. Channing, Channing, Jonah Tatum. Hill says his heart is broken over the fact he was caught on camera calling a photographer a gay slur. And speaking of things that are broken, Jonah Hill's chair. <laughs> A nice statement. Yeah, it's more of a comment. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a gay slur. Yeah. How do, you, how do you slur a gay? Yeah, I know, right? They got no trouble. Good God. They slur each other all the how time. About a gay goy. A gay goy? Yeah. It's like this character. <laughs> He's a Holocaust denier. Uh, Not true. Sure. Sure. Yeah. How do bar mitzvah? A query. Yeah, query. Well, that's your query. query. I get it. How do you talk to a gay guy? You ask him a query. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I made up a little joke. <laughs> Did you see that? Huh? Did you? I'm with Stephen Merchant, and uh, this is the section of the show where we do jokes, mm -hmm. because a lot of the people we get on, they don't have natural wit like you. <laughs> that was a compliment until you started smirking and giggling. <laughs> Uh, it was a comment. That yeah. is a comment. I just, yeah. Sometimes I can't think of the next thing to say. Sure. Go on. You surprised me. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't know why, but I, a lot of times I'll talk, 
And halfway through the sentence, I think some will fucking come. Sure, sure, <laughs> and sure. Sometimes yeah, it yeah. doesn't. Can I ask you a serious question? Because yes. I, you know, admire you greatly as a stand-up comedian. Yeah. How do you work your stand-up comedy? Do you do you go up there and just ad lib until something makes sense, like you've just said, like, until something hits? I don't mean this. I'm not being facetious. Oh, I'm you genuinely mean, you intrigued. actually really want to? Or do know? you work it out before? I'm always. I'm always I have like one, I have a fantastic punchline. Oh, you think of a punchline as it were, yeah, and then I think you can of work a to great, it. great punchline, and then. I just wander around because I used to do it by rote, you know, like I would, uh, that fellow there uh, booked me on Letterman. And uh, then you had to do five minutes, so they had to be word for word, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm not a good enough comic actor to pretend it's my first time saying it. So instead, I just uh, started yapping. And then I would think, you know, out of, like, desperation, you're funny, kind of, you know what I mean? Right. Because you're, people are looking at you. Yeah, 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 sure. And then you say, just think of little jokes, knowing the giant joke is coming. Mm -hmm. Which or, you've already worked out. Yeah, that's okay. there. Okay, that's, you know right. I mean? that's in the can. I'm just circling it like, like, uh, like the satellite, the moon, is circling this whirling cinder we call Earth. Yeah. Okay. Uh, here's a, a joke. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. You can just oh, read I read that. it? Yeah, you can read it right under the camera. That tree right there is. I had an uncle, mean guy. He was a prize fighter. He once broke both his hands in a fight against a washer dryer that he got on the Price is Right. <laughs> what? Why the right? Price is Right? He was a prize fighter and he won it on the Price is Right. Prize he won the prize. A prize fighter. Yeah, and he won the prize and then oh, he, beat, he had a fight against it with a washer dryer. God damn, there's more to Let me explain why that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking MC Etcher right there? Here's one. What's that joke sure. say? Uh, <laughs> we were. Yeah, I like right. that as a put yeah. down in a club. Yeah. What is he, when you come out like, did MC Etcher come up with that? <laughs> um. <laughs> here's uh, here's uh, what the fuck is his name? It's Adam Eager. Adam Eager. It's Eager. When, when, uh, it's Eager. Eager, when I Eager. when I was a don't ignore him. <laughs> What, what happened? He's looking at you. Oh, hey. Uh, I don't know if you knew this, but when I was a child, my parents told me my uncle was sleeping with the fishes, which at the time, I assumed, meant he bought a waterbed. Then I found out he had been killed and his body buried at sea. <laughs> God. Yeah. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my. Is that in parentheses? My father, this is all about relatives. My father was recently diagnosed with shingles, which is a terrible sickness that usually only affects roofs. <laughs> All right. yeah, but I tell you what does uh, hurt uh, the elderly uh, gypsies black gypsies what yeah they show up they go up on your roof they say we got lots of work to do on the roof roof's no good the old lady says alright how long will it be I don't know they get up there and they eat their little sandwiches cut the, the crust is cut off and it's in a triangle with a toothpick in there and Yellow cellophane and red cellophane. Have you got the big punchline you're working towards? Or? <laughs> <laughs> I think Black Chips is the punchline. Hotel Rwanda. Do you remember that? Oh, geez, you remember wow. that movie? Yeah. Well, that, there's a thing about Hotel Rwanda. I've noticed that Hotel Rwanda has a great score on Rotten Tomatoes, but their Yelp reviews are terrible. <laughs> uh, growing up, I had a dog with an eating disorder. He wouldn't eat any of my homework. <laughs> I'd like to take this moment to say I endorse podiums. That's a product I can stand behind. <laughs> no, but I, I will tell you this. I one time worked for Otis Elevator. I don't know if you know who they are. Who? Otis Elevators. They make elevators. Okay. It's a company. And they wanted me to come up with a slogan. I thought I had a great one. Otis Elevators, they never let you down. But... <laughs> Wait, what's this say? I don't want to give you bad ones. Oh, this is a pretty good one. I don't know if this is a British expression or not at the end of there. You can peruse through it. Peruse means read fast. I, d I feel like I'm going to offend someone. I don't understand this. No, no, this. no, no. Oh, you don't understand it. I d no, yeah, I no, don't understand not, the no, joke. It's not, it's not insulting to any minorities or anything like you that. You sure? Yes, I'm absolutely certain. I'm absolutely Who knows certain. at this point? I don't understand why L.A. is struggling to provide better public transportation when my neighbor Rich offers free mustache rides every night. <laughs> That's not a, right? I don't understand. That's what a heterosexual no, man. He, he has a mustache. 
Right. And he's inviting ladies to, to sit on to his ride face. On. Okay. No, it's a, <laughs> a moustache ride. Jokes. Is that what it is? Yeah. Yeah. Free mustache rides. Yeah. So guys will wear t-shirts. Say so free like, mustache rides. I wonder why that never made it across the pond. I yeah. wonder why that's not a thing there. It's like it got to customs and then, no, we're not, that's not going to work for us. God damn. You imagine how you fucking hard you could destroy with that Yeah, joke? you're right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a young Zika mosquito. Oh, God. Topical. Torn from today's headlines. <laughs> yeah. Went out flying for the first time in his life when it came back. His father asked, how was it out there? How did you feel? The young Zika mosquito replied, it was great, Daddy. Everyone was clapping for me. Oh. The, I father feel, replied, I feel, the father oh. replied, no one was clapping hands for you. Why, everyone wants to kill you. The more they clapped, the more chances that you were going to die. Lesson. In life, not all the people who celebrate you are well-wishers. Oh, well, that's a mm. little philosophical yeah. lesson, isn't it? <laughs> and I felt like that was an age-old mosquito parable that if someone's inserted Zika into to make it seem yeah. like the show is yeah. Yeah, I agree. up to date. I agree with you. I agree with you. Here, here's an interesting one. Adam Egret, who is, by the way, I'll just Egan. remind you, he's over here. That's yeah. him. Yeah. It's a joke, an Adam Egret joke. How do you say the name? Adam Egret. Egret. Spelt it Like the bird. That's Egret. Do you know what Adam Egret has in common with a guitar player? Adam Egret has in common with a guitar player. No, I don't know. They both love fingering minors. Now, okay. Come on now. <laughs> Come on now. Right. Come on now. Okay. Well, now, I know you're a political fellow, but you Very have no sure. dog in the hunt in this race. But... You don't know, so you just know what you hear. What? Like endorsements. He'll listen to endorsements. It'll all become clear. It's so clearer. complicated, this. Hillary has the support of the Orlando terrorist dad. Hillary has dad. the support of the Orlando terrorist dad has come out in favor of Hillary. Mm. Trump has the support of white supremacist groups. White supremacists. Groups. David Duke comes out in favor I can't Trump. decide who I like best until the Zika virus weighs in. <laughs> what? <laughs> All these bad people are endorsing both. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of Zika, a lot of Zika virus jokes. Yeah, yeah, it's very much yeah, really a hot potato topic on, <laughs> on uh, Norm's writing stuff. I don't know what that means. No, don't read it. Don't read it. Don't read it. <laughs> it's there the whole time. Man. Playboy magazine has done away with the nude photo layouts altogether. In other words, they've eliminated ladies in the altogether altogether. Uh, oh man, that's a very that's a sort of radio DJ joke. I feel <laughs> the way you, you know the way you, you, you have your to voice. Yeah, that, yeah, right? yeah, in amazing. other words, they've eliminated ladies in the altogether oh, altogether. Okay. Here's Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, by the way, I've noticed the term adult toy always refers to something you can uh, shove. Up up your asshole and never like a big race car like for a grown up another good observation yeah, yeah. They're, they're up there. <laughs> I could sell that to <laughs> do, we, do we rip all these from when I Allison? die I want to be cremated and my ashes spread eagle and fucked fucked hard like a fucking real tramp wow come on man <laughs> why did they make me say that wow Jesus Christ you see, somebody writes that. It's not me. It's just some fucker over there in the next room. Yeah. Then I say it like a goddamn robot. And then people think I thought of it. Mm, mm, but I'm mm. clearly, you know, I didn't. I can't even type. Yeah. You ever read a book? Oh, you read that communist thing. Yeah, I read the Marxist manifesto. Who was the better man? Okay. Dr. Martin Luther King. Mm-hmm. Stalin. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, these are the big questions. Well, I don't want to jump to any conclusions. Again, I don't want to be sued by the estates no, of either. Um, I'm going to go for MLK. I'm you know history. I know history. And I know you're very good friends with uh, David Irving, the <laughs> author, who he reads constantly. Yeah, I'm not friends with David Irving. <laughs> Do you know that he, though, is a revisionist? Oh, you're a revisionist? Well, he's a, a denier, Holocaust. <laughs> You've never, but he's never read David Irving because he said he's too smart. <laughs> and I tell him, well, David Irving is, is would be your biggest ally, you know yeah. what I mean, instead of these morons. You knew David Irving instantly when I said it. You as if you're his best friend. <laughs> but you've studied Irving? I've not studied Irving, oh. no, no. 
but I'm aware of who he is. Yeah. Well, I can tell a joke. Go for it. Yeah, this please is, do. This is what please. we're looking for. Yeah. There was a fella, a little boy in school named Dirty Johnny. Now, he's not dirty in this joke. But uh, he'd always said, be a hellion in class, and the teacher didn't think much of him. So the teacher has a project, or not a project, but an in class thing. And then go again. <coughs> says, oh, I said, she says, now, this is what you're going to do here, class. I want you to stand up. <laughs> I want you to stand up and uh, tell the class what uh, a story from your life. And then afterwards, say, the moral to that story. So a girl puts up her hand, yes, Becky, what's your story? So Becky stands up, she goes, my dad works for the hatchery here in town. And uh, what happens was he got about 15 eggs and he put them all in one basket, all in the same basket. So he put all his eggs in one basket and he put it on the horse and buggy and drove back home. And by God, uh, the, Becky says, the bouncing and all the eggs broke. Well, that's a good story, the teacher says, but what would the moral be to that? Becky says, well, the moral is, don't put all your eggs in the one basket. But God damn, says the teacher, that's a good one. <laughs> Anybody else? Marjorie puts up her hand. Marjorie, what's your story? She says, well... My dad worked for the hatchery, as most all of us. Thank God for the hatchery. <laughs> she says that we'd all be lost. But anyways, my dad knows that uh, eggs become chickens. And so uh, he was uh, uh, counting his chickens, and he added in the eggs, you see. And then he put them on a horse and buggy to go to town, and they all bro broke. Well, what's the lesson to that, the teacher says. She counted it. And uh, she says, well, don't count your chickens before they hatch out of an egg. Mm -hmm. So the teacher says, that's a great one, too. Anybody else? Well, wouldn't you know Dirty Johnny has his hand up? So the teacher's like, holy God, I, I don't want it. But on the other hand, I made an oath to every child should I suppose I got a all right dirty Johnny what do you have to say Johnny stands up stories about my uncle Terry he don't, never worked at the hatchery on account he was in Vietnam and he got disability he don't even like people work at the hatchery but the story happened far from these shores, in a little town called Da Nang. Terry was not well liked. His whole troop left him, abandoned. And he woke up in the weeds, and all they left him with was three bottles of Jack Daniels, some weapons. Terry stood up and downed one bottle right away said, if I'm going out, I'm going out. He took his <clears throat> Balishnikov and a couple of Glocks and his two bottles, and away he went. He found a town. And uh, he didn't know if it was Charlie or, or if it was one he was sent to protect. But all he knew was he had hate in his gut. So he uh, started firing. <laughs> And he fired the Kalishnikov with an arcing kind of, like a farmer would with hay, with a scythe. And sure enough, the men fell like hay before him. And then the women, and by God, I'm ashamed to say it, but then the children. And finally, all was left was Uncle Terry standing in the mud and the blood and the glory. And uh, he touched his pants, and there was a, it was wet, and he said he was ashamed. He felt shame, Uncle Terry, for he'd uh, pissed himself. Well, he touched it again. It was not urine at all, but ejaculate. And Uncle Terry felt pride where shame once was. And the teacher's like, good Christ, what kind of a story is that? 
What the hell is the moral to that? Well, he says, uh, when uh, Uncle Terry's been drinking, you don't fuck with him. <laughs> now, as best if you work at the hatchery. <laughs> no, listen, <laughs> it's been great to have you. I didn't want to end on such a long joke, but I realized once he was laying down on top of her. Now, we have some jokes, some of them written by, uh, or I mean, some of them written by the great George Miller. But would okay. you like to read a joke? This yeah. is not a George Miller joke, though. This is just a joke. Read it aloud? Yeah. Scientists have discovered a vegan spider in South Africa that will not eat ants. Oh. It refuses to eat ants, even if it's starving, but it will eat tofu shaped like ants. Oh. <laughs> That's good. That's good. <laughs> Should we let Adam, Adam Egan read a joke? Well, I'd, I'd like to see him do something before yeah. I leave. <laughs> He's going to read a joke. Uh, researchers in... Uh Bermuda believe they may have uh, finally solved part of the mystery surrounding Amelia Earhart's disappearance. She was a bad pilot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. It's not my fault. Bermuda. She didn't go down anywhere near Bermuda. Uh, do your <laughs> goddamn research, Egus. Now, what about this one? Oh, here's a great joke. <laughs> Dave, this is a perfect Dave Letterman joke. You got to say it louder than that. I, I, because of what just happened, I'm, <laughs> I've decided to pre-read. <laughs> well, I'm a moment of silence after that joke. No, I mean it was 150 years ago. We can look back and laugh at it now. <laughs> the Deer Hunter is a terrific movie unless you shelled out three bucks to see some actual deer hunting. This is uh, this is reminiscent of your uh, weekend update stuff. Is it? Yeah. So. Now, when, remember the, you had the snowstorm and you did the show without the audience? Yes. And it seemed like you really enjoyed that. Yes, it was fun. Would you ever consider doing that again? Uh, yeah, if, if uh, yeah, sure. I mean, it was, it was what we're doing here, more or less. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. Do, now, I know you've done this show in both versions. Which do you prefer, with or without? Oh, without. Without, you like that better? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It, but, it, but I don't it, have it, the it, range of, uh, that you do. You, no, 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 no. See, no, what makes no, it, no, no, I, I, there's I've only been two mm, talk show hosts mm, with this deep, deep um, uh, layer. You and Johnny Carson. No. <laughs> and, and it'd be black. Hey, Dave, say what you will about Elon Musk, mm -hmm. but with his new plan to bring people to Mars, nobody is a more creative serial killer. <laughs> hey, you know the funniest part of doing an office conga line? <laughs> when you look back and realize you're doing it alone and you're not in an office, you're in a psychiatric hospital. <laughs> How many years did you do uh, up Here's a George Miller joke. How many years did you do update? I, I want to say 15. <laughs> What's that one say? Oh, here you go. Yeah. Yeah. I heard that when Beethoven was 16, he wrote his first symphony. This is the kind of guy who makes you realize that an, uh, what an utter sham your life has been. <laughs> when I was 16, I was in a McDonald's saying... You want lids on these? <laughs> now, what a perfect lids choice, huh? Yep. yep. I mean, maybe the, the idea is, is, is generic, but the, ch the word choices. Yeah. It's beautiful. <laughs> oh, here's one for you. Oh, great. It's a George Miller. Oh. Uh, I went to one of these fancy restaurants. Boy, they really specialize with all these fancy waiters. They oh, have, they, have <laughs> they specialize. Who gives they butter? specialize. The waiters, they specialize. <laughs> That's right. I don't think they're fancy. I think they specialize. <laughs> you have the butter waiter. He brings out the butter. Yeah. You have the water waiter. Brings out the water. Yeah. You have the what, Coffee, what is the it? Head waiter. Coffee waiter. Yeah. Yeah. And then what else? <laughs> <laughs> and then the 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 head waiter. Now I they're mean. very specialized <laughs> at these places. <laughs> This is not a George Miller joke, but it's, it's more of a just a whimsical observation. A surname you don't hear much anymore, Flintstone. <laughs> I was, uh, uh, the George Miller joke that, um, uh, oh, I remember the first time I saw George Miller on stage. 
And he was talking about uh, how he was in school. He wasn't very favorite. George Miller joke. I played a great club here in the city. Catch a rising star. Boy, that's a good club. But across the street, they have a tough club. Have you been there? Snub a bombing has been. <laughs> <laughs> but this is my favorite one of all time. This is a favorite joke of George Miller's. His sex life. <laughs> oh, God. Here's something you should never say in bed. That ought to hold you for a while, Gertrude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'd like to thank David Letterman for being on the show. Is it would be great as you. You'd be oh. great as who would you You'd be cast? great as anybody, right? Who, who would, would you, you cast as other members in your he life? You'd play Dunga Den, huh? Who, who would you cast as Cuss? Of Cuss? I don't know. Joe Pesci sounds like a good. Mm. Oh, that's a good Pesci idea. Yeah. Very good idea. He's, yeah, he's from the Bronx, Cuss from the Bronx. You want to you read some jokes, Mike? We read jokes on this show. Off blue cards. Go for it. All right. You want me to do the first one then? Yeah. I thought I was going to be rich, Mike, but it turns out there really isn't that much of a call for radish cider. Radish cider? What's radish cider on the floor? That's a thing that someone made up. Now, will you read one? Okay. Researchers have discovered that the cockroaches have personality. Huh. Not great ones. Not great ones, mind you. Oh, well, not good ones, yeah. That makes how sense. How do you know? Uh, well, <laughs> hey, why is taking no pleasure in things I used to enjoy a sign of depression? Maybe I'm just finally sick of crayon. Say it again? I don't know. It's a long joke. Hey, why did Mike Tyson... This is a joke about you. Why, why did Mike Tyson break up with his girlfriend? Which one? At first, he thought she was ear... <laughs> Resistible. But then they started having ear reconcilable differences. That's just whack. It's hell. about your ear, man. What do you call it's a gay about boxer? Somebody else, it's about somebody else's ear. What do you call a gay boxer? Huh? What do you call a gay boxer? No McDonald. No. I'm no. No, listen. Come hey. on, no. Hey, what about read that book? Uh, read that one. Uh, Sherry Shepard is worried her ex-husband will release new photos of her. So am I. I'm not worried. <laughs> Sherry Shepard is fine. She's and all a fine woman. I don't know who. Fine, sexy. Yeah, I don't know who wrote that Devilish, ravaged black woman that I live. Yeah, you like that? I need me to ski, baby. I got a joke for him. We should let uh, Adam Eager write a joke, right? Wait, write a joke. Read a joke. Oh, yeah, I'll read a joke. Oh, here's a good joke for Adam Ega. Do you like when Adam Ega reads a joke, Mike? Mm -hmm. Do you like when Adam Ega reads a joke? Are you capable of reading that? I mean, we'll see. We're all going to find out together, right? Absolutely. Well, apparently the Samsung Galaxy Note 7 phones are spontaneously catching on fire. When you run screaming, they also eat with roaming charges. I okay. Never, I never witnessed that. Yeah, I haven't. Either. Okay, listen. This is the last joke. I want to read the last joke. You're going to read it. And you see, you don't. We, we as white people can say that, but you can say the real thing. Okay, good, good. You know what the real thing is, right? Yeah. Because there's a lot of words that start yeah. with that letter. But you, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's hear this joke. Researchers in Russia say that the dolphins have a distant, spoke, a, a, a distant spoken language of their own. You're saying that dolphins have a distinct language? Would you all their own? Yes. Huh. What's the solution? What's the what's the solution that they that they use the N word? Ooh, that they use the N word constantly. No, what what word do they use? Nigga word, N word. Oh yeah. <laughs> What'd you call it? Dolphin. The what word? Nigga. <laughs> Nigga and ninja. Word, yeah. Say, I wanna hear you say the word. I don't wanna say it, say because it. then it'll be on tape forever. Say I it. say it in my private life many times. Say it, say it, hunky. <laughs> say it, hunky. Say nigga, hunky. Say, 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 fucking say it, hunky. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, am I wrong or am I imagining that? No, say nigga, hunky. Say it, hunky. Come on, cracker. <laughs> I'm like, I have to ask you a question. Say it, say it. Say it. I can't say it. Let it make him say it. Say it. <laughs> make Adam Egan say it, Mike. God damn. <laughs> He's, I, he, and these crazy fists are like inches okay, from my face. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's Mike I'm just Tyson. playing, guys. I'm just playing. I'm I know, playing. but you're this playing Hollywood with shit. This you're Hollywood. playing with with your you know registered weapons of your it's fists. Hollywood, it's Hollywood. You're playing, you're playing. Come on, playing, man. He's playing. This is what I think I saw on Arsenio. 
Right. You tell me if I'm wrong. What? It was you. It was Sugar Ray Leonard, and then the great Muhammad Ali came out. Arsenio Hall asked Muhammad Ali, what nickname would you give me? And, and Muhammad Ali said, I remember him saying this, and Arsenio told me he did say this, that he gave Arsenio a nickname on the show that I can't say. What was it? Well, you can say it, but I can't. Is it in? If that's his nickname, you'd be the uh, That's what you I like George Bush just a little bit. The pop, look, 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 a little oh, George. Yeah. Well, come on, serious, it. man. Can no, you yeah, see yeah. it? What's wrong with it? A little bit. Don't, don't, yeah. man, no kiss ass. Can you see it for real? No, man. Well, you don't like George that's, Bush? No, George Bush is great. Come on, man. He's but, a great man. Yeah, but you're not. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> I thought it was gay. Yeah, the, yeah, the, what, what was, what was the joke? The gay, what, the Orlando Cruz. what do you call I a gay guy? You said me. But it was Orlando Cruz was the joke. But it's not really a joke because he's out of the closet. No, he's a great fighter, too. An incredible fighter. Now, when you go in, we're back for the entire hour with Bobby Lee, and it's going uh, uh, swimmingly so far, I think. Don't you think? I get it. Yeah. Hey, we got some jokes. All right. All right but, that's all right. But, you know, the, are these street jokes? Uh, no, 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 no. So you wrote they're them? Not, they're not. Someone wrote them. Some of them wrote that you know. Yeah, okay. some p people in this room. Okay, cool. Some people in this Thank room. Thank you. I don't want to say who because in case the joke doesn't work. Okay, all right. So, um, that's a that's a start. You can just read it. You don't have to read ahead if you don't want. There's nothing going to No, no, I'll just read it then. Yeah. When you're single trying to attract a partner, it's important to project the qualities you desire, which I understand, but boy, oh boy, have I had to suck a lot of dick lately. <laughs> That's sort of like a Bobby Lee joke. It was a lot like a Bobby Lee joke. All right. Yeah, what about this one? This is for you. Um, uh, yesterday I had a picture framed. Now it's doing time upstate for armed robbery. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh my God. Here's one for Bobby Lee. I don't want to know. No, no more dick sucking. No, sir. <laughs> but this, 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 do you, are you doing <laughs> diets sometimes? I know, but do you, do you know, do diets and stuff? Yeah, yeah sometimes. Okay, so this okay. is sort of a diet right. joke a little bit. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, Boy, was it hot outside today. I went out to buy a California Pizza Kitchen signature pepperoni frozen flatbread, and by the time I got home, it was perfectly, perfectly cooked and entirely eaten. 100% true. Oh, you ate it. Wait, wait, stop, 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 stop. I love you laughs. I love you laughs. It's just kind of weird, right? <laughs> Some of them are odd. I'm not going to lie to you. This is a joke. Well, some of them. But this is a joke. I think technically. Like an observational joke? <laughs> 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 I think no technically. Oh, okay. Okay. I need to have glasses in order to see my family. Specifically, two glasses of scotch. <laughs> <laughs> see, I, I take the I take the, the hits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I take the bad Adam, you do the next one. I'll be on oh, fucking okay. death squad with some of these. Um, here's one. Okay. For, for Adam Ego. Uh, who did comedy. Give me a card for a second. Oh, okay. uh, did you know that Adam Eager did comedy for a while? You did? Very briefly. But you you, you performed? Mm -hmm. Very Open briefly. Mics? In L.A. or in no, Phoenix? No, Arizona. In, in Arizona, yeah. he was famous for thrusting out his his cock. Like he'd push, <laughs> like he'd stand at the mic and he'd push forward. So it was... It was a nervous... T yeah. It but he has like a hell of a hog. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> People say that. Yeah. <laughs> you have a big dick? He, I... The people said you have a big day? Yeah, I guess. That's, you know what you say no next time? No. Read that. Yeah. All right. Uh, I saw my little nephew recently, and he was bothering me with a lot of questions. One he says to me is, where do you think would be the worst place to get a bug bite? So I thought about it. I answered, maybe the eye? What's your answer? And he said, Brazil. Oh, Zika. Zika. Torn, Zika. Uh, Zika. Torn from Zika. Well, headline. What about this one? It's a, this is a right. short one. Fast one. Okay. I signed up for my company's 401k. 401k? Four, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, no. I fucked it up. No, no, no. Well, don't give me a line reading. Uh, I just... You I give me a line reading. I didn't know what 401k was, so I thought... <laughs> I mean, you give me a line reading, then you touch me. That's well, you're, what, yeah, you're yeah, very I know, soft. I know. I, you know I didn't say that? Do you I'm, I'm, I'm fucking that? soft as fuck. How soft you, do, 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 Can you caress? Oh, my God. Yeah. Like, is that the moisturizing? Best. No, it's natural. Just natural. You saw it. I'll read it again? Sure. I signed up for my company's 401k, but I don't think I can run that far. It is a long way. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I gotta get one that's gonna make Bobby happy. I don't like when he scowls after that. 
Um, you know, I grew up poor, man. My mom used to cut my hair with the balls. Did you ever see where they used to do yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Which is bad enough. But then came dinner, and it was uh, she served uh, a hair, a bowl of hair. <laughs> that was him. <laughs> okay. You know, you ever hear of steampunk? Yeah, I like it. Oh, you do? Yeah. Well, there's a joke Thank for you. you. I wouldn't call myself a fan of steampunk, but I will say it's the healthiest way to prepare punk. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to take a moment to address all the men listening. No, oh man, I should do this on the camera. No means no. And bakalawa means cod. What? I guess it's a type of fish or something. Oh. I don't know. Oh, bakalawa. If I was great in like constellations, I don't, I don't well, will you laugh if he I does one? Really okay. Uh, I'm going to give you a good one. Okay. If I were great in constellations, my review and description for Orion's belt would be just three stars. This is a thing we get once in a while. We get we ask for letters from people uh -huh. that have problems, and um, it's called it's actually called Dear Bobby. <laughs> So this one says, Dear Bobby, I am in love with two boys and don't know which one to marry. First, there's Andy. Are you thinking about this? Yeah, that's what, like, when, when you say, yeah, yeah, that, I'm listening. I'm in love with two boys and don't know which one to marry. What is Andy? First, there's Andy. He's sort of blonde and sells insurance. Mama likes him, which helps a lot. He's very reliable and seems anxious to get married. Uh -huh. Then there's Tony. He's dark and sort of gives me the creeps. But they're awfully nice creeps. I don't know which one I like best. In the daytime, I like Andy, but I believe I like Tony better at night. Which one do you think would make the best husband for me? Andy or Tony? <laughs> okay. So, we're just going to have a time. Everything was going well until these jokes showed up. You know? Oh huh? God. How long is this? This show? Yeah. Um, so how long I, I, I has it run so far? I have all day. But I just kind of want to know how long it is. It's over. And why are you here? I have no idea. Okay. No Time idea. to do some jokes. Have you told Sarah about doing the jokes? Yeah, we were just discussing no, it. it. You well, just well, well, we give these jokes. jokes. And then, you know, I try to give you the best ones. So... Oh, like we're going to read yeah, all jokes. Of us. Yeah, all yeah, right. Are, are they old-timey jokes? Are they classics? Uh, no, they're all written by, by guys in this room. But don't let that. Okay, go ahead. Um, where, where, where's my this, tree? This actually oh. happened. Oh, do you know I asked Chris Elliott about the tree thing? Oh, yeah, what happened? He made it up. No. You know, what? Chris Elliott would go, which tree is mine? <laughs> So we said something else because I thought it was an old time. It must be like a show business. That's so yeah. great. Made it up. Okay, go ahead. Uh, I'm a gifted but self-taught composer, and my masterpiece is Toccata and Fugue in what I think is D minor. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. It's, you said it so fast. I did say it fast, and I think some of the words from this is Rip Ranch in today's headline. Did you know that Ringwin Brothers Barnum and Bailey Circus closed today? Yeah. Well, there's a joke already written. And do I read it? Yeah, yeah. To the camera or to Adam? Or... After 146 years, Ringling, Ringling Brothers has... <clears throat> after 146 years, Ringling Brothers has shut down. Sad news for circus fans, but great news for employers looking to snap up guys who know how to beat elephants with steel rods. Oh, Lord. Oh, I suddenly tried to do it like you would do it on the news at SNL. Ouch. Steel rods. I wonder if that really happens. I'm sure it happens. I'm sure that must happen. Second, second worst job. <laughs> Assistant crack whore. <laughs> crack whore four the times. Year and that's like, I know. Anyways, white girls who wear big hoop earrings may be guilty of, quote, cultural appropriation. And they risk getting a curse put on them by peeved gypsy fortune tellers. What's the joke part? That's what the setup. A, there's a hidden. Uh, Insult, gyp. That people don't. Oh, yeah. gypsy. That one's gyp, yeah. A, that gypsy. Yeah, that's That's okay. People don't know. I know. Well, once you know, you get to stop using it. I, no, I find it. Yeah. A, I'm Jewish. 
What are you doing? Gypsy? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> well, Jews aren't gypsies, but in that way that they're... Uh, like they were both to get gypped. The... To get gypped? Yeah. Get gypped, yeah. get Jewed down, get, get Jewed gypped. Down. But Jude, you know. Yeah, Jip, you but just learn. Jews are uh, like nomads or whatever, like gypsies. Right. Not by choice. So a woman from Denmark I met at a party was telling me how awful she thinks Trump is. So I shot back, yeah, well, you guys have that asshole Hans Christian Anderson. <laughs> That's funny. It's just my uh, patriotism. <laughs> Here's a, she went an old-timey. You can read oh, okay. the old-timey one. Uh, a tip for anyone about to travel on a steam locomotive, don't get on old 97. I just have a bad feeling about it. Oof. Oh, jeez. Oh, here's a funny joke. I think this is pretty funny. This is just fucking I mean, wouldn't it be fun if we just told, like, sat around like we've been doing? Or what is this? Is just a oh, part no, of your show that. that you're no. like, this show needs structure. No. This is the segment this will be. No. I think a good j uh, I think a good job title for Jesus Christ would be Visiting Lecturer. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That's brilliant. Very good. Very good. Whoever wrote that. Brilliant. <laughs> Who are you? Do you have some favorite comics? Do you watch a lot of stand-up still, or, or do you have some favorite comics? I mean, I try to. I, you know, if I'm going to enjoy myself at home, I don't watch comedy do because it's yeah. stressful. I love murder. I love whodunits. Yeah. I like thrillers. I love that shit. Me too. Um, so, you know, it's a little bit like work, but I want to support my friends. That said, I mean, I want to be abreast of what's going on in the on the scene mm -hmm. because otherwise I become one of those old uh, old comedian types right but you, you get know, desensitized sometimes like something that brought you so much joy when you were young and now you're like oh that's true I see that trick and you know what I mean like yeah but then there's a, a joy to that this part of our lives too you know it's no, pretty sure. cool and being able to understand it have an ear for the kind of laugh like when you walk off stage you go yeah I did well but they were laughers you know they right. were laughing right. there would be anything yeah. it's like, like, no, no, oh, yeah. Lassie's under there, okay. Yeah. And then it was, you know, he's holding a Picasso. And then it was Hitler. I don't know what we do. Wow, yes. we have to think. Oh, well, we do your jokes? This went by oh. fast. Well, they want us to do jokes. Let's do some jokes. <laughs> what do we do on that? Should I do him as a funny character? Sure. <laughs> a new study shows dogs can tell when people are doling out fake praise. So I guess that's the one thing that differentiates my dog from Adam Idget. Uh, <laughs> Who's Adam Idget? Oh. Just a funny name. Oh, that. just a funny name? Okay, all right. <laughs> oh, what about this one? That's funny. Well, you go. I'll do the next one. Okay. Do it, this Asgard? No, just do this out. You know what they say, opinions are like assholes. I want to <laughs> suck them all. <laughs> oh, he just... You want to suck assholes? He just, he, just clear, he, just, he just edited it. See, that's the writer in you. No, listen, my girlfriend's mad suck. at me right now. Last night when we were having sex, I yelled the name of her ex-boyfriend. Nice fellow. <laughs> Oh, I love the nice fellow. I always like that old joke of like, yeah, he's a little vain. When he has an orgasm, he yells out his own name. Oh, that's right. I always like that one. Or I, I don't fold. Yeah, the woman says, yeah, I want 10 inches. I don't fold it in half for anybody. I no. think First Lady Manali... Mal What's her name? Who? I think the First Lady Melania... M was that Melania, Melania Trump. Trump. Oh, I think the First Lady Melania Trump puts up with a lot from her husband. But he's able to get away with it because he's president and he's rich and he has a huge cock. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's do it, baby. Let's do it, okay? <laughs> you never get the reaction, Mr. Donald Trump person. Every time you try to have it? sex, you never, never have a reaction, Mr. Donald President person, person. Why do you say person twice? Why, Why do you say person twice? Because that's what I call you, Mr. Donald President person, person. Come on, baby. Come on, let's do it. No, Mr. Donald President person. Person. Yeah, makes me happy. Now that makes me happy. Just that she says person twice makes me very happy. You know? Adam Iget is him. Oh, Iget. oh, I didn't know that's, that's your last yeah, name. His name is Adam Eget. Eget. So I had no idea your last uh, name. Oh, it's Adam so Eget. I, be nice I forget yeah. sometimes. Okay. I'm not saying that your trusty sidekick, Adam Eget, is dumb, but on his contract where it said sign here, he wrote Capricorn. <laughs> 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 Will Letterman. <laughs>
That's so dumb. <laughs> Good heavens. Oh, dear. Oh, one story oh, from the book of a Hadith reports how the Prophet Muhammad joked with a, a boy called Abu Umawiyar who was playing with a small sparrow. One day, the prophet saw the child looking sad, so asked, why do I see Abu Umayyar looking sad? One of the villagers told him, the Nugar sparrow, which he used to play with, has died. Whereupon the prophet began to gently joke with the child to bring him out of his melancholy, saying, oh, Abu Umayyar, what happened to the Nugahayar? Note, in Arabic, this is a play on words because of the rhyme between the boy's name, Abu Umayyar, and that of the bird, Nugahayar, being the diminutive of Nugar. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's not what I, I was wish expecting. I it could keep was, going on. Yeah. This is it? No, that's your joke. Oh, my God. You want me to read this whole thing? All right. Yeah. Jesus. Okay. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> A man boarded an airplane and took his seat. As he settled in, he glanced up and saw the most beautiful woman boarding the plane. He soon realized she was heading straight toward his seat. As fate would have it, she took the seat right beside his. Eager to strike up a conversation, he blurted out, business trip or pleasure? She turned and smiled and said, business. I'm going to the annual Nymphomaniacs of America convention in Boston. <laughs> he swallowed hard. Here was the most gorgeous woman he had ever seen sitting next to him, and she was going to a meeting of Nymphomaniacs. Struggling to maintain his composure, he calmly asked, what's your business at this convention? convention lecture, I use the information that I've learned from my personal experiences to debunk some of the popular myths about sexuality. Really, he said, and what kind of myths are there? Well, one popular myth is that African-American men are the most well-endowed of all men. I've heard that. When in fact, it is the Native American Indian who is most likely to possess that trait. Hmm. Another popular myth is that Frenchmen are the best lovers when actually it is men of Jewish descent who are the best. I have also discovered that the lover with the absolutely the best stanima is the southern redneck. Suddenly, the woman became a little uncomfortable and blushed. I'm sorry, she said. I shouldn't really be discussing all this with, with you. I don't even know your name. Tonto, the man said. Tonto Goldstein. But my friends called me Bubba. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Uh, David Trampy, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll clap for myself. Let's do some jokes. <laughs> that went well, Josh. <laughs> now, this is a, a great joke. This is, a, I think, a... It's a classic joke. This may have been written by, uh, who's this new boy that I've taken quite a, an unhealthy Black. interest to, uh, with? Black. Huh? Scott Black. Scott Black. Black. Uh, anyways, I really like this Black. Um, and uh, see what you think of this joke. If you could just speak this joke out loud into that camera. Okay. You don't have to read ahead, or you can if you like. I'm taking a fascinating class. Try to, you know, use your comic timing and delivery. Okay. I'm taking a fascinating class all about the Hollywood freeway. Oh. It's called 101-101. 101-101. 101-101. That's pretty good, right? That's good. That's pretty good. Uh, here's what Miss... Mrs. Donald J. Trump, fresh from a plagiarism scandal, is facing a different kind of heat. A racy photo spread from 95 has emerged with photos of Melania Trump lying nude in a bed as another naked model embraces her from behind, just below her breasts, which are fully exposed. Another photo shows the other naked model in sheer stockings, a low-cut bustier and high heels, raising a whip as if preparing to spank Melania, who pretends to recoil. Geez, who does Melania think she is? Mamie Eisenhower? <laughs> <laughs> Crowds in Brazil greeted her arriving Olympians with signs reading, Welcome to Hell. Imagine that. Their local chamber of commerce really needs to brush up on the basics. <laughs> Would you like to do a joke? It's always funny when... Um, because he used, when he started, he sucked at jokes, and no one liked them. But he's, he's getting a lot better. He's better. Yeah. Okay. Just say it to that camera. All right. Um, there's no hard evidence that flossing helps your teeth much, scientists now say. Though they add, it is a great activity for people who enjoy tedious, repetitious drudgery. Some of them. Some of them he's gotten better. <laughs> yeah, that was a stumble. That wasn't great. And that was good. Mm. It was good. Yeah. You always know a joke's good when, when the response is, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> In lieu of laughter. Oh, what about New York City? Apparently, horse manure has uh, taken over New York City. Oh. Um, how about that? Oh. Isn't that terrible? Yeah. Anyways, there's a joke for the great Margaret Cho. 
The heat wave striking New York City this week has led to piles of horse manure to spontaneously combust. So for the first time in history, you can explain why New York City smells like a flaming pile of horse shit. Oh, she is. <laughs> <laughs> Only Margaret could have pulled that one out. <laughs> Who wrote that? You? <laughs> we let him write three jokes a week. <laughs> My mom was a drug addict, so we had a lot of cookies that she had baked. But she, you know what her secret was? Love. Mm. Ecstasy-induced love. <laughs> 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 Now, you should read ahead on this one, but I think this would be a good joke for you. TBS is... Well, you're not reading ahead. Oh. TBS is developing a notorious B.I.G.-inspired comedy series, which I guess explains their new slogan, TBS fucking dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes you don't want to say that because then TBS will phone you and say, we're interested in what's that, you know. Um, oh, last week, Pope Francis paid a somber visit to Auschwitz, which surprised me because I thought he was one of those fun ghosts. <laughs> Is he dead? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. In my in my time, they died. They didn't uh, retire. You know what I mean? Go back to their first love. <laughs> Jesus. Um, August fourth is the is the birthday of the great poet Percy Shelley. You like Shelley? I do. Yeah. Jazz great Louis Armstrong. Who doesn't like Louis Armstrong? Huh? Well, not you, but. <laughs> But it's not personal. It's, it's the entire. Well, no. Uh, and the day in 1882 that Lizzie Borden grabbed the axe and did her best Paul Bunyan impression, <laughs> uh, cleaving her father and stepmother's heads like hot grapefruits because their skulls were split with such precision it is believed her parents were asleep and therefore didn't suffer, so they say. <laughs> um, so anyways, was that a joke? <laughs> hey, what about this? This is, this is an actual joke. Okay. Technically, uh, be proven to be a joke. I, I know I'm not the most attractive. When women look at me, I can tell they're. You're not, you know, you're not the most attractive man in the world. I know I'm not the most attractive man in the world, but when. Women look at no, me. No, not but. As evidence. Uh, oh, right, right. This is to support it. Yeah, yeah this. I know I'm not the most attractive. I know I'm not the most attractive man in the world. As I mean, when, fact, when women look at me, I can tell they're overdressing me with their eyes. <laughs> <laughs> That's very good. Mm -hmm. Good, good one. <laughs> That's good. Uh, I don't like doing homeless guy jokes. Okay. Fuck those. You know what I mean? Mm -mm. They really need to be made fun of, you know. Um, you guys talk. Are you going to read all those jokes? Oh, no. Oh, Maybe no. These are just going to go into a pile for, for use. Uh, on Didn't the your cousin have uh, trouble during the, the, the war on drugs? My cousin got a Purple Heart during the war on drugs. Well, that's good. After he uh, tragically overdosed on cocaine. Uh, oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, I, don't know. Was, I had a wild night last night, boy. I was in a, an orgy. It was me, my iPad, my laptop, and TV while my phone watched. It's more of a comment, really. Yeah, that's more a comment, commentary. Comment. You know, I was raised Catholic, and when people find out, they always assume there was some creepy priest involved, you know. Mm -hmm. But they never suspect the deacon. <laughs> uh, were you raised in a broken home? I heard that from somebody. Yes, I was, I was raised in a broken home. My father was a drunk carpenter. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's why we get into the business, right? <laughs> Jokes. Yeah. Do you remember when you were a little girl and you were there any uh, who who made you laugh or anybody in movies that made you oh, laugh um, or Flip Wilson? Flip Wilson. I've never been on top of trends. I guess you know when everybody was burning CDs, I was still burning books. Were people burning CDs for a while? Yeah. Yeah, on their computers. Yeah, it was like making mixtapes. Yeah, we burn a CD. Huh. I heard about a terrible thing. You ever hear about the guy that burned the Koran? I heard about a guy. He made on his computer 1,000 different Word documents of the Koran, like of PDFs, and he deleted all of them. Oh, it's like... <laughs> Anyways, uh, uh, we better uh, take a break, but you were telling me before the show a story about a sad pizza that you knew, that you were uh, friends with a sad, that you were... Uh, Friends with a sad pizza. How did you know that that, sad, that that pizza was so sad? I mean, have you heard of the sad pizza? No. It cuts itself. Oh. <laughs> oh. That is sad. Thank you for uh, making us laugh for so long and uh, for so long in the future. Now, you have all the jokes. This is where we do the jokes. Got it. This is a joke section where you just have to read a joke off a blue card. You don't have to think of a joke. <laughs> Good. Like those other shows? I'm not Jay. No, it's, yeah, it's automatic. Yeah. So, what joke would you like? Uh, would you like uh, Tim to do? Uh, this one seems like it might cover, you know. Oh, I see. Minute, the, the, you know? The, They're like the little people. Yes, I got the, you. I got you. All right, Blue Man Group. It's a long-running off-Broadway show in New York. Men dressed in blue, if you haven't seen it, very annoying. They beat on drums forever. The Blue Man Group has been forced by the federal government to hire an orange man. And a purple woman. Oh my God! Oh, dear. Purple woman. Sign of the times. Orange, huh? orange man and a purple woman. How about this? A new orange report, man and a purple woman. A new report from the CDC states that only one third of Americans use condoms, while two thirds of Americans are still pretty cool. Get out! <laughs> Why do you get a good one? That, that, that was good. Was good. <laughs> what? <laughs> Whose joke was I just what, was that steal somebody's joke? He says that's a good one. can tell. Ever since Trump's new policy came in, the band Foreigner is scared. Uh, what? What? <laughs> because of Donald Trump, the band Foreigner is scared. Oh. The what? I'm uh, sorry. I don't, I don't, I don't because of Trump's foreigner. immigrant policy, yeah. the band Foreigner oh, the is band. scared. <laughs> oh, the band. <laughs> you I, 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 stole, I right? stole that. I stole that. And so some young guy said that at the Laugh Factory. I think I stole that. But I didn't steal it really because I just admitted that I stole it. Yeah, so and you did it better. Oh, it's nice. confusing it's because yeah, you can hear the phrase banned foreigners like yeah. with ah, foreigners that were banned. Yeah, me and him both are banned. They say curiosity killed the cat, but I don't think we should rule out that shifty looking kid next door. <laughs> <laughs> I was raised in a broken home. My father was a drunk carpenter. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I that. Oh, man, this shit is just going south. <laughs> oh, something tells me a cock and bull story has a very different meaning in a gay rodeo. <laughs> well, this is a, this is a, what goes along with this stuff I, I've been doing. Uh, slogans that you say that you don't understand where they came from. Right. You're colder than a witch's tit. Yeah. Whoever measured, whoever yeah. actually got a witch down on the ground and said, Paul, give me that thermometer. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the phrase, enough coke to kill a horse. Right. What? Well, the one I got, I, I actually got, I did a, I did a, a, a benefit for vets, vet, 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 veterinarians, vets, and uh, uh, but to get Eastwood and laughing, that's good. And then he pulled a gun up. <laughs> I like that cock and bull story. I like happy, happy as a clam. Or let the cat out of the bag. For God's sakes, do it. God, you've got a cat. You know you paid too much when it actually cost you an arm and a leg. Where, where did that even come from? What about this? Were you ever, when you, you served time in prison, didn't you? Good. Bring that up. <laughs> almost, wow. Almost got out of here. Yes, I did. Come on. <laughs> 
<laughs> Give me another joke. You know, I'm happy to help out a friend, but the next time my roommate asks for help put in sunscreen, he better be talking about his back. Fool me once. Oh, no. That was for Ad Amiga. <laughs> Why would you put, uh, put I, in I sunscreen? I don't understand that. But this is a... Here's the one for you. Here. Dan? Yeah, that's one of those, of course. This is a pile. What's that say? This is not a good pile. The person who invented the Frisbee was cremated and made into Frisbees after he died. His body was then spread across roofs and poorly maintained backyards. Wow. I hope that's true. Huh. <laughs> huh. Hey, you that know what? Like, that's like a truck tweet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right? It just doesn't make any sense. You know what's not as... E Easy as we were talking about. Uh, easy as pie. Easy as pie. You know what's not easy as pie? Baking a fucking actual pie. <laughs> <laughs> Does it say you're actually fucking in there? I'm exhausted. My kitchen is a guy. Oh, you did. You actually. You ad lived in there. That was nice. <laughs> you know There's no use crying over spilt milk. Yeah, what it, uh, unless the milk was spilt on your father's fresh corpse right before his funeral. <laughs> Too many words. It's not bad. It, it, there's no yeah. crying over spilled milk. Concision. I try to tell them. Concision. Con yeah. That's what I tell them every day. What do I tell you? Concision. I say exaggerate, clarify. Wow. Or what, get, what they say, tragedy words. plus time equals comedy. This is Mr. Candyman over here. <laughs> <laughs> he got a lot of ideas, but he ain't got a lot of coke. <laughs> Wait a you minute. weren't sentenced for yeah. 650 grams of ideas. <laughs> wow. You do feel better. A New Mexico man was arrested for urinating on a family at a Metallica concert. Uh, or as Adam Egget knows, it's called foreplay. Oh. It is. Yeah, it is. Hey, you were talking about... Uh, Who's Adam Egget? That's, uh, that's, that's the problem. That's the problem. We forgot to introduce you. But here's a, a thing. You were talking about how uh, things start, how sayings start. When I grew up, my family was so poor, yeah, well, we didn't have a pot to piss in, so we pissed in other people's pots. We'd break into houses in the dead of night, find the people's pots, and take a giant piss in them because we had accumulated full bladders from holding our urine all day long, waiting for, to piss in people's pots. Now, literally, if you told this as the character, long, it's too long, but it's, it, there's, there's, uh, there's so much meat in there. Yeah. It's two separate jokes. May not be long enough. I, I, I said there's, a, there's a story yeah. there that, you know. I don't want to shoot myself in the foot. That's another expression. Oh, boy, here we, get, get, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing funny about Nazis. No, you can't even talk. You can't even say Nazis. The only thing about Nazis I've used is. Wait, I mean, I haven't said that. I don't want to shoot myself in the foot, but my left big toe is a neo-Nazi. <laughs> even worse, my big right toe believes that there should be a gender pay gap. <laughs> gender pay gap. You can't. Hitler's just not funny. Still, it's not enough time. Except he did kill the mustache style. <laughs> Allegedly. Oh, he did. No, but yeah, I would. No, I've been no. around Aryan Nation guys in prison that would t that tattoo "fuck you" on their forehead. Uh, Still wouldn't go that far. Right. But, you know, they uh, got swastikas everywhere, but they, they go, "No, that's too much." Who did what? Michael Jordan. Yes. Oh yeah, that For was a short. Well, remember the Hanes commercial? Under. Commercials. Yeah. No. He tried that's to bring. Maybe just that's where it grew. He the did, last he person I expected to try. Wouldn't and bring it funny? Charlie Chaplin and Hitler. The only yeah. two guys that ever did tried that one. That looked good. A little. I think Hitler took it from Chaplin because so yeah. yeah. he, he was a man well, of the people. And... Oh yeah, and he had the stash before, obviously before the great dictator. You remember those pictures? Remember that picture? You're thinking about that of Hitler. <laughs> remember World War One? He's like. <laughs> he was photobombing people. He was the first photobomber. He was very. Yeah, they did a musical about the Armenian slaughter. What is the matter with this? Jesus, Jesus. A group of crows is called a murder. A group of uniforms, is, uh, unicorns, is called a blessing. And a group of cows is called my in-law. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> you, you screwed it up, and it's still okay. Uh, yeah, it's still I tried. He just sold it at the I end. Tried, right? <laughs> I need one. Well, you don't like children, so this might be. I didn't perfect. say that. You, I said I don't like you. Do you have children? You said you don't like children. Did I? Oh, yeah, many times. <laughs> so many times. Did I, did I say that? Oh, I exaggerate to clear it. <laughs> when did you not say that? A hippo's mouth is wide enough to fit in four a four foot tall child. Really? Huh. I like hippos. Unfortunately, after measuring the hippo's mouth, almost all the children were eaten. What? 
Oh. A hippo's mouth oh, is wide enough to sense. fit a four-foot-tall child. Okay. Unfortunately, after measuring the hippo's mouth, almost all the children were eaten. Jeez. Look, I know the Bible. I know the Bible says not to covet thy neighbor's wife. Right. But it doesn't say a damn thing about coveting thy neighbor's husband, especially a sweet, hot, fucking asshole. <laughs> this is sweet, hot. Is that in there? Yeah. You had. <laughs> you just toss all that stuff in there. But it is true. It doesn't think about coveting thy neighbor's husband. <laughs> Huh? You make a good point, Norm. Well, what about women? Young women, you know, going, what, what? young women? The Statue of Liberty is setting a bad example for young women. When times get tough, you just can't stand motionless for centuries holding a torch. That's <laughs> true. Yes. You, you got a point. This? What about this, Pally? Or wear a dress and have people walk Steve around. Steve and right, you know, the Steve, man behind no, the cameras, now on camera. Steve, Steve won't do it. I, I'm really more of a, 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 a booster. I'm <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you, Steve? Artifacts from Auschwitz are set to go on tour wow. for the first time. You guys won't stop. Experts <laughs> believe that this will be Miley Cyrus's darkest opening act yet. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow. Oh, this is almost I might, perfect. I might open this with that in Vegas. <laughs> that's, that's, that'll, that'll get the crowd walking out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to let uh, the great Tim Allen, experts believe one of the best joke tellers to ever live. I don't know. Jay or... Jay is amazing. He's an amazing joke teller. Jay... Funniest guy on the planet, though, is, is Marty Short. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Marty Short. Yeah. I can't oh, be around him. He hurts me. Yeah. But he's he not a stand-up. He can't help himself. But he's, he can't. Isn't that weird that he's not a stand-up? He's not a stand-up. We did The View, he oh, and I, weird. for a movie we did together, and the first time ever those women were speechless. Really I mean, we, 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 were, we owned that show. He's so freaking funny. We did a whole bit in the makeup trailer about all the theater we'd done. We, we haven't that done movie. any. Because every, everything's the, a theater play. The, the Jiminy Glick is so hilarious. Oh, so I did that. He can say, you know what's about say horrible shit to you, yeah. and his, his chin was coming off. One, and when I did it, this whole piece, and I kept going, his, his, and he wouldn't come out of character. And I said, but this is all coming up. I, your name again? Who are you? He's horrible. The, He's a uh, horrible man. Yeah, fun. somebody told me, uh, I don't know, I see Martin or somebody said, Oh, yeah, that's, that's uh, Mar Marty being Marty. Right? Yeah. yeah. Final joke. I hold in my hand. <laughs> Karnak. The final joke. Now you're supposed to all applaud. Well, that's Karnak. Well, when you ask for it, it's not worth it. <laughs> May dog and heat romance your leg in the month of September. Mm hmm Okay. Th this is the final joke. Now, I want you to read ahead. All right. Read ahead. Read ahead, you know, so you give it all. <laughs> all right. A new study finds it. before, <laughs> hold on. Before he finishes, because I want to end with a big joke by one of the greatest joke tellers ever. Well, the Leno's on his way in. And um, uh, so I'll say thank you very much to Tim Allen for gracing our show. Absolutely. Yeah, you guys are great. Thanks. There it is. There's the camera right That's there. The camera. She just brought it from home. These are the smallest cameras I've ever seen. Just... Listen, a new study finds that men are more likely to blame stress from work as a contributor to their poor mental health, while women are more likely to jabber on about something or other. Why do you give me that one all of a sudden? Get those cards and letters. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, our guests aren't that funny. Sure. So we write jokes. Right. So, would you like to read one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's for you. I'll play along. <laughs> A little louder. This one, I don't know in this era. Uh, they announced there's going to be another Twilight movie, and uh, the little girl inside of me is really excited. <laughs> ah, I made a bad business decision, Adam Egan. Started an online business. You know what I sold? Hmm. Brick and mortar. <laughs> Pretty good. I like you gave it something too. I gave a little. Yeah. Hey, listen, I may not have book smarts, but you know what I have? Uh. Supermarket flyer smart smarts. You know where I got them? From reading a lot of supermarket flyers. That can't be one of the jokes, is it? Jesus. Dude. Did you ever think? I smell a mass firing. <laughs> um, is this gonna go down as a test show? No. You better fucking air it. Well, listen. Did you ever think that I wanted to? Jesus Christ. Test show, test show. <laughs> I'm being tricked. Um. Hey, a new study shows 37% of people talk to their car. It's the first study ever conducted by the International Organization of David Hasselhoff. <laughs> <laughs>
Listen, David Spader, it was great to have you on the show. Thanks, Thanks a you. lot, everybody. How right, about that? Right. Looks for them, just so in case. So do you want, would you? Would oh, you, I, yeah, absolutely. Would you, okay, we'll, we'll start with Adam Egan. He'll write, read a joke. Okay. I wear my hair in a big man bun to compensate for my tiny man hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's much Pretty better. Good. Much Change better. that. No, I will. I don't think this is going to do much better. The president of ESPN says he quit the network because he was being extorted over his cocaine use. Cocaine also explains why are the why if the fuck it. <laughs> Here's a joke for the great Drew Barrymore, maybe our finest comic actress. Oh, you are. <laughs> did you know every planet in our solar system is named after a god i did not know that except earth which is named after all that stuff on the ground <laughs> okay can i keep this you got <laughs> i love this <laughs> every day drew i try to expand my vocabulary by using new words mm -hmm. to give my arguments more verisimilitude Today's word is expand. Um, I get it, I don't get it. Uh, <laughs> I love people that say they don't get it because, you know, sometimes you tell a joke and they go, uh, uh, and then you explain to them and then they go, I don't like it. <laughs> you don't get to not like it, you didn't fucking get it. Okay. <laughs> Here you go, Adam. Yeah. Like no, you're too stupid to like it. <laughs> um, my father urged me to pursue my passion. That's why I'm here. I had to go into showbiz to make all the money I lost designing and marketing neckerchiefs. It's always a good idea to stutter on the final <laughs> word. You know, Drew, call me old fashioned, but I long for the days when wives stayed at home and only cost three goats. <laughs> I get that one. <laughs> it was fantastic to have you here. Thank you. I've still, still got this joke. Uh, uh, that's so sweet, honey. So here's your joke. Now, I, I want you to read ahead. And then as soon as you finish the joke, me and Adam Egan are going to rush out there and sing a little song. You got it. Okay, but read ahead. Fuck it up. Read ahead. No, 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 read ahead. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, read silently. Read ahead, so. Oh! Yeah. But before she reads it, just... Thank you. Oh, thank, thank, you. thank you so much for being here. So kind of um, here is the final joke. Okay. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Am I waiting for you or are you waiting for me? I'm waiting for you. I finished. You? Oh no, you read. <laughs> I. I... <laughs> <laughs> Drew Barrymore, everybody, give her a hand. For a part-time actor and <laughs> feeding himself. <laughs> hey, what about this joke? If you can't handle me when I'm covered in the blood of a boar I've just sacrificed to the gods, then you do not deserve me during the bountiful harvest that will result. <laughs> <laughs> so here's uh, the uh, time in the show where we do jokes. And, you know, Dave doesn't even need jokes because he just says stuff and then yeah. everyone laughs. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so here's a uh, joke. Do you, want, do you want to read the first joke? Do, do I have to read them? Yeah. I mean, I... I uh, no, you don't have to do anything. This but... is what is part of the uh, thing. Yeah. Where are my... Stars? I'll do a bad joke first. Though. If Earth hasn't been visited by super... Every other guest has done this. Yeah. yeah. If Earth hasn't been visited by super intelligent aliens, then who made all those inexplicable, perfectly strong... Oh, okay. Yeah. And then this is yours. So the idea is I get two thirds of the way fucking no, up. No, no, no. <laughs> no, you do your best. <laughs> I was once trapped on a desert island, and to be honest, the five albums I brought didn't help a goddamn thing. <laughs> That's a very popular, a long-running show in uh, in Great Britain. British I presenters, agree. especially in the uh, in the nineties especially children presenters, uh, turned out to be a, a cult of, uh, of uh, much evil. I don't want fancy things or fancy schmancy things. I don't even want fancy schmancy wancy things or fancy schmancy take a trip to francy things. What I want is wasting your time and mine. <laughs>
<laughs> You're an infant. <laughs> Here, let's you, you read one. Uh, <laughs> a lot of people have. Re uh, <clears throat> sorry, I'm a little nervous. I already fucked it up. No, you didn't. Come on. A lot of people are excited for self driving cars, and so am I. Finally, I'll feel what it's like to kill without having any personal responsibility. Oh, wow. I had this conversation earlier today. We were on uh, one of the freeways. Yeah. And I just uh, posed the question, have we really verified the advantage, what it is, yeah. for self-driving cars? Like, you're, well, you're... Those things don't work out. I'm not coming back, Norm. <laughs> <laughs> now he read the joke. I don't think we're coming back either. <laughs> don't say that, Andy. Here's kidding. the joke. TV pitch, three words, young Gene Shallot. <laughs> I'd watch that. <laughs> I would watch. They are going to have to lease editing equipment for this show. <laughs> oh, no, by the way, we have to go, Dave. Yes, yes. We have to go. Yeah. But we made a song up to sing. Oh, oh what about God. this? May, not for you to sing, though. You can just watch us. Yeah. Male authors are obsessed. This is what, you know, going back to, to I don't know, Updike and, uh, and uh, Hemingway, male authors have been, you know... Anyways, male authors do tend to be obsessed with male, with female bodies. Male authors obsessed with female bodies. Going on and on about webbed feet and soft I insulated. I'm sorry, that's male otters. <laughs> <laughs> no, Dave, no. <laughs> uh, Dave Letterman, everybody. How could it end like that? <laughs> He walked out of the show. <laughs> you walked Letterman. We walked Letterman, baby. The clock on the wall. <laughs> Here's where we do the jokes. These are jokes that uh, we just write them out on blue cards. And all we do is we say the jokes. Okay. So I'll, I'll do one just so you get the idea. I like my movies like I like my pasta. Meatballs, too. <laughs> I can't stand stuck up bodies of water. Is that right? It's like, get over yourself, Lake Superior. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, get this, Jane. When I, wa when I was a kid, I walked in on my parents having sex. It was the most embarrassing half hour of my life. <laughs> this is what I saw. This is what I saw. I walked Your in. Your mom is lucky. I walked in. <laughs> <laughs> I take after my father. <laughs> Here, here's one for you. Um, you have a great I'm profile. I'm blushing. Really? Oh. Yeah. Turns out. Yeah. It's you know who you look like in profile? Brando. Oh. Marlon Brando. Yeah. Towards the end. I'm not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> How did you? Who, what does Brando sound like? Can you do an impression of Marlon Brando? No, I can't do impression. I bet you can. No. Try Marlon Brando. I can't. Try. No, I really. I don't. Try I don't. Just <laughs> Stella! <laughs> Marlon Brando from Streetcar Named Desire. Jane, if you fight fire with fire, there's only one winner. America's powerful fire lobby. <laughs> Who writes these? Ah. <laughs> My favorite NCAA teams all happen to be colors. Auburn, Navy, Sienna, and hot bubblegum pink. Oh, they're very good, yes, they. <laughs> Do you want to say it again? No. <laughs> oh, here's something interesting. You don't have to hold on to that. I can't, I'm just trying to believe that somebody actually wrote that as a <laughs> Um, my palm reader told me that I have nice hands. Maybe the nicest hand she's ever seen. Also on Friday, I'm going to get hit by a train. <laughs> but anyways, we have two more jokes. <laughs> and then we're off to Vegas. Okay, so um, you can pick the joke. 
like magic. Okay, I'll do the first, because then you'll do the last, and then, uh, oh, let's be honest, most people you ever see go skinny dipping are more actually going dipping. Let's just be. <laughs> <laughs> and now, Jane Fonda will do the last joke, so say your joke, and oh, before you say your joke, Jane Fonda, everybody! Yay! Right here! Woo! How about that? Oh my God, they love you. They love you. Can I kiss you? <laughs> if I could add one president to Mount Rushmore, it would be James Polk, because I'm interested to know what he looked like. What did he look like? Let's do our song! Okay, this is the segment, Chevy, we don't always have world-class comedians like you on the show. We uh, often have uh, people that aren't funny, so we write jokes, we write jokes and then we tell the jokes, and then, you know, we all do it, you know, like Adam Eagle will read a joke. Go ahead, Adam. Yeah, sure. Uh, so, try to imagine how different our world would be if Mumford had remained childless. <laughs> Bad Mumford? Bad. Bad. Bad? Shut up. <laughs> Okay, next. You know, I've been jogging for a few months now, Chevy, and you might like to know that I recently set a personal record for a five-mile run. Three miles. <laughs> <laughs> but let me say this first. I am a gifted but self-taught composer. Why don't you just uh, wipe your mouth a little bit? <laughs> making me fucking sick. Chevy, I, I am going to challenge you to yep. do not, not, uh, not, uh, not uh, John, John Belushi, Belushi, but just, uh, just get a laugh by, uh, by going to sneeze, by putting that on your mouth. Just anything that comes to your mind. Help me! It's <laughs> 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 amazing. <laughs> and this. Thank you so much for being here, my friend. It was a great pleasure. Are we pleasure. done? We are after you tell the jokes. But I just want, okay. I just want you to get your oh, due from the, from the crowd. Thank you. And now, and now, the final joke by Chevy Chase. To me, perfect sex is like a car wash. You start by lining up right and going in slow, and you finish when three Mexican dudes run up and furiously towel you off. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy Chase, everybody, let's sing a song. Here's your first joke. I just should I it? start? Maybe I should start. Should I just yeah, you should. Yeah, I should start. start. Show them how uh, this is so this is not a great joke. I, I shouldn't editorialize. A storm picked up eggs and milk over the Rockies and is now battering the Midwest. It's a terrible. <laughs> <laughs> so that's not much of a joke. That was the one you were going to give me to start no. on? <laughs> no, I was, was going to oh, give okay. you this one. Jeez. This one I, I like very much. Okay. And do I have to do it with such gusto? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Now, I ain't saying she's a gold digger. You're not saying she's a gold digger. But she does have several shovels, picks, and panning sluices strapped to her burrow. Oh, well. <laughs> she may, Wild in digger. fact, be a gold digger. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Hey, you read one. Do you know what they are? They're jokes. On no, man. Have oh. you read them before? <laughs> I, I, get no, I know he's allowed to look at it. Read it, uh, read it. If you're one of those people who complains that CVS receipts are too long, you are going to fucking hate books. Uh, why do you swear? <laughs> why do you swear? You need to swear? I'm, I what about this one? Oh. In that one? No, this one? but... Wearing glasses doesn't always make you smarter. For example, you must wear them on your face. I, I'm, not, I'm missing it. Well, if you wear it on a well, part of your body. You must wear them on your face. You you know, so I had, to, I had to deliver that with a little bit more it's ignorance. It's hard, it's hard. I guess you should, I, should, I guess should you should probably, should probably should push face. Like, that was like an important thing. Like <laughs> try a, it now, <laughs> try it now, and, and just give everything to that one word, face. Okay. Wearing glasses doesn't always make you look smarter. For example, you must wear them on your face. No, oh, nailed it. Is that good? Yeah, that's very good. Oh, you know these donkey shows. I feel like that's a pity laugh. <laughs> <laughs> that is, definitely, this I area was a laugh. pity. That was a pity. That was a couple of genuine over there. Sir. Okay, M Night. Take everything you know about bread and throw it out the window. Okay? Did you do that? I did. Great. Now. 
Let me tell you about a little invention I made. Bread. <laughs> <laughs> it's all fun. <laughs> it's all Hey, who's this graffiti artist who draws chalk outlines of people in the bad parts of town? I like them. I like them. Yeah, once, you know, if you're sitting around with your thumb up your ass, how could you possibly think you were doing nothing? It just doesn't make... <laughs> Read this a little bit in advance, and uh, I think uh, this might be the last joke. Oh, how about this while you're reading? Prison rapes are delicious. Prison what? rapes... I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Prison crepes. <laughs> <laughs> but this is sort of an interest, this is sort of a, a joke and a zen cone all in one. Listen to this one. Mm -hmm. And then right after you do this one, yeah. we're gonna, uh, the show's over, we're gonna run over here and sing a song for 10 seconds if you'd be nice enough to just wait for that. Okay. Now, uh, but first, before M. Night reads, or night, I call it, uh, reads his final joke. Do you like him or what? They love you. Thank you for having me. They love you. Yeah, you guys are so oh, sweet. Right. They love you, and I can't that wait to see. Happy. I loved. Uh, I loved Split. I saw it last night. It was fantastic. Thank you okay. so much. Okay, here we go, and everybody should see Split. And Glass in Thank 2019. So yeah, January of yeah. 19. Oh, can't wait. Thank you. Here is the final joke. Final joke. The inside of the human body is more of a miracle than you'd first think. Even more of a miracle than you'd first think. Why is that? Since everything goes on in there in total darkness. Well, you never... Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wait, wait, no, no! Oh, cut it! Cut it! That's ki that can't be the way we end. No. <laughs> I, I read it three times wondering if that was going to oh. happen. And it, and it happened as I saw it was going to happen. Here's a very, very, you know. Give me a, give me a this guaranteed is almost, one. Okay. This is guaranteed. Give me a guarantee. A joke in the spirit of M. Night Shyamalan. Word in M. Night Shyamalan to produce jokes rather than films. <laughs> the joke might read something like this. A lot of people stress out about getting crow's feet, but personally, I would be more concerned about their long, razor-sharp beaks. Oh, my Lord! Let's do the song! What do you say? As funny as you are, so we write their jokes so they can say jokes. Oh, okay. You know, but I thought this would be cool for you because it's the greatest joke teller ever, maybe. All right? Okay, so here you go, Michael. Don't ever read ahead, though. <laughs> Should be a little louder also. Oh, gotcha, okay. No, I thought there was a thing. Really. So this would be... Oh, you think that... No, we'll get it. No, 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 I like it. Okay. Yeah, well, it's true. Yeah. Uh, oh, boy, how my mom worked all day, cared for me, put food on the table, and killed all those drifters is really something. <laughs> <laughs> but this one... joke. You have to read ahead on this one. Uh, see? Because this requires a little bit of... This requires performance. Oh, yes, I don't know whatever. Because here's the thing, you have to then repeat that, those three words with a, with a little bit of an accent. Give me another one. I swear this was killing you. Huh? I swear this is going to We're going to cut this part out. Okay. <laughs> so, you see, he's only rushing the works of the fan. Right? Yeah. Life is fair. Okay. <laughs> That's all he thinks in life, you know. Okay. Oh, just know. Okay, we're back. <laughs> I had a little coaching session, so I'm, I'm, I'm hope, I hope I come, crush so hard. I hope I come through for you. Watch how big they laugh. You know, no one ever said life is fair, except for that Russian guy who worked at the fair. Life is fair. <laughs> how about that for a Russian accent? That was fucking awesome. That was so good. <laughs> hey, what about this? I want to coach a little person to become a, an eating contest champion. And I want to name him Noam Chomsky. <laughs> <laughs> well, what about this one? <laughs> this is very good. <laughs> Wait, ready? Sorry, let me yeah. do The most disturbing thing about Disneyland is seeing all those smiling people walking around wearing Mickey Mouse's severed scalp. <laughs> <laughs> and anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I want the band to play me off. All right, am I done? Well, I, I had the best joke. Oh, all right. I was saving for you. God, I don't know. I want to go off on that. That's this is what we're going to do. We're going to do. I'm going to give you... That was strong. This is strong. <laughs> all right. I would not lead you down a, a path astray. Okay. So I'm going to give you the strongest joke. Uh, 
I'll do one, so it'll, it'll be a palette. Okay. When Mozart would sit down to compose, <clears throat> this would be good for your son. Okay. When Mozart would sit down to compose a new piano concerto, mm -hmm. he'd first pause, close his eyes, and say to himself, I better make this as hard as fuck to play. <laughs> 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 oh, I thought that wouldn't work that well. Okay. Okay, this is the great, the best joke for the best comedian that I've ever witnessed. And here it is. And then, uh, and also, thank you, uh, Mr. Keaton. Yeah. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks. So, Thanks, so a lot. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Here it is. Red Bull. For right to that camera, right there. All right. I wonder who's buried in the grave of the guy who invented the old switcheroo. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah, I like good that. for me, yeah. All right, we're back with Billy Joe Shaver. Now, this is the part of the show, Billy Joe, where we read jokes. I'm not slobbering again. No, you're not. Oh, <laughs> we read jokes off blue cards. Okie dokie. So you want to start? Why not? Why not? Here's a joke. Okay. You can read that. I don't fat shame women because you can't judge a book by its cover. Of course, it's too damn thick. Nobody's going to read it. <laughs> <laughs> Bill, Joe, what about this one? This might sound crazy, but... Ah! Yeah. You're right. <laughs> uh, bad news for e-cigarette users. You look fucking stupid. <laughs> Strangely, the word Bell is in the inventor of the telephone's name, Alexander Graham Bell, similar to the inventor of the fax machine's name, Benedict Thomas Gajing 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 Words cannot describe your beauty, Adam Eggett, but numbers can. You're a four. <laughs> but relax, accurate. you got a five head. <laughs> <laughs> you got a five it's head. It's funny and accurate. Hey. Oh, <laughs> I'll give you the last one. Are you ready? I, I never was, but yeah. Now, first of all, let me say, this has been a real, a real two-holer of an interview. <laughs> <laughs> and give him a big hand, Billy Joe Shaver. Billy, That's Billy a Joe. mystery, man. It's a mystery. Billy Joe will be doing the last joke. All right. A bird in the hand is a good way to get bird flu, you fucking asshole. Get away from me. Go wash your fucking hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Billy Joe, baby. Let's sing. Out of here. All right. That hurt. <laughs> well, to get to a very important thing. Uh, what was the important thing? Huh? <laughs> So we're just gonna be, I'll, I'll read the first joke just yeah. to, chess players think checker players are dumb, but I love playing checkers. Plus the red ones are tasty. <laughs> I, know, I, know. I do like that one. This is our cold clothes. <laughs> this one is good though, this one is good. Oh, you want me to read it? I am. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody tells me what I can or can't eat, least of all some guy whose job is labeling packets of silica gel. <laughs> you know what silica gel is? No. <laughs> is this like a regular feature? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because yeah, structure is so important. <laughs> so you know how we end the show, right, Lauren? No, I don't know. I've oh, never you're seen gonna... the show. Is, You've never is, seen is this show. Been on yet? Well, it hasn't been on. It hasn't been on TV. <laughs> How would I? Have seen it? <laughs> no, I, no, that's true. <laughs> I've heard about it, of course. Yeah, uh, but what we do is we go. We, me and Adam Eager. This is Adam Eager. Hi, sir. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Lauren Michaels, everybody. <laughs> we go up here and we uh, sing a song into the camera. Jeez. And then if you were just be kind enough to sit in your chair, it'll only take 20 seconds. Okay, go ahead. Okay. One more time for Lauren, though. Come on, seriously. Let's see by the clock on the wall that it's time to bid you one and all. Goodbye. Goodbye. So long. So long. Farewell. Farewell. Adieu. Adieu. Biggest. Stay well. Bye-bye. Keep warm. Relax. At ease. Take care. Stay loose. Thank you, thank you. All I appreciate. Goodbye, when we meet again. <laughs> All right, thank you so much.